Yeah, welcome along to the Sweet Spot Live. It's Bruce Millington and Steve Palmer from the Racing Post and in partnership with Boyle Sports. We're taking you through the final round of the 2022 Masters, which is well underway and is coming to the boil. Steve, I thought maybe sometime 24 hours ago, this is going to be an absolute procession. That is, we're going to just sit here and Scheffler would be six clear and we'd be counting our money because we have both backed him. It's all getting annoyingly exciting, isn't it? How are you feeling? I'm tense. I must admit, I'm tense. Yeah, the last hole last night and the first hole today have tested me. I mean, I had a big session on the range last night. He was the only person on the range working on his swing in the dark, working on that driving. So he didn't want to repeat what happened on that last hole last night. It happened again on the first hole today. So a pulled drive to the left. But again, magnificent scrambling. He's got the par at the first. Smith's made a birdie at the first. Far from ideal. The lead's two shots. It's going to be a long night. Fasten your seatbelt. Absolutely. You've got your green jacket on again. Have you the thing you dug out from your work experience last week? Um, is it going to be a lucky green jacket, do you think? Is it green staying on all been... night? That's the big question because it looks quite hot. It's been on all week. It's been on all week and it's not going off until the, the final putt is sunk. Uh, we may okay. have a sudden death playoff. You never know. We could be here until 2 a.m. If it's a, um, if it's a playoff, is it just sudden death or do they have yes, like yes. a few holes? Oh, that's good. no, no, very much so, very much so. Okay. Yeah, I would imagine we're all done at about uh, ten to midnight. Ten to midnight. Okay. Well, fingers crossed for that. Fingers crossed that uh, we get the result we want and the chef gets the job done. But this is not just about me and Steve prattling on all night. We would love your comments as well. Do please drop them into the comments section. We'll work through as many of those as we can. And already the comments have been coming in thick and fast. Let's have a quick blast of a few of those. Uh, let's have a look now. Richard Buckler thinks Cameron Smith will outnerve Scheffler here. He says seven to four is a steal right now. Actually, let's get some latest betting from Boyle Sports. It's eight to 11 Scheffler and six to four Cam Smith. 18 to one bar the rest, which brings, it's actually 25 to one the bar that is now Sun Jae. So Boyle Sports and pretty much the rest of the market think it is a two horse race. Would you agree with that, Steve? Do you think this is a straight shootout between the I two do. S's? I did this morning and I still do, despite this dodgy start from Sheffer. He's just uh, pulled his approach to the second into the bunker there. So uh, far from guaranteed to get the birdie at the second that we were hoping for. Smith has made the much better start. The odds are tightening up. Everything's tightening up. <laughs> <laughs> it is, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Andrew Ricketts, good evening, chaps. Love these watch longs. Hoping Steve Tips can dig me out of an ancient hole. Come on, the chef. We echo that. Darren Walker says, got Scheffler at 25 to 1. Got in that price during the match play. Good luck, Darren. Obviously, it should be said that if anyone is on Scheffler at decent prices, or indeed Smith, they now have the option of laying it uh, off and making a decent profit. But I presume at this stage, Steve, you're not going to break the habit of a lifetime. You don't like laying off, do you? No, I had a set amount I wanted to win, and that amount it remains there. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling twitchier now than I have done in a long time because Cameron Smith, you know, perfect position off the uh, the second tee there. Here's his approach to the second. Looks fantastic. Yeah, he, he has settled much the quicker than Sheffler. Oh, in, oh, no, he just missed the bunker, hasn't he? Mind you, he's got a difficult part there. Is Sheffler in that front bunker? I think he is. He's in the left there. bunker. He's in the left bunker. Uh, we just yeah, saw we're... um we just saw um Schwartz hole his fifth out of that bunker, didn't we? Out of, out of the right hand bunker. We better do some syncing up, by the way, haven't we? We've got some housekeeping. We should do some dirting, shouldn't we? So that if the viewers want to be absolutely in sync with what we're watching, uh, what we'll do is in a minute, when when someone takes their shot, we'll say who it is and then we'll go dirt at the exact moment they hit it. So if you want to pause your TV pictures to sync them up, then uh, feel free. As McElroy rolls one in from off the edge of the green, I think that takes into minus... Oh, minus one. That was for a par at six. OK. Yeah, it looks like he's in a bolster. His uh, consistent Masters record, but another winless year. The weight mm. goes on. The weight Absolutely. Goes on. Brutal just comes on and says, very much so, John. Well, we may well be hearing a few very much so, John. So uh, thank you for that one. There's so many great comments coming in. Come on, Scotty, do it for us. Yeah, we. I agree with that. I'm on him each way, Steve Phillips says. That's good. And then... Uh, we'll come to this one, Cramey. Are we off the Peters train yet, lads? Well, I was never actually on it. It's Steve's train. So, Steve, I mean, yeah, yeah, let's just get that out of the way. Steve put up three tips at the start. Dustin Johnson, who played really well, but isn't going to figure in the finish. He might nick a place. Well, I think he's struggling. Obviously, the chef, who's going really well, tipped up at 16s, and his old mate, Tom um, Thomas Peters, who 
had a horror first two days. So is that it for Peters or could he come back into the reckoning? It was quite alarming. I mean, he hasn't got a PGA Tour card. I mean, I think it just meant too much to him. You know, he bogeyed the first two holes. He lipped out the first. And I mean, the fact that Sandy Lyle beat him, I mean, it's just it's shameful, isn't it? I mean, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, it's going to take a lot of convincing for me to back him for big events. But uh, I, I still think he's got the talent, but he just sort of choked spectacularly there. Mm, um, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, James Grok says, do you fancy anything in running, Steve? Um, well, this morning on Golfwise Extra on racerpost.com, I, I put up loads of tips. I was really fancying all sorts because the conditions are so much easier today and they, they, have, the, they have the generous Sunday pin positions. It's normally the, 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 the most welcoming setup and the weather today is better than it has been for the last few days. So there was, there was loads of overs and unders on um, uh, final round scores. All sports um, had all sorts and uh, uh, supported Justin Thomas, Colin Morikawa, and uh and and one other so uh yeah i think scoring will be quite low today you see what min woo's min woo lee's been doing mm. six he gave under one par. back didn't he went to the turn six under he's just given one back at the difficult 10th hasn't he but yeah that was front nine six under par shows what's possible the back nine is the easier nine he's six under par for the front nine yeah if one of those players in contention does that then we could have a, a more interesting masters than we've got but um i'd be staggered if someone other than the top two wins it even though Sheffler's off to a, a, a disappointing start I'm not sure I want it to be too interesting, Steve. I was hoping that Sheffer would just absolutely waltz to victory and that was that, but it's getting annoyingly interesting. Curtis, thank you for your comment, Curtis. How wonderful was it seeing Tiger this week? Well, I mean, Steve, it was just absolutely amazing, wasn't it? I mean, just he's the greatest, isn't he? Yeah, because people don't see what he does before the round and after the round. You, know, you see him sort of battling his way through a round of golf and think that's it. But he has to get up really early in the morning to get his, his body in condition, get the back moving, get the joints moving. And then after the round, he's in the ice baths and uh, you know, shivering, as he said, in the ice bath and doing all this stuff to keep his body in, in, in some sort of shape for the next day. And after he's doing his interview now after this round, after yesterday's round, he sort of hobbled out of the interview room. And you know, I wonder whether he'd even be here today, but he's such a tough cookie. It's just mm. pain. He doesn't consider pain a, an issue. If you can't move something, um, it is an issue. But pain, he just shrugs it off. He's, he's a tough cookie as Tiger. He's absolutely superb. What a great performance by him this week. I mean, to make the cut, Steve, um, and then, you know, hold, hold his own in round three. It fell away a bit today, but that's understandable. I mean, he can hardly walk, can he? And you forget as well, Steve, this, this course is so undulating. It's a difficult walk, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. And I would imagine doctor's orders would have been not, not playing in this, but uh, he shrugged them off and uh, he'd be pleased. Yeah, he can be proud of what he's done there. Yeah, making a cut was an achievement for, for Tiger and... Um, yeah, we'll see how he goes. St. Andrews is much flatter. Yeah, maybe you can have a good uh, open championship on a uh, flat St. Andrews. It'd be a lot healthier by then. Mm, absolutely. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, PJ McCann says, on Scotty and Cam Smith. So it's all looking good. Well, you are in great shape then. That's a terrific bit of betting by, uh, by PJ and McCann, 29. That's excellent. Um, I must admit, Steve, like, I know in the punting community, people hate it when you spray up a bet after time but i have got a very nice bet on the go steve i've got to tell you um i've done the, i've done the smith scheffler dual forecast 170 to one oh, so that's wow. actually in a sense although i want scheffler to win it um i've got that as a quite a nice full you don't position. yeah you don't care who wins no it. i do you know, care i do care but yeah yeah, um, yeah no that's well that's a lovely position to be in yeah yeah i think you, you've got much more chance of collecting than me i think that that dual forecast has got more chance than the you know the scheffler single at this stage the trouble um, is, Sun Jian just won't go away, will he? He's just so consistent. He'll loiter around on the, on the heels of the front too, won't he? I think it means too much to him. I don't know if you read Golf Wise Extra this morning, but I was just, just discussing the possibility of the South Korean government giving him a special exemption. You know, the two years military service mm. that, you, that you get out of if you win an Olympic medal. There yeah. is, a, there is a, a category that I've, uh, has come to my attention for special exemptions, for, for, for fantastic achievements. And surely becoming the first Korean to uh, to win the Masters is a, is a special enough achievement for him to be exempt from that two years military service. So I think him in the back of his mind knows that victory in the Masters, getting the green jacket will allow him to not have those two years in the military, which essentially would ruin his career. It's ruined many a career. Um, oh, if you pardon the pun. Yeah, yeah. It's ruined many a Korean career. Um, oh, and I think that um, that's too much for any man to handle, really. So, yeah, oh. I, I don't expect it. I think it, it, if him does get in... You know, seriously in contention with this, I would expect him to wobble. I think there's only two possible winners. Well, I'd come uh, off it. I mean, surely winning the Masters in itself is is a test of your nerve. They're, they're, all right, the military service exemption is is a nice bonus, but um, 
Yeah, I yeah, don't know. You might be overreading that one, Steve. I think. I think there's too much in, in the in pudding for him to be able to handle it. But if he pulls it off, I'll doff any cap that I get my hands on. Okay. How worried are you about this Scheffler wobble? I mean, it is a wobble, really, isn't it? Either side of close of play. I mean, it, you know, it's a big test yeah. for him. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I am worried. I mean, it's very unusual for the leader of a golf tournament to be the last man on the range, toiling literally in the dark like he was last night, trying to, um, you know, trying to set the reset reset button. He, di he didn't want to go to bed off that that drive at eighteen. He wanted to go to bed, up, you know, feeling like he's got his swing back. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to criticise him for that decision, but it, yeah, yeah, it's a long, long round. He's been leading this golf tournament for a ruddy long way now. Must yes, be feeling yeah. some, yeah, the mental fatigue must be there. Maybe Absolutely. half an hour or out, an hour on. Oh, look, Butch and Tiger are, are friends again. That's lovely to see, isn't it? I'll get that fall out. There? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did have a fallout, and now they're they're embracing. This is the oh, this, well, whatever happens tonight, Butch and Tiger are back on track. That's all that matters. It's lovely says. to see Butch it's back in the gantry as well, isn't it? Butch, is, it's just not the same without Butch, is it? No, it's not the same without Butch. It's Scotty Sheffield from the bunker. Right, Can he, he's, he's been scrambling superbly all week. If he, if he gets this one close, then I'll be very, 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 very happy, obviously. Right, what's that? I can't even see it. Oh, there it is. No, that's too wide, too wide, too wide, too fast. <sighs> He's, okay, going to have, okay. he's going to have himself a 12-footer for birdie there, isn't he? I suppose at least yeah. it's uphill. Keith Park says, what are Steve's views on John Rahm's performances? Seems to have a really poor attitude lately, on and off the course. Well, what's he yeah. done off the course? Well, he's just he's got too much on his plate off the course. He's got a young son and a pregnant wife, which I think is a tough combination. I don't know how quickly you had your babies, Bruce, but I think if you... you know, I, I spaced mine out four years. I think four years is the, is the, is the way to do it. Um, if you, if you go six. boom, 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 boom. You had six... You had six babies. No, six years between the six, two. Oh, six years, six years between. The, I thought you've only told me about two of them. I thought this was a sweet, sweet spot exclusive early on. <laughs> Boris Johnson style. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so he's got a lot on his plate. No, oh, Smith's rattled it past. Thank goodness. A little bit of light relief for Sheffield. We're getting Packers very excited there. this early. Smith's going to get a lovely read off um, Sheffler's putt there, isn't he? Yeah. Right, we haven't done our dirting yet to sink that. people. We need, right, here we go. Oh, Who's this? Whoever it is. Sun Jayam. Sun Okay, so if, yeah. Oh, so we're in sync with each other. That's Yeah, good. I think we are in sync. Yeah, we're in sync. I could, I could do with him having a real horror show at some point. That's a disappointing part at the third. I think you, you know, I think you're, I think you're fine. I think everyone's fine. All right. Four to six, Scheffler with Boyle Sports. Six to four, Cam Smith. And it's 22 to one bar. If we can get off this green with a two shot lead, then we're, we're happy as, as Larry. Oh, who's that? Part, Snake him on Tony for now. Tony for now. How about that? Fantastic. And uh, that's for an eagle at 13. What's your situation? You seem to be in the lounge room rather than the garage. Oh, hang on a sec. Uh, we'll we'll do that say, small talk in a minute. Here's Scheffler for Birdie at the second. It's got, oh, it's left in. It's left. It's left. No, it's, left. it's, it's drifted left. Yeah, where are you? You're in your lounge room. I'm in the lounge room. Uh, children are just and the kids? And they're upstairs, hopefully going to sleep. Although I'm talking quite loudly, I, I, I might be keeping them awake. I don't know, but um, yeah, they're certainly not watching any golf. Um, it's not going to finish till till very late. Uh, now I'm in the lounge room, and I'm in a, in, a, in a different position to the last uh, podcast we did. Um, I'm sitting cross-legged on the sofa. I've just moved. Oh, yeah? it, I've, I've just changed the feng shui a little bit, um, so I'm looking directly at the uh, at the TV rather than angling. So oh, okay. uh, yeah. yeah. I might, get, I might get dead feet at some stage. Is that I've got a companion, look. Ah! It's Sky Rod Sport, Studd. My sport's very Sky own. Sports commentary legend, Rod Studd. I'm up at Rod there Studd's. I'm in, I'm in the north of England, would you believe? I do believe that. I do believe that. And I do believe Cameron Smith is putting for birdie. It looks it's easy from there, doesn't it? When they get it behind does. like that. Yeah, he's drained yeah, it. He the makes lead it look is easy. one. Wow, two holes gone and Scheffler's three-shot overnight lead is down to just one. And what's that done to the market? This is a I test. I can tell you. It's four to five Scheffler, evens Cameron Smith and 25 to one Sun Jae-in with Boyle Sports. So it is getting annoyingly exciting. Yeah, it's going to be oh, a long night. Like this. this is going to be a close contest. It um, is, isn't it? May, now, the, may the best man win. Steve, you've got lots of fans. I'm sure there'll be lots of love for you today on the chat. And Chris, Chris Carl says, whatever happens, Steve, thanks for the tips, mate. It's paid for 10 nights in Egypt for me and the missus. Five star all the way. I owe you one. How about that? Oh, That's well, lovely, well, 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 yeah, that does sound good, well doesn't done. it? Yeah, yeah. I presume Chris 
took took the uh, early 16s and laid off and guaranteed himself a profit very, profit very very sure or he always had a good having a good year yeah it might be the previous tips he's referring to earlier in the I year suppose we've, so, yeah. Yeah, we've had we've had a good little run haven't we so yeah i think he's he's, he's off to egypt on the basis of that um mm. let's see what cameron smith does at the third Cameron Smith at the third. Is this the shortish path? Yeah, four with the fiendishly difficult is. green. R- Rory McIlroy. Rory McIlroy drove this green not long ago. I don't think Cam Smith's got the firepower to do that. That looks a shade it, oh, left. Just shade wave, left. Leaving the, the club. That's into the patrons, isn't it? Get out of the way, patrons. Get out the way, patrons. It's gone shooting across. The fella in the yellow shirt's all over that. He's got Very a clear quick, swing, though, hasn't he? He's got a clear swing. I don't think he'd be bothered. Doesn't it annoy you the way golfers always, that whenever they go way offline, they always, always seem to have a shot, don't they? Well, there is a lot, yeah, there's a lot of room at August. I mean, Scheffler certainly didn't have a shot last night, did he? I mean, um, it was heartbreaking when you saw him going into the bush. Right, here we go. Don't do that, Scotty. Let's get this 40-yard uh, short of the green. Nothing silly. No, he's done the same no, thing. Even worse. Same Even thing. worse. He's got the left. He's got the left. That's exactly what, what Butch just said. Butch just echoed me. It's even worse. What's he done? They don't even own the land. Oh, my goodness. That fella in the chair. He, what? There's a guy yeah. on, on one of those camping chairs in the middle of, in the, middle of the rough or the middle he's of the just having a, he's having a, well, he's, he's having a quiet, quiet moment. moment. Yeah, he's having a quiet moment. I'd, I'd quite like to join him right now. I'd have a quiet moment. But, um, yeah, I mean, he's going he's gonna to struggle to get a gap there. Smith's got by far the better position, I think, there. Um, right, let's take you through it then. Scotty Scheffler mm-hmm. minus nine, Cameron Smith minus eight, Im minus four, Larry three, Rory minus two, Charles Schwartz or minus two. God, I think we dear. may we may be losing our lead on the third hole. I don't know. I mean, if we can match Smith's score again, we're just we're just trying to match Smith's score. This is a this is a very uncertain start from our our leader. Um, but there's a long way to go. There's a long way to go, and the tournament doesn't start until the back nine on a Sunday. The back nine on Sunday. All scores reset. On the uh, ninth green, that's that's how it well, works, isn't it? Stud oh, can't, stud stud can't can't bear to look. No. no, no, he's had enough. Smith backers are. Is he a he's Smith backer or a Scheffler backer? Who are you on? No, he's not on anyone. He's back loads of rags are, uh, with the, with all these extra places, and he's just hoping to get McElroy, some. Oh, McElroy's the McElroy, oh, McElroy each way. Yeah, so he just wants to he's right. Let's get let's get some, let's get some more of your comments. Um, Hugh Masson says, "What do you think of the changes to 11? It looks ridiculously hard and players are bailing out towards the fans on the right. What do you think of that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't got a strong opinion on that. I think a couple um, of players have ended up almost cleaning out people on the 12th tee, haven't they? They've gone so far. Right. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. There have been a few incidents, haven't there? Uh, mm. I mean, it's just a hard golf hole. Oh, my word. Shane Larry's hit the banana ball. That's a disgusting well, that's golf shot. Awful shot. He doesn't even well, need to shout four because there's no one over there. No, that's horrific. I saw Jordan Spieth do that once. I think that's the only t- time I've seen anyone over there. He's, he's taking it well. He's laughing. I mean, he lost his head last night, didn't he? Unfortunately, Shane. He's a combustible character. And, and coming home last night, he, his head came off. He had an argument with his caddy, quite unsavory argument with his caddy. Oh, did he? Um, yeah, over a, a layup yardage that went wrong. So, yeah, I, I worry for Larry back because he's, he, I think he's lost his head. Um, what wanted it, like it a bit? It was so he looked like he was bang in there, didn't he? And loving the been, heat of battle. He's been playing some great golf this year. I think he wants it too much, and um, I think the head's come off there, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, the 11th hole is a tough golf hole. Um, I'll take a Scheffler par there later. The 15th, I'm disappointed, more disappointed with the changes at the 15th. I think it's too long now, and it, yeah, you see players laying up like Dustin Johnson, um, was laying up after a perfect drive yesterday. Um, it's like taken that, the risk that. reward out of it, hasn't it? It's just yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Particularly, I know it was cold yesterday, but nobody's been going for the green really, and I think that's yeah, I think that's poor. So maybe they need to revise that one. Okay, John Armand says, "Can Stephen get a new treble for the three remaining majors?" Uh, yes, I can. <laughs> uh, we, we, we'll, we'll stick with Victor Hovland, and we'll stick. Well, I don't know, Andrew. Victor Hovland Hovland's for what? USPJ. Um, that's next up, isn't it? Yeah, we're definitely going to stick with stick with Victor Hovland for that. We may need to have a little think about the US Open. Xander should fail out. I don't know. He's got a fantastic US Open record, but this year he's not going to plan. And I still think Rory will come good for, for St. Andrews. Yeah, well, he's playing all right this week, Rory, isn't he? Eh? Just have a double for now, Hovland and McIlroy. McIlroy for the Open, Hovland for the US PGA. And then if they both yeah. win, you can bank a bit without having to have the whole lot running onto the next thing. Well, the, the Open's the last of those, so that won't be possible. But uh, yeah, we'll have a think. We'll get a US Open tip. 
Oh look, Larry's uh, taking a, a second a second ball off the tee here. By the looks oh, of things, blimey. apparently Tiger's confirmed he's coming to St Andrews. Isn't that good? Are you going to go there for? You should go to St Andrews this year. I won't be able to. No, I'd be snowed under with work commitments. You know, you know how oh, it yeah. is. Um, yeah, I suppose. So. Rod, Rod Studd's return to the fray there over your shoulder. It is, yeah. That's he's got the squeakiest door. I hope you didn't hear that. No, no, no. I can't hear anything. I've got the got the headphones on. Can't hear the commentary. What are they saying? Um, oh, do you, need, you don't need to hear it, do you? I mean, no, I, I don't I, need to hear it. Butch, I don't think it's worth listening to particularly. The driver's out. Oh, though, so I like Wayne Riley, though. Driving? Wayne Riley's good. He's down there telling us all that's going on. Tell me what's going on then, because I can't hear a Someone's thing. Someone's getting a drop by the look of it. So he's I getting think. a drop from it's those... It's getting a drop um, from a drain cover. And why did Sheffer have, his, Sheffer have his driver out? What's going on there? Please tell oh, me. They, they, they find ways of getting a drop, don't they? I need to take my top off, Steve, right? Oh, but, my word. It's, no, no, it's, I've got one underneath. Even... But oh, the, I've, got, I've got this new floor in life where when I take my overtop off, the under one sort of rides up and you can see oh, my torso. Oh, you Show off your six pack. <laughs> right, hang on a sec. Wait there. Just describe what you can see for a sec, Steve. Wait there. Well, I'm hoping not to see your uh, your belly. I mean, I know we're all, it's all about the hits, isn't it? Getting the hits, getting the viewers in. But uh, I'm not sure that's going to attract me. To be perfectly frank, uh, I can see. Um, well, they've cut away from Scotty Scheffler now. I'm back. You're back. You're back. You're back. I'm in see, green as well. You're back to see Corey Connors. I mean, we need oh, a bit look more. at that by we, Corey that, Connors. That leaderboard needs to be deeper for um, you know, punters, doesn't Place it? Place purposes, yeah, exactly. So, some, some people have got 12. There, Oil Sports had 12 each way places available at the start, if you, if you fancy 12. And, um, you know, I, how's Dustin Johnson getting on? I have no idea. Uh, well, have you not got a mobile telephonic device you can look at? I'm too focused on Sweet Spot Live <laughs> to uh, All right, well, you, do that. You've got to be able to multi-skill in this game. Let's have a look. <laughs> um Shall I have a big rundown of the leaderboard? So if anyone I think else that would help to... some people. Right, yeah. Scheffler minus nine, Smith minus eight, Im minus four, Lowry minus three, McElroy and Schwartzel two, Connors minus one, Thomas minus one, DJ evens, Champ evens, and Willett evens. So if you've taken top eleven with Boyle Sports at the start, you're currently getting paid out on DJ. But there's loads of golf to be played. DJ's only through eight. That's good. I, I'll take that. Yeah, he's still in, still in good, good chance for the place. Then, yeah. Okay. Who's Alatoris? That's good for the three, uh, the two ball treble I put up this morning. Well done. Um, what, yeah, what's your of... tactic on the nourishment and the um and the rehydrating tonight? I had toad in the hole uh, quite soon to before we came on. Yeah, I had a lovely toad in the hole, and uh, Tommy Tiger didn't really get on with it, so I pretty much ate two portions of toad in the hole. Uh, so I feel quite full, actually, too full. I feel a bit sick, if I'm honest. Yeah, I've Not had a pizza, nothing. and I, yeah, I, I feel a bit full now. Have we you? Got, have you, have oh, you I'll put you know, living you know, like men north. behaving badly. You? No, you're not north. <laughs> Everything's cheaper, isn't it? We yes. went to, what's it called? Max's Pizza, um, somewhere in West Yorkshire. And for two 11-inch um, pizzas and a coat, it was 13 quid. I mean, that's wow. phenomenally cheap, isn't it? Yeah, that is phenomenally cheap. You Do you like the it. drop that sheffler has got himself here? It's all right, isn't it? This does look quite promising. He's got 72 it's... yards to the pin. He's got a lovely lie in the pine straw. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. There's no trees I mean, we, we... between him and that hole. Is there any low-hanging... Oh, I see. He got a drop because he was behind that massive screen thing. Yep, yep, yep. Man-made, man-made. No, we're, 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 we've got to be happy with this. We've got to be happy with this. Yeah, yeah, I mean, we're very happy with this. If he can just settle down. Yeah, Jim Freighter like... says, Chef won't finish in the top three. Don't say that, Jim. Come oh, off Jim, it, man. Jim, Jim. That'd be awful. Right, it's in the air. It's on its way. Oh, oh no, he's... Sh he's uh, oh, no, you swore. I'm just going to apologise for any bad language. Our, our cameras might have picked up. Our microphones might have picked up. Don't worry, Steve. It's all right. It's past the water. I street. said shoot. As I always tell my daughter, I said shoot. She, you miss yeah. her. I said shoot. Well, shoot. That was very shoot because it came. Look at that. It's like a ski slope. He tried to get too cute with it, didn't he? Now yeah, he's yeah. Devil's yeah, own yeah. job to get up and down, isn't he? Yeah, it's a cardinal sin. That's a this cardinal is a sin, terrible isn't? start. Well, at least we had that three shot buffer. We can throw our three shots away and then just uh, play golf. Go from again. There. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he prefers being the hunter rather than the hunted. Smith's got a very similar shot, although he's from actual, playing from actual grass. So here he is, just going to try and flick this one over that mound that uh, Chef failed to get his over. He's brilliant at this. He's brilliant Piers at this. Smith now playing his shot in case you wanted to sync the pictures. He's looking down, he's oh, looking down. Yes. He's done yes, exactly yes, the yes, same. Yes. 
I apologise for cheering there if anyone's on Smith. I know a lot of people will be, but... Rod Stutz yeah. just turned to me and said, McElroy will win this. <laughs> oh, that's what, bold. Bold. <laughs> what price is McElroy in case you're right there? Hang on, let's have a look. That's bold. Ridiculous. That is a bold... I mean, he, he, he dropped... It's 80 to 1, Rod. You can have 80s. Stranger right. things have happened at sea, but they're not playing at sea, Rod. They're not playing at sea. Si Woo Kim, he's going well, isn't he? He's going well. Is Min Woo Lee just drifted away now? I was, I was so, so pleased for Min Woo Lee. Yeah, I mean, very these good. Ball, these balls are almost right next to each other. And the chef is going to be going first. Oh, is he? So we can, so we can have a what look. What balls do they play, Steve? I know you place great importance on what balls a player has. Not, do, not as do, in yeah. cojones, but the actual golf ball. Who Smith plays a, what? Smith, here? Smith is a tightlist, tightlist loyalist. He's he's played tightlist. Tightlist loyalist. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not a tightlist loyalist anymore. I've um I've ditched tightlist for the, the you, you hit Pro V's, TP5. don't you? I've, I've moved to the TaylorMade TP5. I'm now sponsored by TaylorMade TP5s. And what does um, Scheffler hit? He's ta he's TaylorMade. He's TaylorMade. He? I think yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure he's TaylorMade. Yeah, he, he signed a new contract with TaylorMade at the start of the year. Do you remember Sebastian Carmichael Brown was sponsored by uh, TaylorMade, Ad didn't he? Yeah, and Adidas he used to get he used to, he used to get an actual free gear, he to, didn't he? Yeah, he used to get a shit a box of Adidas golf gear every week. I mean, I was always quite jealous. Are we of that, that far off him as influencers that we don't I think get we that. must be. I think we have zero influence. <sighs> I don't know about that. Heartbreaking, isn't it? It makes Rich it look easy Taylor. from this camera angle, doesn't it? But it, I can tell you, it's not. It's not easy. Your old mate Rich, T your old mate Min Woo Lee, Rich Taylor says he's back to my two hundred and fifty to one each way. How about that? What a lovely thing! Really great work, great work. The potential that is right then. This is crucial now. For oh, he's pitched oh, it no, into right, the bank right, and it's, it's gone. Right, it's right, oh, it's, it's, right, in, right, it's in! It's in! in. It's in! It's in. Oh, pitches in for a birdie. <laughs> <laughs> Beauty! Oh, you play it like that. Don't think what a start! Oh my. He plays his chips like that. He plays them low. He's, 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 he meant to do that. Don't think that was that wasn't luck. That was beautiful. He meant play. to do that, did he? Yeah. Oh, my I'm goodness. in the bad books, probably. I've probably just woken up the children just as they settled. <laughs> it's the final round of the Masters, and that's a game changer. You've I'm woken up the that. kids. Oh, no. I, I, I'll be staggered if I haven't. I mean, <laughs> but I mean, I, I apologize to everyone, including my wife, but that was. A game changer. Oh, look at this. So did, he mean to, did he mean to yes, pitch he meant it to just into that he top? Meant to go low. He meant to go low. Oh. He just slightly <laughs> overhit it. I mean, it would, have, it would have wandered on, wouldn't it? But get in there, the chef. Oh. Andrew Hinton oh. says, love the coverage. I'm based in Denmark. So great out to have the English commentary. Larry and Connor's top eight for a nice week. Good luck, welcome, Andrew. Welcome. And thank you very much. Welcome Denmark, Denmark must be a lovely Denmark. place to be watching golf. Some of the most beautiful women in the world live in Denmark. I agree. I went to Denmark for a stag weekend and that the, they it, all the humans of both sexes oh, just seem to be so sort of beautiful and well hewn, don't they? You, you can't say about that about the United Kingdom, I'm afraid, but we won't linger on those negatives. Right, okay. Right, here comes Smith. Can he reply? He's been shown what to do. It looks like he's got the three wood out here. No, it doesn't. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever higher, seen. He's gone higher. He's, he's gone, gone higher, harder he's gone and higher. And he's gone he's 20 done. foot back. And he, what what would be the make percentage on that part? Five? Oh, 13%. 13%. Scheffler from there earlier in the week, three putted from a very similar position. There, there's a lot of speed on that. He's going to have to be very, very careful. Very, very the careful. momentum's been shifted back, hasn't it, Steve? I know you love that word. I think Rod Studd's an equally big fan of that Rod word. Rod Studd hates it. Yeah, the, right, the Scotty Scheffler, two to mental. five with Boyles, five to two Smith, and it's 33 to one Sunjay Im. His, his scrambling is, is going to win this for, for Scotty Scheffler. I mean, he's been scrambling superbly all week. And, and, you know, he's had a wobble at the start there, and that would have settled him down no end. Lovely fist pump with Ted Scott. Mm. Um, I think it's still going to be very close. I'm Who's this with the lemon strides? Oh, Justin, Justin Thomas, Thomas. Justin Thomas. Justin he's Thomas. He's trying to make a birdie at the fifth. And he looks well, like he's going to make it. Yes, he does. But that's good. There that's he's good. a long way back. He's miles back. He's eight back. He can't win. Robert Williamson says, great show, boys. Thank you very much, Robert. Do you think the bird noises at Augusta are fake? You never see any birds on the course, but always hear the chirping. Blimey, that's a conspiracy theory, if ever I've heard one. I mean, I know they put dye in some of the water hazards. So I have heard that rumour. They actually put blue, blue dye in there to make them more resplendent. But that would actually um, require Sky to employ someone to just play bird noises over the bat, wouldn't it? Yeah, that yeah. That can't I mean, be right, can it? I'd like to think not. Maybe we'll speak to Rod Studd. He works for Sky. What are you Sports doing? What's happening on your television? Ah, uh, issues, issues. 3D signal. Is this a 3D TV we're watching on? Yeah, but the, the, the broadcast's not 3D. Well, of course it's not. There's no such thing as 3D anymore. 
Stephen Jackson oh, said, but this was a while ago. Stephen Jackson said, "Time to head for the pylon, Steve." Uh, well, oh. not anymore. Not anymore. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, a midnight trip to the pylon might be on if uh, Sheffield doesn't win now. But my hopes have just skyrocketed. Um, we could have our three shot lead back in a minute, couldn't we? Oh, we've got the first of our guests, Steve. We've got a guest. Guest alert. Guest alert. It is a big hello to Diane Knox Ballas. Diane, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us on Sweet Spot Live. Are you well? I'm great. Thank you for having me, guys. You know, the best thing about this is I'm in Jacksonville in Florida. So what, like four hours drive from Augusta? Your coverage is a good one minute ahead of mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're cheering about Sheffield Chip again. I'm looking at my TV like, wait, no, nope, not yet. <laughs> oh, no. How come is that? Because they just showed so many adverts. Sounds- Oh, she lives in, the, lives in the same place as Cameron Smith then. You must right. be sur- so, surrounded by Cameron Smith fans. Exactly, exactly. So that's why I'm all in on Smith. So when you start cheating, I'm like, oh, no. Oh, sorry, Diane. So I've been to Jacksonville. It's very nice, isn't it? I went to the Super Bowl there in 2005, oh, believe it or not. Lovely place, isn't it? Yeah, it's fun. It is good. Right then, Diane, <laughs> you are our great new signing, a Racing Post sister website in the US, pixwise.com. We're delighted to have Diane as... Our golf analyst and Diane, you started your golfing career with Pixwise very well, haven't you? Tell us who you fancied at the start of the Masters this week. Well, they asked me for two outright favourites, and I gave them Scheffler and Smith. So that was how great. about that? <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. And if you don't believe us, if you get your racing post from last Wednesday and the Masters pull out, you will see that Diane did indeed put those two up. So, which of those do you want to win? Cameron Smith. Definitely. So I think I got him at a plus sixteen hundred at the start of the week. And how can you say that? The thing about no, sorry, sorry, because we're both massive Scheffler loyalists here. Okay, it matters to us. I love yeah. Scheffler too, and I, you know, work out here following the PGA Tour week after week. And what Scheffler has achieved this year since that win at the WM Phoenix Open, you know, three wins and five starts, and then look at him in this amazing position in his what third masters so it is incredible he's a fantastic person but um i just love cam smith and i think as you say he lives in jacksonville so we have that little angle but what he did at the players championship you know scrambling and putting and he had said that heading into this week he was really going to work on his chipping and pitching and his putting and it's like those are the two areas of his game that he really looks undefeatable but um yeah, I, I love Cam Smith. I love the energy he brings. I love the demeanor. And obviously, he's had a runner-up finish here before. He shot four rounds in the 60s in 2020. So I would love to see him do it. And he, he loves his fishing, doesn't he, Diane? That's, it. That's his way of relaxing, isn't it? You no, know, he has an enormous boat. And uh, we'll, we'll see him. We have, like, the intercoastal waterway. And there's some restaurants and bars. And you'll see Cam Smith. He lives on the waterway. And um, he loves his boat. So we were saying, we were all joking, that guaranteed when he won that 3.6 mil at the players, something was going to be done, either a new boat or new zooped up engines. Or But, yeah, he loves to be out on the water. And that's how he spends his time. Fantastic. They're two of the most likable blokes on the circuit, aren't they, Diane? I mean, you must speak to to all the golfers, and you know some of them are really arrogant, aren't they? But these two are just so likable, aren't they? You know, brilliant golfers, but really likable characters. Yeah, and they just, um, you know, you get a vibe. The guys that want to talk and that will kind of like most of them do. To be honest, they'll give you a lot of time, and they're all very cordial. But I mean, yeah. Scheffler, we, we've got to know more about Scheffler since that win in Phoenix, and yeah. <laughs> You know, his wife's always there. They just seem like oh, such a good yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like his wife. And if Cameron oh, Smith to... wins tonight, can I just say one more thing? If Cameron Smith wins, if Cameron Smith wins tonight, they're the top two players in the world rankings. So, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're not just likable lads. They're the two best players in the world if Cameron Smith wins this. Right, Diane, I want to ask you this. Who's the nicest tour pro, current tour pro that you speak to? Who's your favourite? <laughs> Apart from your brother, <laughs> Russell. <laughs> You're not allowed to say him. I wasn't going to say him anyway. Um, <laughs> say Mark Leishman. It's very hard to find someone who's more accommodating and just is nicer than Mark Leishman. Always super friendly, great information. He wears his heart in his sleeve. He'll always tell you exactly, you know, what's good about his game, what he's working on. So yeah, Mark Leishman. It's hard to beat him. And he's got his own. I believe Steve, you were saying he's got his own brewery, hasn't he, or his own yeah, yeah, lager? He- Leishman Lagers, yeah, you can get Leishman Lagers on the internet. Yeah, he likes a beer, does, does, does Leishman. All the uh, and I'm not, I'm not going to make life hard for you by asking you for the player that you dislike, right? But my, <laughs> my question along those lines is, 
what percentage of US tour pros would you say are arrogant, horrible so and sos? What well, percent? It, it depends when you catch them, to be honest. And uh, if we are trying to bug them to talk after they've just had a not so great round, then the percentage is quite high. <laughs> but ordinarily, you know, they're all they, they kind of play the game and. I would say it's a very small, very, very small percentage. Okay. Even tigers are not. I don't. Have you spoken to Tiger since he's come back? I mean, he, the, the new Tiger is totally different to the old Tiger. He's so pleasant, yeah, so yeah. warm. Yeah, I can't, the last time I saw Tiger would have been at the Players in 2019, probably. And um, he did, like a little press junket, and I asked him a question, and he's uh, he's always friendly. You know, Tiger's one of these guys that um, you know working in golf and growing up in golf he's like tiger woods but he'll always say hi if you're ever in a position where you're like walking by him he'll always say hi which yeah. i always think yeah, he seems more approachable now so yeah. Yeah, how yeah. close were you to making it as a tour pro diane oh nowhere near <laughs> what do you play off no i don't even i i don't play all that much right now because yes you do come on what do you play off? No, I, I honestly would not even be able to give you an estimated number right now. I can't even remember the last time. I went to Top Golf a few weeks ago and was like, this is probably the first time I've swung a club in. Top Golf's good, though. I went the other day with my daughter. It's brilliant, you, isn't it? You guys have one, don't you? You've got yeah, one. Yeah, I do. It's really good, though. I yeah. love it. Have you been Top Golf, Steve? It's excellent. I haven't. I haven't played golf this year. I'm having my first round of golf on Tuesday of the year with my dad, <laughs> playing with my dad on Tuesday. So I'm, I can't brilliant. wait to get out of it. Okay, Diane, serious question now. Pressure's on. Who is going to win? Who's going to win and by how many shots? I, you, you, I've i said it. I'm in on Cam Smith. But I do think Scheffler is going to pip him to the post probably only by one or two. I think it's going to be a, a two-horse race the whole way. But I think Scheffler is probably going to get it done one or two strokes. And Scheffler's on minus 10 now. What's the winning score going to be? Um, I'm going to say 12. I think minus 12. 12. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, before you go, Diane, one more question for you. What are you going to be doing for Pixwise? Pixwise, fantastic site, by the way. Obviously, most of the audience for this show is going to be based over in Europe. But if you're interested in US sports, Pixwise is the destination for top tips. And we're branching out into golf, which is why we've got Diane on the team now. And when will we see you after this one? So I'm going to do a, a preview, a big write-up for their website every week. And then I'll be on Let's Bet It Live every Wednesday. So I'll be doing a few little things. I'll be on the show regularly and, of course, all the content for the website. And next week, it's the RBC Heritage. Not that anyone's thinking about that yet. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. So we'll get your views on that in the week. And Russell Knox, by the way, brother Russell, he lit up um, last week's Valero uh, Texas home, didn't he? Was, it, was that the tournament he led after the first round? Yeah, yeah, his first round, but then it all kind of fell apart a little bit, but that's okay. He's playing good. He's very confident and happy about his game right now, so hopefully he's got something good coming this year, and he'll be playing at Augusta National next year. <laughs> Superb. Excellent. Diane, thank you so much for joining us. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Take care, Diane knox Ballas. Lovely to have you on. Brilliant stuff. Excellent. Right then, Steve, what's been happening? It's a three-shot lead, isn't it? The chef, again, is it a brilliant ship shot. His chipping this week has been sublime. And, uh, yeah, he's going to make a lovely, lovely par at the fourth. Um, is he? Where's yeah, Smith? We're, 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 we're in control of our vehicle here, as um, as Alan Partridge would put it. <laughs> it all looked so grim, didn't it? Has that lifted? Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. it feels like a, piano, a grand piano has been lifted off my shoulders. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, I, I feel a lot better than I did at the start of this broadcast. But, uh, mm. yeah, for, what a start from Diane. I mean, yeah, just to, just to bowl in uh, to the racing post pull out for the first time ever and tip the first and the second. All I know. Credits, all, all, all credit to her. Absolutely, um, yeah. Yeah, no, we're delighted to have Diane on the, on the firm. She'll be doing stuff for racing post. And like I say, you can check her out on Pixwise. Okay, let's get back to the comments, right? We better update this because a lot of let's get back to the bit where where he makes that because uh, there's loads of people saying, "Oh, he's bottling it, he's losing it, he's rubbish, he's going to do a Greg Norman," and then all of a sudden, where do we get down to? Oh yeah, look, Zvonny Bowman, yes, unbelievable, yes, yes, Steve, <laughs> get in there, come on, come on. These are all people's comments, not me, just sort of having a kind of delayed reaction. Alex Golding, unbelievable, Jeff, he says, unbelievable, Chef, more like. 
<laughs> missed out on that one. Didn't yeah, we? this is what um, this is what they've come to see. This is this is the stuff we want to see, and we could have a four short lead if in in a second. Is this um, Smith for par? Yeah, yeah, I believe it is. I believe this it is. looks a difficult little um, six footer, doesn't it? I believe it is for I believe it is for par. I was distracted by that Diane and her wonderful teeth. Though. I'd love to have teeth like. Hasn't that. she got nice teeth? I mean, Absolutely. I've got like blind he's, teeth. He's missed. He's missed. He's missed. He's yes, missed. He's he ribbled missed. by. Again, I apologise to Smith backers, but I yeah. I, I see. I, I'm in a funny position here, Steve, because I don't want Smith to completely disappear because my 170 to one oh, dual crikes. forecast. But right. he's, he's well, I tell you what. Too, then. I tell you what, mate. I mean, we, yeah, we've all got our, our, our separate issues. I mean, I'd like to see Dustin Johnson overtake Cameron Smith and <laughs> take the dual forecast on us. Because oh I'm yeah, on, you've got that one, haven't you? Yeah. Can you okay. do me a DJ check? You know, I can't multitask. Can you do me a DJ check? I, I, I believe okay, he's yeah. still. If Smith capitulates, which I don't think will happen, he's just he's just bogeyed a very difficult golf hole there. Um, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just say, if I don't win, I hope you do. Okay. Yes, yes. I'd like to say the same thing. In fact, I will. Okay. If, thanks, I, if right. I don't, if I don't win, I hope you do. Right, let's just see Chef tap him for his. Is this for a bird or for this a part? A lovely part, a lovely solid part. Okay, par, right. Very, so, very, very Chef La minus part. 10, Smith minus 6, McElroy and Im minus 3, Schwartzel minus 2, as is Thomas, DJ minus 1, as is Connors. And then the players on level par are Zalatoris, Champ, Morikawa, Coatcrack, Willett, and Lowry. So, make of that what you will. I certainly will. No, okay. I'm delighted with that. I'm delighted with that. Um, Tom yeah, Eskins they're... reckons Chef plays a tight list. Oh, yes, 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 yes. He may be right. He may be right. Yes, I apologise. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in a bit of a, um, a bit of a mail. I've got a maelstrom of emotions. I use that expression on RPG TV today. I've been on the telly a lot You've today. You've been on RPG TV yeah, today? Yeah, yeah, I've been, yeah, yeah. I've been on RPG TV. What? Yeah, yeah. I tip, 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 tip. I've got an amazing record on the first toaster. Do you not watch RPG <laughs> Graham TV? Oh, I do. Actually, Rod Studd watches it religiously. You've got a good record in the first at Toaster, have you? I've got almost like a 100% record on the first at Toaster. I've been on for about 16 weeks in a row now, and um, I always tip the winner of the first at Toaster. If you want, if anyone, if anyone out there wants a second income. <laughs> do you study the form, or do you have a, a particular kind of um, yeah, I study system? It. No, I, I study it. Yeah, I like dogs that are... God, we really sh does anyone really care about this? We might as well. well we've got, all night. We've got yeah. four hours, my friend. You yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get a lot more boring than this. Go on. <laughs> I like, I like, um, I like dogs that are settled at the track. And the thing with toasters, you get a lot of dogs coming in from Romford and all these other tracks. <laughs> what uh, are you on about? You, you get no, you get nomadic dogs. You know, nomadic what do you dogs. Mean you get you just, nomadic dogs. Well, they're, they're, what, like they're sort just, of wild dingoes that turn up at <laughs> toaster and run it. Just race it all, all different tracks. So they, they get it, they get out the tins and they say, Where am I today then? Where am I today? And they have no idea which track they're at, and they're all slightly different, these tracks. And they're, 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 yeah, that, they're, those seconds are crucial when they're trying to adjust. So I like the dogs that know where they are. And there's certain dogs that always run at toaster, and I support them, and, and, they, and they do really okay. well. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair you, enough. Here we go. Scotty Sheffer at the fifth. Blimey. You know when Larry was making Horlicks of that hole? Apparently, he made a triple bogey. Talking of Horlicks, is this is found the cut and prepared, or is it leaking out? So, right, no, it's fine, no, it's isn't fine. it? He, he couldn't be more settled now if he tried. Okay. Um, right. I guess he is trying to. But, um, yeah, no, we're, we're in full control. Someone uh, says, come on, the champ, our old friend, the Greyhound, Cameron Champ, talking to Greyhounds, because he was the original, wasn't he? When we first started doing the show, we, we, we tried to think of golfers whose names sound like racing Greyhounds, and you still can't beat Cameron Champ, can you? Is he on I the champ? Maverick, Mc, yeah, yeah, Maverick on the McNeely champ. is a bit of a racing Greyhound, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Cameron Champ um, could get an each way place. Is that what your man's saying? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yes, it I, only is. Have, I only have I only have five names on my screen here. I think Sky need to work on that. Five names is not enough on the screen, there is it? Five names? What do you mean? Oh, on the leaderboard, the tiny little leaderboard. Oh, sorry, yeah, 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 that one there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dan, yeah, Dan, I mean, Walsh, thank you very much for your kind comments. Dan says, um, great entertainment, and so so all of us. Well, hopefully that's all good. Oh, blimey! What else have we got? In, just in a little bit of trouble there. Yeah, this is this is good. We could stretch stretch another shot clear. Yeah, but I think of my dual forecast, Steve. Oh, Brutal says Schwarzel is a bit of a miserable bugger. Is he? I, I don't know. Is that what well, I did about Schwarzel, Schwarzel yeah, yeah. yesterday? Schwarzel was wearing the worst pair of trousers I've ever seen. You see, do you remember they were tan coloured? They were really baggy and flappy in the wind, and came halfway up his ankles. They were embarrassing. I think Anna Ban Lahiri's trousers at the Players Championship take some beating, don't they? Rupert the Bear trousers, um, and I think Justin Thomas's trousers today are quite poor as well, but. Uh, who am I to? Who am I to talk about trousers? Let's see what Matt Smith says. I'm in Monterey, California. You lucky oh. sod, Matt. Illegal to bet here. Almost oh, worth really? flying to Vegas each week. 
to bet on Steve's tips. Well, I know um, gambling is going to become legalized in California soon, Matt, hopefully. But uh, is it? yeah, you can always just pop over to Vegas in Nevada where you can bet your heart's content, can't you? Isn't it outrageous that you have gambling's banned in California? Oh, yeah. I mean, I just think you know, I'm a great believer in um, governments staying out of things. Let people bet if they want to bet. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, mate. I was trying to read a comment there. I, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Yeah. And, right. Yeah. And, and, and the UK government should listen to this as well because uh, they're starting to meddle where they shouldn't. Really? Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Affordability checks. I mean, come on. Come on. Oh, can I can I just be indulge uh, with uh, for a sec? Because he says, Bruce, I'm off to Portugal soon. Can you give us a quick rundown of the courses you played, please? Yeah, we're eight of us from the Racing Post went to um, – the Algarve last week, and we had a lo- three lovely courses. We played Villa Sol, which is very nice, but very difficult. And then we played both courses at uh, Val de Lobo. So we played the Ocean and the Royale. And I tell you what, wow, those two are absolutely fantastic. So, we're, so I don't know if you've booked your courses yet, but I can thoroughly recommend all three, but particularly the two at Val de Lobo. And either of them are just incredible, really. So, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we're just watching someone at 16, Steve. It's that usual Sunday pin position. Do you think we'll see an ace at 16 today? We could very much see an ace. I mean, Stuart Sink's already nailed one there, hasn't he? That was a beautiful moment. Did you see that with his son caddying for him uh, earlier in the week? Stuart Sink has had a hole in one in four decades now on the yeah. PGA Tour. I mean, yeah, yeah that, that, that's a real feather in your that cap, was nice, it? wasn't it? That not was many nice. people can uh, not many people can say that, can they? Um, <laughs> Someone with a very, very hard to pronounce name, Do Grow You Grow, says, Steve, I know in the heyday of your Racing Post column, you had some celebrity followers. Who was the most high profile? Well, you did actually. You had a few stars. You used to love the, the, the column, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose Sir Michael Owen was the uh, the most high profile. I mean, um, you know, he, he had the potential to be the greatest footballer ever. You know, he, you know, when, he was, when he was a 17 year old kid, you probably say he was going to become the greatest footballer ever, wouldn't you? So, uh, yeah, I put him at the top of the list. Yeah. And you're, you, you were pals with old uh, Darren Clark, weren't you, Dazzler? Yeah, 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 yeah. Pals with Dazzler. Um, played a round of golf with Rory McIlroy. Don't like to talk about it. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. We, we, we all like our celebrities. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely. Right then, so we're sitting more comfortably now, aren't we, Steve? We are sitting quite comfortably, but the idea of having the guests on, wasn't it, that was so so one of us could go and have a little bit of relief, wasn't it? So we've already used one of our guests. And well, yeah, but I wait. thought you might want to stay and interact with Diane. No, you, I did. I did. Ne- we've never I met did. her before, have we? So we wanted to we wanted to get to know Diane. And... No, I thoroughly enjoyed that. I thoroughly enjoyed I that. Did, but yeah. I, I, I was just saying, yeah, we, at some point, yeah, do we, have we got another guest lined up at some point? We stage? have at some point, um, don't worry. But I, I I will go back to what you're saying about teeth envy. I mean, she had fantastic oh, teeth, didn't she? And I, I've got the world's worst teeth. So most I people I'm, say, I'm envious yeah. of, but those were absolutely you know, they, 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 both of us have got terrible teeth, and me. Yeah, I, I, I should. Thank have you very much. That's very rude. <laughs> well, well, no, I'm only going on what you said. There. No, you're right. You're I, right. I, I mean, mine are I, desperate. I really someone, someone teeth. said that for thirty grand, I could have all my teeth removed and beautiful sort of new, not plastic, but whatever they'd use. Gold you'd, ones. Gold you'd ones. never. No, no. They sort of they put them in in rows of like four or something, and sort of screw them into your gums, and you never have to go to the dentist again. Really? Thirty grand. Well, like yeah. invincible teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, what color would they be? White, white ones. Get what up, do you mean? What up. color will they be? No, no, no. Maroon. You, you, have, you, have, <laughs> you, know, you see many. You see the odd, the odd gangster, don't you? With a lot of gold. No, teeth. no, no, no. Well, I mean, you yeah. could obviously choose your color, but I'm fairly sure white would be a fairly white's popular available. Yeah, choice, yeah, it would it? be, wouldn't yeah. it? Well, thirty yeah. grand. Well, there you go. If you, if your dual forecast comes in, you can have a new set of Nashes. Yeah, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, I've got horrible teeth. I've got horrible teeth. But, oh, so, yeah, I've Diane, never noticed that. Yeah, I've got one sticking out. I look like Count Dracula sometimes. Um, would you say, what's because, your worst um, physical feature, your teeth, would you say? <laughs> mine definitely is. My, mine are my teeth and my index fingernails. Can you see? I've got really tiny index fingernails. Oh, Can you see them? you between, between those bunkers. Um, oh, yeah, 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 they are They're quite tiny. odd, aren't they? Yeah, they are quite odd. Yeah, Smith's Balls falling between those two bunkers. That's very fortunate, isn't it? It looks like shank that. It always well, looks had, like that, doesn't it? Where it sets off to the right and then comes back. He's had a little bit of luck there. I mean, he's found the dance floor at five. Sometimes comes down to. Who, oh, let's late, see what the let's luck. see what the latest betting is on their side. Can we get um, the, can we get the uh, market up from Ball Sports? There were two to nine Scheffler, four to one Smith, 
33 to 1 Rory for uh, Rod Studs to my left. And uh, any price you like the others, Justin Thomas is fourth favourite now. Here's Sun Jaim, it looks like he's going to come up with a great pass save. Right then, what else we've got? Oh, Andrew Whitewood's got no power. He says oh, no. he's, got, he's got a power cut and he's um, he's delighted to have the commentary from us. So I'm, deli I'm pleased that we can help Andrew Whitewood out. I hope well, I've got some friends who haven't got Sky, actually. I had a friend text me earlier who said he's going to follow this because he hasn't got Sky. You know, not, not, you know, Sky is so ridiculously expensive these days, isn't it, that um, a lot of people will be using this to actually find out what's happening. So we better we better tell them what's happening. OK, right. Well, so should we just turn it into a straight commentary then? Right, Lowry, yeah, yeah. across the sixth screen for a birdie after that horrible trip when he makes it. So he goes back to something, but he's, he's miles away. But that will make him feel better. Minus one. Yeah, he had a disaster at the fourth. He, a, he, he took a six. So that's no good, is it? No, um, good. Oh, that's Keith good. Park. How many shots ahead will Chef need to be before we get a rendition of this will not be beaten? <laughs> and this will not be beaten. It's more for a dog race, which lasts 30 seconds. I'm not sure that Steve can keep chanting that for, uh, for that, for, for, you know, say two hours for the entire back nine. We have some water hazards, don't we? If we can get through the 16th unscathed, um, I might start singing from the 17th tee to the to the 18th green. Oh, don't do that. That'll take 40 <laughs> minutes. You, you literally can't just sing, this will not be beaten. <laughs> no, no, no. It's too early for this shot, Chaz. Too early. I mean, the, but the tournament hasn't started yet, has it? It starts on the back no, nine true. Sunday. Remember, mm -hmm. the scores will be reset. Are you bursting? I'm not actually. No, it dries okay. a bone. I just, I just wanted to top up. My mug with a, um, some uh, some tea, some t some tea. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all, that's all I was looking to do. Okay, mate. Fine. Have you not got Nic Nicola on your beck and call? No, 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 no. I mean, she's she's on duty upstairs with two children. So um, I is don't she know what's going thoroughly on there. miffed about this whole venture? Uh, I don't know about myth. No, no, no. I mean, it's, it's going really well. I mean, um, yeah, it's been <laughs> it's been fantastic this week, really. It, when when Sheffield got in front, you know, life just seems a lot. Not easier when your players in the league. <laughs> so we've no, got it, so oh, many comments. It's brilliant. Thank you so much boy. for all your contributions. We'll work through a few of those. We'll have a quick blast. Uh, or should we comment on Danny Willett's eagle attempt at the eighth first? It's a long one. He's never going to eagle it. He's got. It doesn't really count for much. Even if it goes in. It's, there, a, it's so a good I, week though, hasn't he, Danny Willett? He has. It just goes to show, doesn't it? You go to that Champions Dinner. I think it gives you a real fillip, and you you remember that you are one of the elite. You know, not many people have worn the green jacket. I think it puts a little spring in your step. You know, it's amazing what happens. You know, Charles Schwartzel, another one. You know, he's been playing like an absolute moron for the last few weeks. <laughs> Turns up, turns up at uh, you know, goes to the champions' dinner and suddenly feels like a world beater again. Mm. Remembers how how good he is, and uh, you know, you've seen well, I, I just think it's embarrassing he wore those trousers at Augusta. I think it's just <laughs> ludicrous. Right, let's well, at least he had trousers on. See, Taylor Gooch wore shorts on the putting green and got rebuked earlier in the Did week. Did he really? Yeah, Did yeah, he? yeah. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah the official had to come over and he had to put some waterproofs on, even though it wasn't raining. So so he's allowed to spit every 10 yards, but he's not oh. allowed to wear shorts. I mean, no, well, this is it. that's this a is bit it. odd. It. Let's have a real quick fire Q&A, shall we, Steve, so we can get through. We've got quite a backlog, and I do want to mention everyone's taking the trouble to email the show. Uh, Richard Casey, Bruce, I'm on Palace, 40 to 1 each way for the FA Cup. Can they get to the final? I hope so, but Chelsea won 6 nil yesterday and we lost today, so slightly concerned about that. Um, let's have a look now. John Gorton says, none of us will be able to bet in the UK soon. MP should mind their own business. What do you think of that, Steve? I say, here, here, here. Yeah, they should mind their own business. They don't understand what they're dealing with. They're dealing with destroying... No. In, we've got wars. Industry. We've got epidemics. We've got cost of living crisis. Leave betting alone. Keep your beaks out. Do you agree with that, me. Steve? I totally agree with that. All, and I must say all credit to him for going to Kiev the, yesterday. Though. I thought that was a courageous and, and brilliant act, and it was nice to see Zelensky smiling again. OK, right then. G Ham, Steve, would you take the chef one up going down the last now? That's an interesting question, isn't it? No, emphatically not now. No, emphatically not. If you'd offered me that you know, an hour or so ago, emphatically, yes. Now, I mean, it, it, he stabilised things, and I expect him to, uh, to win quite cosily now. Gary says, was Steve not invited on the Algarve trip? Steve is was working too hard to go on the Algarve trip. Yeah, but were you that, invited? Uh, in a lot, in a lot of these companies, it's the fellas in the ivory towers who go on these trips. Were you the, invited, Steve? Yes, but they, it was an empty gesture because it was. It wasn't. It, of course, it wasn't. <laughs> we wanted you there. Well, but then you wouldn't have had a race in Postmasters pullout. Hang on, Scheffler for birdie. Scheffler for birdie. Oh. Dribbles it wide. Oh well, it's okay, a good part. 
Good par, right. good par, a different golf hole. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, really enjoying this watch long. Make this a regular thing for majors if possible. James, that's what's happening, my friend. We're going to be doing this for all four majors and also two others. In, com in conjunction with Boyle Sports, we're going to be doing the four majors. We're doing the British Masters and the Irish Open. So please do join us, my friend. Thank you very much for kind comments. Um, let's have a look. What else have we got here? Uh, I heard a oh, phone go off there. Was that yours or Rod Studs? No, Rod Studs. Uh, Come on, Rodney. You... Re remove the ding dong. Remove the ding dong. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, da, oh. da, 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 da. What else have we got? Uh, quality content, says Liam. And still 13 holes to go. Oh, don't worry, Liam. It'll flag badly, mate. We've got to fly and start, <laughs> but it'll be terrible. Um, Richard Wall says, thanks, Steve, for giving some great previews and tips each week. I've got the top two looking for place money, Thomas, 40 to 1, and Larry. So getting dizzy, concentrating on it all. Big profit, whatevs. Well done, Richard. That's brilliant. Well done, Richard. I love the well whatevs. He saved himself one letter by saying whatevs rather than whatever, hasn't he? I think mean, that's very wise. I think oh, that's what's Smith done? Is that a bird? That's a par. No, no. They're, 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 oh, they're so they're they're both par yeah. the fifth. Smith had to roll in a big one there, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you know, I know you like to describe these things as a match play situation. No, so, I don't. I uh, hate that. You know, I yeah, hate I, that. I, 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 I bet they're doing it on telly, don't they? Oh, it's now a match play situation. No, it's not. It's being provocative there. But I mean, yeah, if we could just match everything Smith does to the to the 18th, we'd be fine, wouldn't we? How about I must this? apologize. Can I just apologize for yeah. if I do a lack of smiling tonight? Because there was, an, there was a couple of incidents earlier. Both of my children have injured me today. And. Uh, <laughs> Early on, my, my daughter injured me because she, she was trying to make me smile. So she came up to me and pulled my lips like that to try and make me smile. Oh, all credit, Rory. Oh, Rory's, Rory's. Oh, no. Rodney, Rodney, Rodney's Rory's be... birdie the tenth. He's only two behind Smith. He's going to ruin my dual forecast. He may well ruin. This is typical forecast. Rory turning it on when he can't win. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. So, it? so, so Grace pulled the corners she, of your she, mouth she, up she, to make you smile. Been, so, yeah, because I wasn't smiling for some reason. Yeah, I wasn't particularly miserable today, but she came out and sort of pulled out. And I, because I had quite dry lips, it, it cracked. <laughs> and so I, I oh, blushed. sorry, that's quite bad. Really hurts. I mean, it's, I sound oh. pathetic, really. Yeah, people no, no, I can imagine. I'm doing it now. Imagine pulling that and it cracking your lick open and blood started pouring out there. She felt no terrible. Way. So that was the first incident. You and actually got like, a cut lip. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I go a bit closer to the camera, you might still see it. Where is the camera? There's a cut there. Uh, oh my goodness! Uh, and, and the bottom bit. It's, yeah, that was a several hours ago, and it's healed a little bit. But um, the second incident. Let's just see Chef hit this t-shirt, and then I'll tell you about the second incident. That was even okay. Worse. This is the part. This is the part three, which um, Larry messed up so badly. So Chef with a four-shot lead. He looks like he's buttoned this, doesn't he? Yeah, that looks pure. I've got about the, the distance shot tracer. Control. He's on the correct tier. Stop! Just no, falling away. No, no, he's lost it. He's lost it. Oh no, that's going to go. I mean, that's gone. That's gone. That's all right. That's all right. He's a great distance putter. That's okay. No, that's he's in trouble. He's got a putt over that enormous ridge. He'll two putt that. You, well, you say that. I think. I think that's a, that's an incredibly hard two putt. That Steve, come off it. Look, he's got to go right. Across yeah, I mean, that yeah, hump. you don't. You oh, you massive. It's a massive putt. You'd eight putt that. You'd you eight would. putt. Yeah. All right. Got, so would you. Sheffra. I'm good at Sheffra. putting you. Of course I am. <laughs> I am. I'm good at putting. I'm rubbish at everything else. <laughs> you said would it you... would flag. We're now, we're now squabbling over who's the best <laughs> putter. It's yeah. flagged it already. <laughs> right. Robert um, Smith, yeah, yeah. He's, he's got a fiver on this. Oh, sorry. But we'll come back to your other injury in a sec, Steve. I've oh, got yeah. a fiver on Smith and Sheffra. 125s. According to Robert Smith, that's a lovely bet, Robert. Well done, mate. That's well done, Smithy. Well done, Smithy. Right then. Go on, Steve. When else did you get injured? I got injured about two hours before the broadcast. Go on. That should go the same way. Off you go. Smith's um, gone exactly. So he's done the self same thing. Tommy Tiger's into Star Wars now, and we were playing. He, he likes picking up things and pretending they're lightsabers. So he picked up. Um, like this washing line pole in the garden. It was quite a very tall lightsaber. <laughs> and then I got the other one of them. And we got two of them. We started doing like that. And it was all going well. You know, and then suddenly he got a bit bored of that and just decided to take a full <laughs> swing at my head and smashed it into this ear. You see, got a, a, there was blood streaming down my ear. So I, I've now got a plaster on there, that, which oh is God. why. Yeah, you see the big plaster on there? Yeah. There was, it was a lot of blood coming out. He, he, yeah, Grace had loads of remorse when she cut my lips. She felt terrible about it. He was just laughing his head off. Did I mean, you admonish him? Tiger Um, 
I, I just said that's the end of the game, Tommy. That's the you end just of the said game. that's the end of the game. Yeah, I just you're not doing him any favours there, Steve. Well, I, he, he, he smashed you around the head with a washing line pole, and you've just yeah. said, right, that's the end of the game with blood yeah, yeah, spurting it, from your ear. It was a battle. I mean, he's won the battle. I mean, he's 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 a he's a born winner, isn't he? I can't I can't admonish him for, for winning the battle. He took yeah, his but chance. What if he does it to someone at school. Well, he won't have a washing line pole at school, will he? I don't know. He, 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 I mean, it's a twelve certificate. We were discussing it on on Sweet Spot the other day, weren't we? It's a twelve certificate wow. Star Wars, um, and he's only two. So maybe that you know the proof of the pudding's in the eating there. Okay. Um, I'm talking of uh, the sweet spot. The regular sweet spot is every Tuesday, by the way, Stephen, myself previewing the action with all the tips. So we'd love to join us for that. We've got the first airing since we've come on, Steve, of the Rolex advert. I mean, oh, it's dude, just dude, awful, dude. isn't it? Dude. Just completely pretentious guff. It's the worst yeah. advert in the world, honestly. Well, let's counter it. Let's counter it now by saying how rubbish Rolexes are. I mean, well, no, we can't what, do that. We oh, we're not allowed do to do that. that. Well, oh, I mean, no. I, I've got no evidence to say Rolexes are rubbish. I think they're expensive, but I've never owned one. Uh, I've ne I don't. I don't have anything to do with watches. I have a fit. Yeah. I, this is how ridiculous it is. I have that on my wrist, but I don't really use it. To tell me, tell me, use it to tell me how many steps I've done every day. Who cares? Yeah. I don't yeah, care. Yeah. There's no such thing as time. Oh, right. Here's it. Well, there is. Stephen Morley says, what would you guys have on the menu at the champion's dinner? I'll tell you what, I'd almost have that Maxi's pizza right earlier. It was lovely. <laughs> but no, I actually would have sirloin steak with peppercorn sauce, peas and thin cut fries. And then for pudding, I would have eaten mess. How about that? That sounds nice. Yeah, I think I'd have roast beef and Yorkshire puddings for the mains with lashings of gravy. And uh, for the dessert, I would have apple crumble. Would you? Thanks, thanks for asking. Yeah. I don't like that. Is that are they trying to make out that Justin Thomas is wearing Ukraine colours? Yeah. It's sort of dark blue and lemon, isn't it? It's not really Ukraine, but if it, if that's what he if that's what he's intending, and that's the nearest he's got in his wardrobe, then is that what he's intending? Is that, is I that, don't know. That? I don't know. Well, don't yeah, know. I mean. Wouldn't it be nice if the whole field did that? That would have been nice. It would create have... a bit of a kit clash. But, yeah, I mean, for, it when it comes to raising that. awareness for Ukraine or inconveniencing me for a kit clash, then obviously it would be nice. Boyle Sports, but one to four, Scotty Scheffler, four, Cameron Smith. And this is quite interesting, Steve, now. Rory McIlroy, 16s to win the Masters. Mm. Well, well, that is at 11. Here he is at 11. We talked about yeah. the 11 earlier. We'll just go quick. Duh. Okay, so if you, if you if he hit that at the same time as I said, duh, on your screen, then you're well synced up with us. Yeah. So he smashed well, yeah. it right down yeah, there. It'd be very like. interesting if he could set a mark that could get Scotty's attention. It'd be very interesting. Wouldn't it? I can't see happening, but maybe this is how Rory McIlroy is going to win the Masters, by, by not really thinking he's ever got a chance you know he, 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 yeah the pressure is so much on Rory McIlroy to complete the career, career grand slam it means too much to him maybe this is how he does it he sneaks it come on Scotty mm. let's put the uh, oh this is a horrible long part you know he's left it way short he's left it short he's left it short that's eight foot isn't it no no that's not eight foot no what no that's it? fine that's an uphill five footer he'll knock that in okay. he'll knock that in I, I still I, I think he's calm he's calm now look he looks calm he looks calm he's a real dude this fella Oh, he's he is, isn't he? He can't he, be 25. He cannot be 25. He's a very mature 25-year-old, isn't he? Here he, comes he's, he's, Justin I'm... Thomas at eight. It's his third shot, so he must have been in a bit of Barney because he's still 208 from the hole. Yeah, he was in the trees. He was lucky it to have a like shot. looks like he pulls it, doesn't it? But, oh, yeah, he has pulled it. That's why it looks like it. So just when he was getting um, into contention... Can so I have do you want to hold the fork quickly while you go and replenish your tea? That's very, that's very kind of you. Yeah, talk to okay, Rod right. Studd. He's I'll got a lot to say, hasn't he? Rod Studd. I'll talk to the, to the viewers. Oh, of I'm course, of course. Yeah, we've got loads of viewers out there. I'd like to say thank you very much for joining us on Sweet Sport Live in partnerships with Boyles. I'm Bruce Millington, the bloke who was in shot and has just gone out to fill up his mug of tea. It's not tea, really. It's Steve Palmer. Right then, we are at the business end of the Masters. And Smith is trying to counter Scheffler's putt here on the 7th. I think it's the 7th, and he's left it short as well. Scheffler is on minus 10. Smith is on minus 6. Lurking on minus 4 now with a great opening uh, start to his round is McElroy. And then on minus 3, we've got Thomas and Im. 
Im has a putt here to try and get to minus four, which he slots. And Boyle Sports now go. I've just got to press refresh on my mobile. Two to nine, Scheffler. Nine to two, Cameron Smith. 16 to one, Rory McElroy. Uh, 40 to one, Sun Jaim. 66 to one, Justin Thomas. And it's 250 to one, Shane Lowry. So it's looking okay for Scheffler. Smith now has a long putt here on seven for par. I say long, it's 10 foot. He's probably expecting to make it. He's probably round about evens. Do you know what? I think it wouldn't be that long into the future when you start betting on whether they make these putts because there's so much data now. And he absolutely slots it. He's a brilliant, Cameron Smith, a brilliant, nerveless putter. And if he keeps draining them like that, then Scheffler's really going to have to play well to win this tournament. But there is the possibility here that Scheffler's lead will go down to three. Smith made that, Steve. Smith made his 10-footer, OK? Where are you? What's that bag? What's going on? Here it is. Oh, it's not a bag. It's a cushion. Hello. Hello, mate. I thought Sorry. that was a bag, but it's a cushion, that all of Kylie thing, isn't it? Wilco's yeah, here. Too. Look, Wilco. We've got a special guest. We've got, Just... well, we, is he special? Yeah, he is special. <laughs> He's very <laughs> special. Oh, yeah, sort of sense. You are special, Wilco. Oh, got... lovely to see you, boys. How are we doing? Scotty Scheffler's, yeah, Scott, all the better for Scotty Scheffler doing that. So it's our Racing Post colleague, Wilco, the super sub, the man Hi, who Jeff. whenever. Hello, everybody. Whenever Steve is either on holiday, which is a lot, or ill, which has been a lot recently, but he's, he's OK. Wilco comes in and Wilco tips winners. And your most recent one, Wilco, was Scotty Scheffler, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Done the business in the match play. Mm. Yeah, Where are you? Lovely. Mrs. W's? Oh, yes. Well, I'm, I'm embroiled in the world's longest real estate deal at the moment. Um, mm. So I'm actually homeless. Oh, are you? Yeah, I've sold my flat. That's gone. It's empty. Someone else is living in it. But my new place isn't ready that I had an offer accepted on the 28th of August. So it's going on a little bit. Okay, so I'm mate. getting a bit of respite watching the um, action from Augusta this week. And what, what, who, who is your original fancy? I can't remember. Tell us who you fancy. I'm, I'm, I'm on Smith. Uh-huh. So I'm um, sorry, to, sorry to dampen proceedings. That's all right. But, um, That's all yeah, right. so I, I was um, canvas for my top three. Um I did Smith, uh, Sam Burns, who dropped by the wayside, because I fancied, because we've had a couple of decent debutants who've done quite well the last couple of years, mm. haven't they, with Zalatoris and him. And and uh, the third one was Shane Lowry, who was obviously going great and could still get a place. So, yeah, I'm not doing too bad. Yes. Uh, actually, uh, I think Peter Hodge points out that if the positions stay the same, the bookie chappies are going to lose a fortune on all the each way first nine plays. Never mind first nine, ball sports with first 11. And I think you're right there, Wilco, if you, uh, and indeed Peter Hodge. If you look at the players who are in the frame now, it's, they're all good ones, pretty much. I mean, apart mm. from, I think, uh, Schwartzel, a lot of them would have had a realistic chance. Now, Rory's just tried to find the 11th green, and he's hit that ridge to the right, and it's spun away. And looking at that pin position, Steve, he's going to have the devil's own job to get up and down there, isn't he? So many players have ended up down there this week. I mean, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. Scottish, Scottish Sheffer seems to aim down there just to play safe uh, and then rely on his short game skills to get up and down. So, um yeah, yeah, Rory needs to get that up and down to keep his, his hopes alive. Do you think he's going to push no too hard now, mate? Because he's given, you know, he's, I wouldn't be too surprised. Like, he's, what is he, five under after 10 today? I, I, he'll be sniffing, you know, shooting 63 or something. I wonder whether he might just push a bit too hard over the last, particularly Amen yeah. Corner. You know, he's in there now, isn't he? And go for greens and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think he'll let it over attack. I mean, maybe 15, he might come a cropper at 15 if he'll obliged yeah. to go for it, wouldn't he? And it's, it's such a long hole these days. I'll um, leave you two to chat. I'm going to get a lung full of fresh air. Oh, yeah. Love yeah, it. good luck. Good luck. That, that makes you sound like he's going for a fag, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I think he did I'm smoke in gone. his younger days, didn't he? He did smoke in his younger days. As did you, didn't you, Wills? Didn't you used to be a smoker? Well, yeah, but, you know, I'm a, I'm a fitness machine now, mate, you know. Yeah, 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 me. you are, you are, you are. You're a big runner now, aren't you? What's your um, What's your best marathon time? Um, Four hours, 48 minutes. Four hours, I'm in the middle minutes. of... Um, yeah, I'm in the middle of training for Edinburgh, which is, oh, I've done nine weeks of a 16-week plan, so I've got seven weeks to go. Oh, I've so no idea next. whether that's an impressive time, because I don't obviously don't do the running myself. What would Moses oh, Kitanui do when you did oh, your time there? What would Moses oh, he's, on about, he's, he's, on, he's on about his seventh pint by the time I finished. Oh, is he really? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's a yeah. tough game, isn't it? No, I can't do yeah, running. I can't do running, but... Um, I've just I've just bought a bike, Wilk, so I'm going to be a biker okay. instead. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be a biker. Now, 
how how are you, how's your mental state, mate? How are you feeling? I feel okay. I feel okay. Yeah, it was tough come tough coming onto the sweet spot, yeah. and then uh, it all going wrong at the start. But um, that chip in, you see the the chef, the chip yeah. in. Yeah, I've been watching and I've been following you fellas. It's a great show. It's been really good. Yeah, I think that was the game changer, really. From that moment on, I've been been confident again. I, I, I suspected it was going to be a very close contest. Mm -hmm. um, tipped up the uh, the uh, straight forecast this morning on Golfwise Extra. Did you read that? Um, Cameron Smith to finish second to Scotty Scheffler. So I'm, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. hoping that's going to happen. But, uh, yeah, Rory McIlroy is um, putting the fly in the ointment a little bit. It's, it? it's always very difficult, isn't it, to talk, you know, what, they've got 12 holes to go, you know, to... You know, whatever you say, you always feel like you're tempting fate. But yeah. And that back nine meant, is the... I think meant, well, as you say, it always starts on Sunday on the back nine. Yeah, it? it's such a but, volatile back nine, isn't it, traditionally? I, I've been really I've been really impressed with Scheffler's mental aspect. I mean, after he made an absolute pig's ear of that drive on 18 yesterday, you know, he could have fallen apart. He could have had a six or a seven there, couldn't he? Incredible. And that, that, shot out of the, that shot out of the woods was shot of the week. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's a fantastic approach. And then the, the fourth shot, you know, that deft touch he's got around the greens. Mm. Um, yeah, I thought that was in, an incredible he went, a, he went for a stage over sort of like the, the – he's back. Over, the, over a couple of rounds where every time he thought he got into trouble, he just dug himself out as if it was – he was yeah. playing a monthly medal or something, didn't he? It, it monthly medal? <laughs> Did you just say the monthly medal? Yeah. What What is the monthly medal? <laughs> well, if you're in a club, you play a competition every month and it's Do a you? medal. You yeah. have to. See, I, 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 don't think anybody, that... I don't think anybody points a gun at your head, but no, I think but you're encouraged to. All week, all week on the commentary, they've been saying, oh, it's as if he's playing his monthly medal. And Peter Alice and all the others used to do that. And I, I've never actually in real life met anyone who's like played in the monthly medal. Have, you, have either of you ever played in the monthly medal? I've never been affluent enough to afford a full-time <laughs> membership. Of have a you, Steve? Have I've you played in No, no, I, I, I've not played in the monthly medal. No, no, no. But Are um... you aware that they actually exist or is it just a figment of TV commentators in no, no, it, it does exist because, because funnily enough, yeah. Tommy Tiger gets invited to the monthly medal regularly because Tommy Tiger gets emails from because uh, he's a member <laughs> of the golf club. Your he son, who's two, gets yeah. <laughs> invitations to play in the monthly medal. Yeah, he gets emails <laughs> from the club every week with all this stuff about that, like, you know, topping up your bar, but your bar. He's a um, member of the club. And, he's a member of the club, so he gets lots of inappropriate emails from the club, up, you know, for for any age group. There, yeah, he's the youngest <laughs> member. By, by Why is he a member? He's a member, so he can use the facilities. Yeah, he's not allowed on the golf course, but he's allowed to use the practice facilities. How so, much do you uh, pay? Fifteen pound a year. It's an you amazing pay 15 deal. Fifteen pound a year. Yeah. And does he get an invite cool. to the dinner and dance for that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He gets You'll be on the same table everything. as Gene and Jeff and Derek and Marjorie. Yeah, he'd like that, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as he's old enough to play on the course, then I guess the the, the fee will go up a bit. But yes, yeah, yeah. the best value membership. It sounds goes, like yeah. one of those big long waiting lists, like they have for the Green Bay Packers, where exactly you, know, yeah. you can't get a season ticket. So as soon as their kids born, they go straight down to Lambeau Field and get on the waiting list. Oh, Folks, right? if you, if there is really such a thing in the, as a monthly medal and you playing it, please let me know what it is and what do you have to do. What's it like? You know, do you get pa paired with a stranger and all that? I, I couldn't do that. If you've won it, particularly if yeah, you've, if you've won, won a monthly thing. medal, do, and do you get the medal and have to keep keep it for a month? Yeah. So let us know your monthly medal stories. Okay, well, I used Ryan. to work at a golf club before I joined the Racing Post. So I used to hand people their. Um, if you got a two, if you scored a two on the scorecard in the monthly medal, you get two pounds for that. What a great yeah. shot from the chef there. I used to hand out these little brown packages with two pounds. So, you know, really? Rupert, Rupert would come in and say, oh, yes, I got a couple of twos yesterday. And I'd have to give him four, <laughs> four pounds, you know. Did you ever get you the impression you were pulling your did legs? Did you have to prove it? Uh, yeah, I think I had a list. I mean, so, yeah, I had to check the list. And, oh, yes, you did, Rupert. You did get a couple Brilliant. of twos. Well, well played. So, yeah, I think, yes, yeah, it lovely yeah, community spirit being a member of the club. I, I, when, I, when I retire, I'll, I'll join. The thing that puts me off being a member of a club is you've just got to play the same course all the time. I don't really like that. I think variety is the spice of mm. golfing life. Personally. Well, you, I, you I struggle like with the rule book, uh, Bruce. You struggle with the rule book. You get in trouble with the other members, yeah, because that, that's you, you what get, you get. Yeah. That's you get what a few members me. that. Um, yeah, yeah, I think because you, you loathe the rule about book. playing with strangers. Because, like, to me, you know, if you if you smash your, your drive into the woods on the right. Um, you, you, I, I, if someone else does what I'm playing with, I just go, I'll just drop one up there. And most of them are so honest. Oh, you can't do that. 
God, what's it matter? We're just having a fun game of golf. So, you know, treading on a twig and, um, you know, oh. or maybe... It's when, uh, it's when they take, yeah, it's when they take the rules to the extreme. Like, they lose their ball and all of a sudden they're turning back 150 yards to go back to the tee. Oh, and no. you think you can't find yours and then you feel obliged that you've got to go and... Yeah, that's the no pub's fun, closing, it? and you want yeah. to get in, and yeah, absolutely. I was, that's I was quite fun. heartened to hear your um, your review of Val de Lobo, Bruce, because I'm down there in a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I, I didn't play Val de Lobo. Where did you play? I played Val de Lobo. Oh, did you? Oh, oh we like that, are we? <laughs> Sorry, I've, you know. I've done you there, haven't I? Val de Lobo. Yeah, councillor. That's a council estate comprehensive education for Absolutely, you. Absolutely, mate. Like now, where, you're going down there in a couple of weeks to play. Are you playing yes, Royal mate. or Ocean? I'm not Ocean. I think I'm not sure. Oh, it's one of these beautiful. golf trips where I just sort of answer Rory the email. Power, Rory yeah, whatever power, you want to do. Mate. Yeah, he's done it. So. Brave, brave, very brave, very brave, very brave. Uh, he's go fine, away, mate. Rory, please. It's, <clears throat> is DJ capitulated, is he? I can't see him. I couldn't um, see him down to the, the plus one. Have you got it? access to a, a scoreboard there, Wilco? Yeah, hold on. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll do a full sweep. I've got the Masters app. It's absolutely brilliant. Right then. Well, Scheffler and, and Smith have both got Tiddlers at the seventh. But in the meantime, Scheffler minus 10 through six. Smith minus six through six. McElroy minus four through 11. Im minus four through seven. Thomas minus three. Connors minus two. Willett and Larry minus one. Zalatoris, Champ, Morikawa, Schwartz, or even. Where the hell is DJ? DJ, unfortunately, he had a seven at the 11th, Steve, and he's uh, uh, he's plus two now, tied for 15th. So I think we can kiss that one goodbye, mate. I know um, our colleague, Joe Champion, our fellow, well, our excellent golf correspondent for the RFO, he's he's on um, Connors each way at a big price. Yeah, so am I. So am I, mate. I've got a bit of place. Oh, oh, he's oh, he just about to get that in. Smith with a lovely birdie putt. So he's back to minus seven. Puts a bit of daylight between him and Rory in third place. What else have you made of it, Wilco? It was horrible weather yesterday, wasn't it? At oh, yeah. It was really gloomy and st- windy, wasn't it? Um, yeah, Matt Fitzpatrick in a woolly hat. I've never seen anybody in a bobble hat at Augusta. Well, I mean, mm. they might have done in November, you know, when we had the... When Dustin won, but not in April. That was crazy, wasn't it? And everyone had a snood. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they absolutely did. Im has set himself up with a nice birdie chance at eight. That would put him to five. He's a under. really good player, isn't he? He is. The only thing I'd say about him, and I'm interested in your view here, Steve. He kind of he, he gets himself. He's a top tenner, isn't he? Really, I know he has won once. Where did he? Did he win in Hawaii? Or he won a big one fairly recently, didn't he? No, yeah, he won the Shriners very recently, didn't he? With an incredible final final round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's a talented lad. I just think he needs to believe in himself a bit more. I think a couple of couple of more years, he'll be he'll be stronger mentally. Big moment here for Chef trying to get to minus eleven. It's only about four foot. It's up the hill. It's a bit wonky, but it's in. He finds the bottom of the cup. So Chef minus eleven, Smith minus seven. McElroy minus four, in minus four, Thomas minus three. Wilco, what do you think is going to happen from here on in? I think he's going to hold on. Yeah. Um, it's just, I've, 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 I've been really no impressed business. with the, <laughs> his men. Sorry, mate. What was that? That's right. These three word answers are no good to us, mate. We're here till 12. Well, you know, I was, so, I was going along and then. Um, Go yeah, on, mate. Got, I just think that he's going to, um, I've been really impressed with his mental attitude. I think he's been brilliant. That. He's come up at just the right time and you just think he's going to, something's going to happen. Like that drive on 18 yesterday, like before that chip, that was so timely and there's such a big, he's just not going to go away. I think, um, I think he'll hold on. I think Smith will, Smith will play well and finish two or three behind. I hope you're right, mate. I hope you're right. What are you going to do with your, oh, hang on a sec. We've got got something from PJ McCann. Someone needs to convince Rory on Thursday that it's Sunday and he's out of contention. It's a very good point, that PJ McCann, because it feels, Steve, doesn't it? Like he, he does, there's some players, aren't there? They turn it on when the pressure's off. I mean, I suppose that is natural. You're going to play better golf where you're not feeling any pressure and you might feel like you've got something to prove, but he does. Well, it's much easier conditions today, much easier conditions. Yeah, real. Yeah, but he's still yeah. outscoring pretty much everybody else, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do. Yeah. We mustn't go on his back. I mean, you could say the same about Justin no. Thomas. I mean, Justin Thomas. Yeah, that what, what happened to Justin Thomas on the Thursday was it was a was a pure choke. You know, yeah, he's playing so well, so consistent, and then he gets to the bit the tournament wants to win above all others, and um, you know, he he, he couldn't handle the pressure. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rory Maxwell think- will will win this one day. He will win this one day. If you if you ever get your copy of Born to Punt, I know it, it's still available for about five p on Amazon. 
Um, <laughs> and I, I get about one p of the royalty. So yeah, do make you still sure get you buy a little royalties check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get What's the last every year. one for? How much do you get last one? I think it was about twenty quid still. Yeah, I think oh, really? get twenty quid a year. Um, that, yeah, mate. yeah, yeah. But in there, I talk about Rory Macro and I say that he's going to win loads and loads of majors. I think this was at the point where he hadn't won any of them. Uh, and I said the Masters would be the elusive one that would win in his forties. So I'm sticking to that prediction. He'll win the Masters one day, and it'll be it'll be the, the icing on the cake of his career. But it'll come in his early forties. Mm. Okay, mate. J.K. Rowling, eat your heart out. Twenty quid royalty check. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> And are you going to stay glued to action, Wilco? What, what, how much of a lead with how many holes to go would it take for you to slope off the bed, do you think? Oh, no, I'll be um, – I'll, I'll stay the course. I might not stay the presentation. Butler's cabin, probably not. You know, well, Jim Nance is over that, there now. Thing. I do I love, love Jim Nance. So. Oh, Jim Nance is brilliant. I love it in the Butler cabin. My two favourite commentary moments this week have been Paul McGinley's hair. Which is that is, a commentary moment? Yeah, it looks very bizarre colour. And when they were talking about um, former champions and th things like that, and Butch said to, um, uh, what's his name? Oh, Di Stewart's Nick Dowerty said, um, said, yeah, and Angel Cabrera, he's in prison. What about that? That's very anyway, off message, that. Is that it, really yeah. it? <laughs> oh, blimey. Yeah, that would have been a bit of a, a frosty moment. Yeah, uh, going on, back yeah. to Paul McGinley's hair, what, what's uh, I've I saw him earlier. He was wearing a very snazzy blue uh, uh, kind it of tartan you're jacket. On a bit of a what, copper tint. Well, that's that's fine. Gentlemen of a certain age do that, Wilco. Well, you know, maybe you know, perhaps it's because mine's falling out that I resent this sort of thing. You it's know, not beach blonde or anything, is it? No. Okay. No, it's not middle age crisis hair, but. Lovely stuff. Wilco, thank you so much for joining us on Sweet Spot Live, my friend. It's been an absolute pleasure. I wish you all the best with your bets. And you, Cheers, my Wilco. friend. Keep take doing care, the great job. When you, when, you, when you take the tracksuit off and come off the bench for Steve, you always tip a winner. So, when Steve, when are you next on holiday? Next week. Next week. <laughs> next week. So, <laughs> yeah. super yeah. sub. Yeah, so um, I'm, I'm just going to get rid of the Masters now for the I'm knuckling down on the heritage. You're all about the heritage. Winner for uh, Wednesday. Brilliant. Okay, so get Wednesday's Racing Post for Wilco's tips on the Heritage Lovely Classic. Lovely to see you, fellas. You take Cheers, care. Cheers, bud. Thank you, mate. Good luck, Wilco. Good luck. Good luck. Right then, back to the comments. Uh, guys, so much. Thank you so much for this. Jim Freight says, can we have Paul Keeley as a guest? Well, we would like to, but he's, well, I think, yeah, he, yeah well, we should. Yeah, we, I don't know if they tried to get kills. He, he's normally very he's, willing, but he's done so many shows at Aintree. He's probably a bit TV'd out. Oh, is he? Robert he's Smith. Not Probably not Robert Smith from The Cure, but the other Robert Smith says, what chance Bland in the British Open? That was my favourite golf moment from last year, I think, when Bland uh, won whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I do I do love Richard Bland, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't see him um, contending for the, the, the Open, no. No, no. I mean, I, I'd like players with a bit more firepower there, and um, I think an elite player will win that. Right, we've, got, we've got to go on a massive splurge to work through this. Lewis oh, I'm Williams, sorry. How long have you known each other? Class show and top broadcasting. Thank you very much, Lewis. How long have we known each other, Steve? Uh, since the year 2000, I believe. Yeah, yeah. When I came up for my interview and um, and took you for a pint and uh, we discussed Graham Lasso and John Harley. Do you remember that? And Nicky Butt. And Nicky Butt. Did we? Well, yeah. We, we, I was taking you through my Chelsea formation and uh, we were discussing, because there was that big debate for Chelsea in, in, in that year, whether Graham Lasso should play further forward than John Harley. And uh, we just discussed the minutiae of the tactics. And then I told you that Nicky Bart was the most important player in the England team. And that that that, that won you over. That got you the job. Mm. You charmed me, yeah? Larry <laughs> makes another birdie. Uh, right, Steve, looks like it's golf at seven and a James Bond role at ten. Yeah, he does a very suave, Steve, doesn't he, David Gaffney? Yeah, yeah, he does. Shaking not stars. Uh, <laughs> Gary Delahunty says, that was a very... <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Uh, that was a very quick smoke, Bruce. No, 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 I, di I didn't do that. I don't do that anymore. I don't like a... Uh, I really don't like a cigarette. Thank goodness I don't smoke anymore. Do you, do you ever smoke, Steve? Do you like a gasper? No, no, no. I've never smoked full-time. I did um, have a couple of social ones uh, in my early 20s, but I don't, you know, I, I, I don't recommend it at all. Okay, fair enough. Ryan Hitchener says, I'm just in Tenerife. This is lifesaver coverage. Brilliant. I hope you're enjoying the show, Ryan. I'm very jealous of you out in Tenerife. It's very cold over here. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's have a look. Let's see what we got now. Uh, oh, someone's just put a word, the word word on Ryan. 
Uh, oh, here we go. We've got some monthly medal chat. Paul Scott, the monthly ah. medal is a staple for competition every month. We play with other members. Ah. How about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's definitely a thing. Go look at Smithy in the bunk here. He's not going to be able to advance this one far, is he? Yeah, he's got a bigger lip to go over than the lip that you had after Grace pulled your <laughs> mouth apart today and cut it. I can't believe both your children have drawn blood from you today. The lip injury is really hurting, actually. It's, it's very, it? very um, uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I do. I, I do actually have a, a lip balm here. I might apply yeah, some of that I'll balm now. Yeah. Some. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Jack Benny says, "I won my club's most recent one monthly medal. My medal I got for winning is sitting on the mantelpiece. Brilliant. Well done, Jack. Excellent. Well done. Well, well, done, well done. Well done, Jack." Right, Bruce. Oh, this is from Ash White, our old friend, and used to be a colleague, but he's left us, for which we're he's very... He's Yeah, yeah, he has. I'm really sad about that. That makes Jack Reeve the best golfer in the company. Ash White says, Bruce, you should know better read the monthly medal. No physical medal is involved. Well, you say that, but our previous question says the medal is on his... Um, it's on his um, mantelpiece. Mantle yeah, Jack says there is. So I'm getting more and more confused. But Ash says... It's just pro shot credit for the five pound entry fee pulled. It's a gross net score tournament. Well, you're saying it's gross net score. The other fellow's saying stable for it. This is getting more and more confusing. It says the word count is restricting him. Well, I mean, I'm going to have to leave you to, to slug it out, to be perfectly honest, because it's, it's just very difficult. Paul says no, of... med no medal is involved at our club. Just 20 pound added onto our account to spend at the bat. I think he means the bar. I'd just like to say, Scotty Scheffler's drive at number eight was his best drive of the day. Oh, it was it. really, really pure. And I, I think if he's driving well again, which he appears to be, then you know, this, this, this golf tournament is his to lose. But we want this to be as boring as possible, don't we? I know, yeah, I know yeah, that yeah. everyone watching wants it to be really, really exciting and close and like, like some of the great masters of old. But we want none of that. I want Scheffler to win by miles. I want Smith to finish second by miles. Justin Thomas, I was hiked it right into the undergrowth. Yeah, and I think that's a reaction to his missed short part on the last. I mean, uh, that, that, that Justin Thomas putter just seemingly always lets him down these days. Has it won for 13 Question. months now? Sorry. Question from Shane. Will Steve one day do a meet and greet with fellow RP fans? He's a legend like Harry Finley. I doff my caddy cap. Well, that's very kind of you, Shane. But, Steve, you, you may as well let Shane down here. You, you just don't like meeting people, do you? You're miserable. And I remember I remember some – I'll tell you what happened, actually. I'm not going to name the player. But someone got in touch with me and said, I'm friends with a particular professional footballer, and he loves Steve Palmer. Would it be okay for Steve to go out for a drink with him? And I went, yeah, I'm sure he'd love that. He'd love that because I thought, you know, the, the kudos of meeting a professional footballer. And I spoke to you about it all excited. And you just went, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that. I just, no, I, I can't do that. He'd be so underwhelmed. I'm, I'm really boring and morose. That's right, isn't it? I do. I, yeah, I just like to keep myself to myself. But I mean, that's a very, very kind thing that, that, that Shane has said there. But yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I could turn up with a big table and there'd be like one person turn up. I, I, I think Shane might be on his own there. It just might be me and Shane for the night. Which I'm oh, sure right. would be a, would, would be good, but uh, what about when no, you have I, that I, fan who tracked you down and just contacted Simon. you from Weymouth and just said, "I'm in." Yeah, yeah, I Simon from Torquay. Shop. Yeah, Simon from Torquay. Yeah, yeah, Didn't yeah. Did he come yeah. and he, get you in that in that betting shop? He went in every betting shop in Weymouth to try and find me, and then struck gold because <laughs> I was actually in one of the betting shops. And the, then he approached me, and the, the rest is history. Um, you, you had a meal with him and everything, didn't you? Well, he, he took me for several drinks. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 he, Did his girlfriend was, come along as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He used his girlfriend. It was a honey trap. It was a honey trap. <laughs> Yeah, he did well. He's a good man. He's a good singer. He's a good singer. He was... Uh... Oh, was he? That's mm. loose, isn't it? That's loose from Cameron. Oh, the patron got it in the knee. Um... Oh, really? He's struggling here, isn't he? All right, yeah, we have he a is, weekend and a Thursday medal every month at Chilwell Manor, says Andrew Gabitas. First Thursday and last Saturday every month. Blimey, you're going to end up looking like a medal. Um, Im is the same as Fleetwood. Won't take a week off. Um, yeah, he's scared to miss, miss a shift. They are very busy, those two golfers, aren't they, Steve? Him and Fleet, Fleetwood. Fleetwood showing some, show, 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 show some signs he's getting his game back. So, uh, yeah, Fleetwood might start winning again soon, but he was very disappointed in contention in Saudi Arabia recently and um, seems to have had a real dent to confidence. He, does, he seems to lack confidence at the moment, Tommy Fleetwood. 
Hugh Masson says, what does Steve make of hoodies, of the hoodies players have been wearing? Is it worse, even worse than a visor? Steve has a, a legendary aversion to visored golfers. He thinks that it, it shows a lack of bottle, I think. What do you think of hoodied yeah. golfers? Yeah, I don't like the hoodie. I, I I wouldn't be able to play golf in a hoodie. You wouldn't want it get, you know, you feel it sort of flapping around and, and hitting your, your backswing there. Yeah, I don't like hoodies. Yeah, not, not, not because I'm a snob and I insist that the golfers are dressed smartly. Just like technically, I think it potentially can cause problems. It's Scotty Scheffler. He's got to go over that hump. Where are we? At eight? We're at eight. He hasn't he's given it enough. He's work with, but he's left that short, hasn't he? No, he hasn't given that, that enough. that his third? But... So he's got that for a bird. Yeah, he's got that for a bird. And Smith's and not exactly... Smith? Uh, Smith's through the back, isn't he? Through the back. In so, uh, yeah. If, yeah, we're in charge. We're in charge. We're in charge. There's, there's nothing to worry about here. Alex Golding asks a question I'm sure a lot of people are wondering. Steve, are you on social media? If so, what? And how can we follow you? You're on TikTok, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not on anything, I'm afraid. Um, I just seek a quiet life. I seek a quiet life, and um, I apologise for that. You used to be on Twitter, and I think anyone who can just say, look, I, it's not for me. I don't like people. I, you had lots. I mean, you were getting much more love on Twitter than anybody I know, pretty much apart from maybe, I don't know, Beyonce Knowles or one of the Kardashians, but you've got a lot of love on there. But the odd, the odd nasty comment, just you, you can't deal with that, can you? And I don't, I, I get that. Like if, you, if, yeah. you walk, if you've got a pub near you and you walk in there and there's lots of people very friendly, but there's one bloke in the corner like slagging you off or threatening you, you just wouldn't go there, would you? No, no, that's very accurate. Yeah, I have a very thin skin. Yeah, it's a very, a very real weakness of mine. And as you say, if I, I could get nine, 999 positive comments and then one negative one, and I wouldn't be able to stop thinking about the negative one. So I don't think Twitter's for me. I mean, some people the opposite. Yeah, Rod Studd's a good example. He's got the the hide of a rhinoceros, isn't he? Um, Rod Studd's got the hide of a rhinoceros. Yeah, nothing, nothing affects that man. So he, Rod you know, he loves can, it. Rod, Rod, Rod is brilliant at dealing with any negativity. He's ruthless. He loves him a good rock. <laughs> yeah, him and his partner in crime, Wayne Mardle from Sky Darts. They they just. They just swap people away like that. They haven't for breakfast. Yeah. So yeah, if, if, if you're a combative character and you like uh, confrontation, then you, you can have a whale of a time on Twitter. But um, yeah, it's, it's not for me. Some people go on there and give opinions on everything, don't they? And just sort of open open wounds. And I, I just, I, it just, I just can't can't be bothered. I can't. I cannot be bothered with that. You know. Just tell me about it. I, I've got a terrible big mouth. I'll get myself into all sorts of <laughs> like, Sometimes I just fancy having a bit of a, ch a lively, spiky chat with people. And then other times I'm like, Let, let's all just keep it nice and friendly. Back to the golf. Johnny Long says, what do you think? What? No, he actually says, what you think the winning... I think he's Scottish. What you think the winning score will be? <laughs> what do you think he's Scottish? Because he says, what ye think the winning score will be? That's like a sort of Glaswegian... Oh, I see. I see. Oh, Johnny Long. Johnny, that's a great name, isn't it? Um, Johnny Long is a great name. Yeah. Brilliant. Name. I, I think the chef, I'm not going to rush into this decision. Let me analyze this. You've got a nice I, name I, as well. Steve Palmer is just a nice standard name in it. I wish I was called Steve Palmer or Johnny Long. I do like, I do like the, the, the Steve with a V. I'm really appreciative of my parents for giving me the V rather than the PH. I think there's a, there's a big difference between the two. Um, I'm going to go with Scotty Scheffler, settled, enjoying it. Nice, comfortable gap to second now. I think he's going to get to 13 under par. 13 under? Okay. Yeah, I think he's, I think he's going to get to 13 under par and win by half the track. Okay, right. Uh, Leighton Davis says, no worries. How, how you both met? What are you both drinking? Steve, known for his bottles of real ale. Lighthouse, maybe? Ring a bell? <laughs> Um, I've got a Diet Coke, a water, and a mug of of, of it, it, there's a tincture in the mug. But oh, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're trying we're trying to be professional, aren't we? We're trying to be professional. Yeah. Um, so there's a tincture in the mug. Yeah. What, what 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 have you got? I've just got I literally just got water. Rod's got these really posh crystal glasses, and I've got two ah. glasses of water. I did. A, I went to rugby league this afternoon, um, Steve. Really? I literally, really? I, yeah, my, my debut at a Northern Rugby League. Hang on, so who's this? What's happened? Someone's chipped in. No, no, that's Schwartz yesterday's game. action. Yesterday's action. Oh, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Was it Super League, was it? No, it? no, it was the Challenge Cup quarterfinal. I've never been to a Northern Rugby League stadium. And I went to Wakefield v uh, Wigan. It was brilliant. We sat in the stand and um, I had, a, I had a, a, a pint of lager there. Chef has missed his birdie putt there, so he's still going to be at minus 11. It was brilliant. It was so much fun. Me and Rod went in. We had a great time. It was lovely. 
What was the quality of the midden? What was the midden uh, like? It was a lovely midden, yeah. It was a perfect, mm-hmm. perfectly well manicured midden at Bellevue. <laughs> um, and we heard, because do you remember when do you remember when you went up and did that tour? You used to do that series of going to different sporting locations, didn't you? And, and you went yeah, Wigan. To, Wigan. You went Warriors. to Wigan and the stud told you to watch out for people saying, get, do you remember what he asked what the crowd would shout? Get, get something about your midden, wouldn't get it? Him, it? Get him on the side. I'll get him on. I'll get him on side. That's it. Yeah, get him, get him on side. side Gans- yeah. Because Ganson's the ref, and um, and we did hear people going, "Get him on side," and I, I still don't quite get what they, what they're shouting. Who who's he? Who are they shouting? Get him on side. To? <laughs> anyway, we had a we had a great time. Oh, what's happened here? Hang on. Yes, sir. I know. Just pause all the way. Pause all the way. No, no, something's happened. My chat oh, box something's has happened. disappeared. My chat box has disappeared. What's That's all right. On? It'll come back. Oh, It'll come back. This. It'll come back when it's hungry. They always come back when they're hungry. I don't know what it is. I've, some weird things come up on my screen. I have, got, just, I have not got. I've not got. Oh, it's gone. Oh no, hang it's on. Gone, it's gone. Here we are. Right, we're back. Sorry, mate. Ah, oh, Sung Jai's putter's gone cold. Good, um, glad to hear it. Right, uh, hang on a sec. Uh, Tom Eskins, Bruce, can you ask Steve whether he's seen the film Out of the Moment, Phantom of the Open? I've Not seen bad. it advertised, and I, I would love to. I would love to see that. Yeah, I look forward to seeing that. I will see that one day. Yeah, but I haven't done yet. Rory's going for the green at 13, I believe. He very well should be. Of course, he's he's going for the green. And he's at a Brahma. He's at a Brahma. We have an eagle opportunity. And Rodney Studd will be getting very excited next year now. Ian Furnham, what do you think is the most... Ian Furnham says, I'm not asking Ian Furnham. Ian Furnham, what do you think is the most picturesque course on the PGA Tour? I still love Pebble Beach. I mean, it's it's a beauty, that Pebble Beach. What do you like best, Steve? Yeah, that's the one that springs to mind, isn't it? I mean, mm. anything that's got a whale nearby, you know, I love looking at whales. Probably the highlight Sorry, of my pines. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'd say anything with a whale nearby. Really? Um, when I saw a whale off the coast of Mauritius once, that was, you know, literally breathtaking. You saw an actual whale? Yeah, so an actual whale in the wild in 2018. Um, and the patrons are having to scuttle out the way here. This is not ideal. Settle down, ball. Settle down, ball. Um, yeah, I just love Wales. Let's just conclude with that. Okay, not the country. Well, no, it's not a bad country, but the animal. The mammal, actually. It's a mammal. What have we got here? Uh, sorry, I'm just working through the... Can you sort of say something? Have you got anything? Just uh, commentary. Yep. commentary, yep. Cameron Smith on the ninth. Cameron Smith on the ninth. So his first, first three days, birdie bogey par. What's he going to produce today? Is he his, his honour? No, no, Sheffield just did a slightly wild one. Yeah, just slightly sliced, but did no he drama. Cut and prepared. Yeah, yeah, he, he's all right. He's all right. Oh, look, the bloke with the flag behind has indicated that's down to the right, hasn't he? That's a massive flag, isn't it? Yeah. He's doing, he's doing well to control them, that. Yeah, that's skidaddled off to the right, that. <clears throat> if they both done the same out of the way, which they have. Cool, good evading by the patrons there, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. They're, they're, they're they're about four rows of them in their deck chairs, and they all got out of the way. So, um, rapping Andy Kelly has said, how did Steve allow the BBC to film him? Well, we, we gave permission. It was good, wasn't it? Britain at the bookies. And he says, Steve's episode isn't available anywhere. No, it's not. I keep trying to find that. It's Britain at the bookies was a series that the BBC did on betting um, about well, five or six years ago, would you say, Steve? And you were the mm. focus of episode two, weren't you? It was absolutely brilliant. It was when, you, when This Will Not Be Beaten became famous because you actually filmed in a betting shop singing this will not be beaten about a dog that did get beat yeah but, um, yeah yeah it was called punter v bookie that episode i've no idea why it's disappeared i mean there's nothing to do with me I, one and three I but um, not episode two for some reason nothing to do with me i haven't um i haven't you know complained about my image rights being abused um yeah I, I, you'll have to speak to uh whoever's in charge of the bbc tim davy i went to school tim. with tim davy believe it or not did you really? No, do you believe, believe it? That. You do, don't you? Because you don't even know who Tim Davey is. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure who he is, but I yeah, yeah. Get, well, ring him up then if you're still in contact with him and say, why can you not get uh, that episode? Because yeah, it was, it was good fun. It was good fun. Yeah, it was. It was a. It was a tough decision because I knew I wasn't going to be, you know, shown in the best possible light. You but, had some um, nasty. You had some nasty stuff written by hoity-toity journalists. Didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did, didn't Which you? I think. I, th- I mean, that, that was that was inevitable, wasn't it? But I, I just. At the time, I just thought, yeah, it's a really, really lovely lady that approached me about it, and she seemed, she seemed, you know, trustworthy. So I thought, ah, oh, fair enough. Yeah, it was just right, have a bit. It's of, quite good fun. Yeah, yeah, just, 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 that's, yeah, just a bit of fun. That's what. Um, that's how you got to approach life in general, if you ask me. Don't forget, non-award-winning author. Uh, a non-award-winning author. Who? Steve. Yeah. 
he's an award-winning columnist. Rod was he just. Wrote a book. He wrote, we, we, we talked about the book. Don't worry. Did you enjoy it? Born to. Rod, Rod, I'm going to get Rod on next time. I need a, a, a comfort break. I'm going to get Rod on. Are you happy to yeah, come yeah. on? Not now. I don't need it yet. But when I'll keep you. I'll keep you. Yeah, multi. Multi. It'd be nice to speak room. to Rod, wouldn't it? It'd be lovely to speak to Rod. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. yeah we'll yeah, get him on, on in a minute. Right. Meanwhile, Steve, I've got a question for you about the golf. Boyle Sports now bet one to six Scheffler, six Smith, twelve McElroy, and a hundred Bar. Is there any value there? I don't think so. What's the each way terms, please? Well, there aren't each way terms. Oh, there's no each way terms. Yeah. No, 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 no. Well, no, there is no value then. There is no value. But would you think they're right? I mean, I, I'm getting worried about McElroy being minus being sixteen to one. That's quite short, isn't it? Twelve to one. Actually. Well, here we go. Here we go. Eagle putt. Oh, he's got an eagle putt, and it's yeah, a yeah, short yeah, one. Sorry, I thought I alerted you to that. I'm sorry. I oh, thought I no. You. oh no. He will get it. He's got it. He's got it. Oh no. Uh, he. <laughs> He's, he's, oh. he's, he's, he's fist pumping. He's, he's fist ruining pumping. my dual forecast. Scheffler minus 11, Smith minus 7, McElroy minus 6. The yeah. rest don't matter. Oh, God. Rory. I mean, You've got to admire him, haven't you? I know. Oh, God. He feels like he's got a chance because he's fist pumping, but I, I don't think he has. I mean, I suppose Scheffler's got to go through Amen Corner, but. Um, no, I, I'm still feeling fairly, fairly confident in Sheffield. Yeah, I apologise for you. You're not showing any sympathy for my. Um, no, no, I, I was oh, just yeah. getting to that. I was just getting to the okay. sympathy. Just getting to the sympathy. Okay, I, fine. Yeah, fine. I feel really sorry for you there. Oh well. Um, but you still got your health. Yeah, exactly. If you haven't got that, then you know you haven't. What have you got? Do you know what I mean? You're showing Dustin Johnson now. Is this going to go in? Go on, go in, go in, go in, ball. No, it's not going to go in. It's a good shot, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good shot. It's a lovely shot. Can you go Dean down Paul to says, I loved Born to Punt. Would Steve do another book, perhaps a fiction book based on betting? What do you think, Steve? It's an interesting idea, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'd like to write loads of books. I just haven't got the time at the moment. But when the, when the time comes, when I do get the time, I will write loads of books. And Yeah, I've never thought about writing a fiction. Okay. I'd rather write, yeah, what, what was that horse racing lady that um, wrote all the racy novels? Uh, she's still active. Yeah, yeah. I, I'd rather be the next Jilly Cooper. I think I could write some good racy novels. Racy novels with romantic scenes. Yeah, like, like action on the haystacks and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. That, that's going to be what I'm going to get up to in retirement. Right. So Smith's got 131 yards to the ninth. He's pulled it, but uh, as we always say, they, they pull it, but they just get themselves in no trouble. Do they? Is that is that Scheffler's ball a hoy there? Yeah, yeah. They're both in similar spots. They're um, both fine, aren't they? They're both fine. And as we're in a match play situation, we can't even say. Well, we're not now, are we? Yeah, match no, play yeah. two, and we've now got yeah, Rory, pesky yeah, Rory yeah. coming into it. I think Wilco might have predicted it. I think Macro might come a cropper at the fifteenth if he doesn't get his drive out the out the screws. And leads himself all the way back. If he have to gamble, to go yeah, yeah, he's going to take the gamble. I mean, we, we you know, may all come. Quite a nice shot by Smith. He's stuck it to within twenty feet, but it'd be an unlikely birdie from there, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's holdable. It's holdable with his talent, with that, the flat stick in hand. But um, yeah, hopefully Sheffield can match that. Loads of fantastic questions. Do please keep them coming. And Michael Maven, probably with an eye to St Andrews in the open, says, Steve, has Cam Smith got any links for him? That's a good question. I mean, he's a fantastic win player. Um, so uh, if it blows that week, yeah, the, the thing with we can't plan too far ahead for St Andrews because um, you, know, you never know what you're going to get. You know, I've been to St Andrews and it's been raining cats and dogs, and I've been there and it's been you know, beautiful conditions. So um, I think we've got to be patient with that. But no, I wouldn't be rushing. I wouldn't be rushing about Cam Smith for that. Well, David Jarman says, very entertaining, gents. Thank you very much, David. He says, do you think we'll see Tiger before the Open? I think we've seen a lovely golf shot from Scotty Scheffler. Mm. Um, that's a great question. That's a great question. Uh, I see no reason why he wouldn't play a, um, one of the one of the. Yeah, I, I think we will see him in the USPJ. I think he could play all the majors. I mean, it's got to be a lot more positive than it was. I mean, there was a lot of talk a few months back that Tiger was just going to become a sort of. He, he said himself he wasn't going to be a, 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 a you know a touring pro anymore. Um, but even in his in his heyday. He, he preferred a light schedule. You know, he, he would go, you know, months between, you know, he'd play a major and then wait until the next major, even when he was fully fit and in his pomp. So if he just waits and just plays the majors, um, yeah, it should be competitive. Okay. 
Fair enough. That was a good shot, that, wasn't it, by um by Scheffler. Matt Shiyama. Yeah, defending really good shot. Do you know what? One thing, Steve, you know when they show the, the players' scores like they just did on screen, the thing that strikes me about, about Augusta is how few pars there are on these cards. There's loads and loads of circles and squares and double circles. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's, it doesn't seem to be the sort of course people par their way around. Yeah, that's an interesting comment. Yeah, yeah. There, there's some hard holes and then lots of easy ones, isn't there? Yeah. Hmm. But you're onto something. <laughs> I have to remember that for the future. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you make that one pay, but. Um... No, that's right. It's about on t total par percentage or something. <laughs> Larry's on minus three, had a horrible wobble. And without that, he'd be in contention for second. But here he is drilling one in at the uh, 10th. And he's at a nice one if that holds. Yeah, he's got about, what's he got, 15 feet there? Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. The Irish can be very pleased with how their, their masters is going. Come on, Dustin, let's re revive those place claims. Well, he's done that. He's, my, he's plus one. I mean, he's going to have to eagle the next, isn't he? He missed a couple of shorties earlier on, and then obviously he's made a look, whole... So look at that. that. One, two, three, four pars. Yeah, yeah. Rest your case. Yeah. They all Rest were. it. Just rest it. Do grows, do grows, says rugby league is a terrific sport. It certainly is. I once coached the All Ireland Rugby League team, the Rugby League champions, the Carlo Crusaders. Excellent. No, I think league's better than union. What would you rather watch, Steve? League or union? Yeah, I think I'd go league, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are rough and tumble, you know. Yeah, you could, Why? Yeah, there's two. It's all stop start in the rugby union, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, isn't yeah, it? I, I was just wondering what your reasons were there. Um, yeah, I just I just think they're fitter and I think they're stronger and I think it's yeah, they're they're hard nuts. I they like certainly the are. Yeah. yeah. Although the star of the game today, what was he called? Something field. Jai Field. Jai Field. He was skinny, honestly. If he was more than eleven yeah. stone, I'd be surprised. And he's he's skipping through all these massive, great, brawny um, you know, hulks in the opposition. He was tre tremendous, very good. Player. A tricky but, winger, was he? A tricky winger. Was, yeah, tricky well, I don't winger. know whether he's a standoff or a dummy half or something. Oh, uh, was he? Oh, he's a fullback, apparently. Right then, here's Cam Smith at the ninth. Right. And the tournament's about to start, Steve, isn't it? Because we've got the back nine on Sunday. Cam Smith changed the complexion of it. Oh, it's a good bit. try. It's a good try. I, I actually try. need I need Smith to start playing better but not too much better, if you know what I mean, because I'm worried about yeah. my 170 to 1 dual forecast now. Yeah, I bet you are, yeah. I, yeah, I still think you're going to win that. I still think I hope so. I was... Kevin Hasnip says, which, no, who does Steve think is the next big British player? Oh, my gosh. See how low Rory yeah, hit that Rory's, one? Sorry, Rory's got... hit a, it's an incredible shot. It's so low. And where, where is, is it? it? Where is Gascoigne? Well, he's forgotten his mask. What? <laughs> What, what happened there? <laughs> I don't know. It's it a very poor contact, I think. The ground. Do you want to yeah, wait? Do you want to wait? No, so what? Let's get Scotty's part out of the way and then we'll answer Kevin's question, shall yeah, we? Yeah, I didn't fully digest that question because I was uh, watching McRoy hit. I, I yeah. don't think he made the contact he was hoping for there. Right, well, um, I'll ask the question. You can watch Yeah, ask the question say, again. I who does Steve think's the next big British player? Right. Scheffler mm. at nine to open up a five-shot buffer going into the back nine. It's a downhill part of around about nine feet, I'm going to say. It's on its way, as the radio comments say. Oh, and it just slides by and it's dribbled oh, on. He should, be able to it? he should be able to polish that up. That was an unlucky. It only just missed. Right. Next big British player. Thomas Palmer. Thomas oh, Palmer. He's only not two, allowed to but say he's been... done. No, someone. He, I'm Tom, I'm going to... Tommy's two but before he comes to promise. Come on. Who, who is it? Um... I tell you what, we're not blessed with much. We're not blessed with much. Really? I hate to be, yeah, I hate to be downbeat about us. I know you're very nationalistic and um, yeah. jingoistic, <laughs> but we haven't got a real conveyor belt of talent coming through, haven't we? Um, yeah, if you look at how many Englishmen are in the top fifty of the world rankings now, you'd be pretty disappointed. Do I mean, you think we've that's lost a manifestation of the fact that golf is, is golf losing its popularity. There's a lot of youngsters um, doing other the, stuff instead now, isn't it? All on the PlayStations, aren't they? Yeah. Um, but yeah, 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 Rosie's plummeting down the world, world rankings. Your Lee John Westwood's finished, didn't you? Yeah, Tommy Fleetwood, as I say, seems to have lost his confidence. I think certainly Hatton, English golf. Could Hatton win a major? Hatton has been abysmal this week, and, and is is is, 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 is stud laughing at that? Is he? Um, yeah. What's Hatton? I mean, 
Hans in last place, I think, is he? He's, he's, his putting this week has been astonishingly bad. Um, you know, Scotland still can't seem to produce any sort of player. Um, okay, so sorry, <laughs> Kevin, no one. <laughs> yeah. The future's bleak. <laughs> But yeah, just, Lewis, just, if you could achieve anything on any course with a full crowd there, such as an ace at the signature holes, uh, Sawgrass or the Phoenix Open, what would it be? That's an interesting question. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I'd have more fun at the Phoenix Open. Yeah, yeah. Okay, like your phone's I'd, making too much noise. I'd, I'd, Can you answer like that phone there, making that beeping noise? I could hear all sorts, yeah. I'd like to um, get an Albatross 1 at the, um, the drivable par 4 at Phoenix, yeah. Okay, that's good. What, the 17th? Yeah. Is, is he got Curtis? Is he has Steve been to any Weymouth matches recently? Have you been to see Weymouth lately? It's, it's, it's pretty depressing. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was almost mathematically down there. It was so detached at the bottom. So, um, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I still go on account, but um, it looks like we're going back to, to the lower leagues. And someone else says, Is Steve still an honorary Evertonian? I remember in the book, he had a great time at Goodison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still look out for, for Everton's results. Yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got a soft spot for Everton. Um, not not doing quite so well this year, are they? I'm getting uh, bollocked for calling them patrons. Three people have done that. You're right. I sh- I won't call it. I do it sort of semi um, ironically because I, I agree with you, everyone. It is it's utterly ludicrous that I have to call them patrons. You, uh, you go in a lot of pub car parks and they say this car park is for patrons only. Yeah, that, that's, that's right. That's imagine the only other imagine they meant by that that only people who are members of August. <laughs> that would be quite limiting, wouldn't it? It's like the old joke about. Um, when you went to a night, I think you did this in, in one of your pieces and you said you went to a nightclub and it said no trainers. And you said, that's ridiculous. How, what what are, are legends like uh, Charlie Lister and, and, and Henry Cecil supposed to do if they want to go to this club? That's a good one. It's a good one. It was good, wasn't it? What's the best yeah, holiday? Rob- Dara, Dara <clears throat> Gillen says, what's the best holiday you've ever been on, Steve? I'd say Disney World. Yeah, Disney World. I was a sceptic going in. I thought, well, what's all the fuss about? But, you know, seeing the joy on my daughter's face and, um, yeah, it just Florida in general. I seem to, yeah, I love the Florida climate and um, the people. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I can't wait to get back to Disney World and Scotty Sheffer is helping me do that. Oh, brilliant, really. So you, you might win enough for a sunshine holiday to uh, to Orlando. I promise, Grace, we will go back there. Daddy will find a way to get us back there and... Uh, this is uh, this is helping me a lot, but it's a oh, long way to go. Mustn't get carried away. Anything can happen. The tournament hasn't started yet. No, absolutely. Will Grant, what's your opinion on why Rory is struggling in the first round in majors? Um, is that true? I don't even know whether that's true. I mean, I've, I've, uh, certainly when I backed him at St. Andrews and uh, he, he fired an opening round 63, he wasn't struggling on the first round. I'll never forget that one. The wind blew him away on the Friday. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think people are too quick to to uh, get on Rory's back. You know, I don't think there's a, there's a psychological issue there. It's obviously a huge amount of pressure uh, with this Grand Slam bid, and he will get the job done in his early 40s. Don't you worry. All right, then. We're back in 30 seconds. Don't go away. Boyle Sports had the best golf place terms on Odds Checker in 2021. Time to switch. Boyle Sports, this is betting. Welcome back to the Sweet Spot Live. Bruce Millington and Steve Palmer on the Racing Post's live watch along. We're halfway through the final round of the 2022 Masters. And we'll take you up to date with what's going on. Scotty Scheffler, Scheffler had an early wobble, but he steadied the ship and now leads by four shots from Cameron Smith, who is one shot clear of Rory McIlroy, and he himself is three clear of the rest. So it's Scheffler's to lose. Steve's always banging on to me about how the tournament doesn't start until the back nine on a Sunday. So the tournament starts. Steve, you put up Scheffler at 16 to 1 at the outset. Well done. Are you worried? Uh, no, 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 I'm not. I, I, I try not to be too bullish. Um, I thought it'd be really close tonight. Uh, those early exchanges um, did uh, did put the willies up me a little bit, but I just think that chip in from Scheffler changed the whole complexion, the whole mood. Uh, you know, Cameron Smith settled quicker um, and, you know, he was getting a sort of vice-like grip on Scheffler, who, who seemed to have the lefts 
you know, that rain session last night didn't didn't cure the, the, the lefts. Um, but yeah, I think he's just you know, a big weight came off his shoulders when he chipped in there. And um, he's played really well since. So um, here we go. Here we go. He's teeing off at the 10th. Oh, he's given that a right old that's, right. All sorts that's of a brilliant, there. brilliant golf shot for Scotty Scheffler because he's a natural fader. He has to work really hard to get that the opposite. And uh, he's done that really well all week. You know, he, he's shown he's not one dimensional as, as, as Scotty. Um, mm. He can work it both ways. He can work it both ways. And um, yeah, that, that's another another problem ticked off the list. He's got the... And Steve, uh, do, you, do you think he'll just play sensible golf now or will he actually still attack? He's got those two par fives to come at 13 and 15, hasn't he? Depends what Smith does. Depends how big the, the, the gap is. At the moment, he can play sensible golf, but if Smith applies a bit of pressure and you know, the weather's set fair there and uh, there's birdies to be had on the back nine. So, yeah, it, it, Smith will dictate how Scheffler performs. Okay, fair enough. And who do you think will, sec will be second? Because, I mean... Oh, this is left. This is left. Oh, this is wild. This is wild. Smith. He's attacked the tee. He's attacked the tee. The patrons will be furious. Don't spit it out. Don't spit it out. The patrons are trying to find it. It's very Don't good of them, but out. I didn't want the... the, the oh, you didn't want the, the under... You were shouting at some undergrowth not to spit his ball out, yeah? I was. I was. I know it's illogical, but I've done it now, so there it is. I mean, if you look at the 18th hole last night, Smith's ball got spat out. It went. You know, Smith hit a terrible drive on the 18th last night. Sheffler's Went in the bush and didn't get spat out. Smiths did get spat out. Um, oh, Rory's tried a clever shot here, hasn't he? He's, he's tried pulled to, it off. He's, he's, pulled, it off. he's pulled, pulled it off. He's 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 pulled it off. No, he couldn't. Hate it when they say that. They know it's not going, but I got sucked <laughs> into it. I don't know why. That's it. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I'm, just, I'm not enjoying this, Steve. Oh, you're not enjoying it. Not it's, enjoy it's, it's great that Scheffler's winning. I mean, you know, that is all good news. But the, the dual forecast, something always goes wrong, doesn't it? Always something goes wrong, and, and it, it's just a disaster here. You got Rory's about to make birdies, and he always at a par putt. That's a par putt, but I don't know where Smith's ball is. It's gone deep into the azaleas, isn't it? He's relying on some patrons to find that. I mean, there was a few scuttling around there, wasn't there? But um, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, I apologise. You're in trouble. You're in a no, bit of trouble right, there. Right, that's right. Yeah, I think you, 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 you've you, got to look after number one. You're here to yeah. make sure that Sheffler wins as far as he can, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I am. I have to be honest. I am. Is Dustin Johnson uh, not 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 capable of sneaking second place? <laughs> That's optimism. No, he's penalty. No, 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 no. He's, of course, optimism. He's not. Penalty. No, 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 optimism you just penalty. go with him. Yeah. You know. Raymond yeah. Allen suggests the title for your first novel novel would be Passion at the Pylon. <clears throat> for those who don't quite understand what that means, a very good title, <laughs> by the way. But there's a pylon near where Steve lives, and when he's um when he's in a moment of turmoil, he goes up to the pylon and and. What do you do? Sort of meditate, weep, that kind of thing? I stand and look at the view. Is Dustin right. Johnson going for the greener on 15? Yes, he is. Come on, let's throw an eagle in and then we can get our place. Oh, that's a shot, isn't it? It's, got it's, a, a, shot. it's, a, it's a great, it's a it's a great shot. It's a difficult eagle part. It shows how the weather's so important because yesterday he was, in, he was in that position off the tee and he, he couldn't go for it. Um, yeah, 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 I go to the pile. Of, the pile I, I, I stand there. I take deep breaths. I look at the, the amazing view. And um, oh, Rory's hooked that. You're in business on your dual forecast. Later, he's Rory. Hooked. He's badly hooked that one. Oh, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, you oh, stupid, clumsy it. moron. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no. there it is. That's all right. Oh, hello. God, look at those lovely blossoms. Oh, he's, they're beautiful, aren't they? Lovely foliage around it's, Smith's ball. Oh, he slipped. What's he, he done slipped. there? He's got it out, I think. He's got he's it out. He's taking his medicine, has he? He's, he's taking his yeah, medicine. Yeah, he's, 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 he's lucky to be able to do that, to be fair. So, um, yeah. yeah, you've got to be very happy. That's what I say. They always do, don't they? But just tell us yeah. quickly what else. So you stand at the pile. I stand there, the take deep breaths, look at the view for, you know, as, 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 as long as I need, 15, 20 minutes. And then, have you yeah, ever the wept way. at the pylon? Um, yeah, yeah. Have you? Yeah, yeah I have. I, yeah, I, 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 not, not so much these days. I'm much more stable these days. Um, he's tugged and, this. Um, Sheffler's tugged this oh, badly. No. Just when you think he's got him. Oh, that's horrible. Short sided. Oh no, there's no fun there, and he's not even on upslope. That's the first mental error he's, he's, he's made in a long while. I mean, he, he he didn't need to do that. But never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. So, yeah, Callum Smith Lewis is a very kind man. He says Steve is really one of the soundest blokes around. Could listen to him all day. Would buy him a pint in a heartbeat. That's, That's very nice, kind of there. That is very good. Where does where does he live? I, I'll I'll go and hang around the pubs there. See if I can get a free pint. 
Okay. If Scotty, Fulham fan 223 says, if Scotty doesn't win, does he stay world number one? Uh, That's for you. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if Smith wins, then he, he'll go world number two if Sheffield finishes second. So, um, yeah, yeah. Sheffield's still going to be number one. Don't worry about that. Okay. And uh, this takes quite a bit of answering this, Steve. From Ross Green. Hi, guys. May I ask Steve, what does it take to be a good golf better? Blimey. Um, night, time. Right? Yeah, time and discipline. Hard work. Yeah, hard work. Yeah, yeah, watching loads of golf and immersing yourself in the game. Yeah, it's the same. It's the same with everything, really. If you, the more you put in, the more you get out. You just gotta, you just gotta you know, spend time on it. Right. Fair enough. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, Charlie Sharp. Have either of you been to Augusta for the Masters? I certainly haven't. Have you? <sighs> I certainly haven't. If anyone wants to uh, invite me, then uh, they should, and I will say yes. We did have one really good transatlantic trip, didn't we? We did. We've been to the Ryder Cup away from home. That was good fun, wasn't it? it That's a great was. shot, Lovely Cameron shot Smith. Smith. Yeah, he might well rescue par there. The Where market Where... move, the market moves must have been fascinating recently. I mean, you're you're supposed to be on top of these market moves, Bruce. Um, you know, when when Smith's in the bush there and Sheffler's in position A, yeah, that 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 would have been an incredibly short Sheffler price. Yeah, all these people telling me to lay off. That would be in the moment I should have done it. You should uh, lay off, mate. You should lay off. It's one to eight, Scheffler, seven Smith, and eight, sixteen no. Macro. Why wouldn't you just lay off? You, it's going to cost you imagine when, nothing um, to, to lock in a profit. When he was in that, when Smith was in that bush, I would imagine Scheffler would have been about one to twelve. Um, yeah, I, I, I know that. I know that. I know. I know. I know. But yeah, so, we had yeah, a nice I, time I, I've got Val Haller, didn't we? Was it two thousand and nine, two thousand and eight, something like that? I don't know. They all blur into one now, don't they? But so uh, yeah, yeah, that was terrific. Mm. Even though Pig. we got a thrashing, then we got a thrashing, but uh, we, I did, was, we still enjoyed uh, it. Though. We, we we travelled out on the team plane, didn't we? We did. Nick Faldo paraded the uh, the cup on the way over, didn't he? Do you remember the uh, highlight of the of the what happened on, to to DJ Spoonie on the team plane? Um, when he's trying to, he he um he did an autograph or two for the for the cabin staff, didn't he? And then he very kindly offered to get um to get a mixtape or something or a CD for the cabin stuff. Do you remember? And he, he went into the overhead locker and he had this little bag with all his stuff in and he got a load of CDs out. And do you remember when he used to handle a, a wad of CDs? This happened to him. He basically pressed too hard and then and the sort of on the top and the bottom one and the middle one just spat out and rolled all over the aircraft. And he was just, oh, that's it. Just scrabbling around trying to pick up those... Um, he yeah, he, he, he seemed to be lurking in the background everywhere we went, didn't he? He was on all, all the sort of shuttle buses. He just appear, mm. wouldn't he? He's he, 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 an odious character. Oh, I don't know about that. I think that's quite harsh. But it was a fun trip, that's for sure. Uh, right then, can you ask Steve what's going on with Molinara? He's done bugger all for a good while, says Nick Lawton. I presume you mean Francesco rather than Eddie. Eddie's probably playing better than Francesco at the moment, isn't he? Well, Francesco relocated his family to California, yeah, didn't we? Which, which you know, is a bit big upheaval. And he's also had lingering injury problems. You know, he, he can't seem to get himself fully fit. You know, they're very brittle back. Um, so I, I think I'm afraid to say Francesco has achieved his, his, his ultimate. You know, he's, he's the open champion. Um, broke my heart when I thought Tiger Woods was going to win that Open in 2018. Um, yeah, Francesco has, has reached his peak and is in, is in decline now because he can't seem to get fit, um, which is a crying shame, yeah. And Eduardo oh, well, can't pop. Yeah, because I mean, when, when he won those, did he win two majors in one season or something? It... No, no, no. He almost won this, didn't he? He almost won the Masters. Sorry, that's right, yeah. He, he almost won the world Masters. at his feet, didn't he? <clears throat> Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Tiger Woods overtook him. Yeah, yeah. Twelve hole drama. Yeah, we're all getting cocky about Scotty Scheffler here. We mustn't get cocky until he's on that twelfth green. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah many, these, are, these are hard holes. These next <clears throat> many a Masters has been destroyed on that twelfth. So, so come on, let's focus. Zvonimir yeah. Boban says to me, "Are you Bruce? Are you happy with Big Paddy Vieira? I am very good. Yeah, he's done well, but he's he's got miles better players than than Uncle Roy had. So I think that's helping him no end." Rory is in the is in the muck here, but the crowd are clapping wild at fifteen. So he's basically he's just laid up there, isn't he? At fifteen, it means yeah, he can't, yeah, he can't yeah. get an eagle unless he chips in. St uh, th this is a good one. The Super Bowl uh, is in Phoenix next year, over the same weekend. I'd love to be there for that weekend. So, so wow. it's the Phoenix Open and the Super Bowl in Phoenix at the same weekend. I mean, that's just extraordinary, that's isn't it? Absolutely mental. We need to try and win enough so we can go. 
Who's this? Oh, this is Scheffler's oh, chip. Yeah, it's it's dribbled on head. by. He's played it safe because he's you know he's got a comfortable lead there. He's, he's, he's got playing it safe there, but down the slide he, shouldn't, there. he shouldn't have been here. Yeah, that's the first little headache I felt today. So, um, oh really? Yeah, maybe, the, yeah, maybe that's a bit of the, the tension kicking in there. Um, because mm. this, yeah, that's going to be a sort of unnecessary bogey. And here he is. He, he's he's legged it up there. Either that or it wasn't the greatest bit of editing. And here he is trying to make part. Oh no, it's dribbled on by. Mm. So he's given one back. Scheffler minus 10, Smith minus 7, McElroy minus 6. Forget the rest. So yeah, if, you've I mean, backed, oh. if you've backed Rory at a massive price, you're now starting to think, hang on a sec, this could happen. And we need, we, we've we got one bloke, only one behind, and he's got a tricky little putt for par. And then we've got Scheffler, who's, who's just given two back, hasn't he? Oh, no, did he par the previous one? He par the previous one, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, the, the next two holes are absolutely crucial. I mean, you've got two really difficult golf holes ahead here for Scheffler. You know, it, it could quite easily be minus eight through 12, couldn't it? Is 12 um, that difficult? Is it? Yeah, sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, but they all seem to sort of get it done. The fact it's flat calm today makes it a lot easier. So, um, yeah, maybe I'm being too negative, but um, that was just an unnecessary bogey from, from a great tee shot. And, um, yeah, Smith will, Smith will feel fantastic if he gets through this hole. Right, um, let's see if he does. He's a snaky little downhill five foot. He's good at these, though. He's a good putter, isn't he, Steve? Yeah, he's the best. He's the best. He's new yeah, shoes. They're rubbish golf shoes. I can't um, see him missing this. And then um, I hope awful he does. Golf but... shoes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. No, come on. Oh, no, sorry, 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 sorry. There's me on that phone as well. Look at him. That was surprising, wasn't it? I mean, it. That's that's master's pressure. Now yeah, his Rory will Rory will knock this stiff, and the dual forecast dream will start to evaporate. He loves it. Look at Rory, he loves it. it. Oh, no, no, it's, it's not right. coming down. It's, it's not spin, coming down. Spin. A couple more no. questions, Steve. Oh, I'm Jonathan Whitehead. You're you're opening old wounds here, mate. That's cruel. Oh, no, Steve, no. can you explain why Siwoo Kim took driver and lost his ball when we we're on the horse field Siwoo double? I mean. Oh, Those are yeah, unhappy yeah. memories. You can't. I don't suppose you've asked him for an explanation, have you, Steve? <laughs> no, no, no. Siwoo is, is a crazy, crazy cat, isn't he? Yeah, he's, oh, is uh, he? Yeah, he's a volatile character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you can't um, bodge you straight for Siwoo Kim. <laughs> no, I, I love, I love. I mean, everything I love about um, Butch Harmon, but I love his attaboys, and I loved it when he does not attaboy Siwoo. He's great, and <laughs> he. I, I just absolutely love Butch Harmon. He's my favourite. Yeah, sport. yeah, it's great, great to see him back, and it great to see him back. He's he's come out of his uh, shelter because he he was a bit worried about COVID, would not he? But um, mm. no, he, he's he's fully active again. And that that hug with Tiger, I'm going to have to watch oh, that. No, it's cool. lovely that one. Jack that, says, recording. "Can Steve give us a rendition of Graham Taylor's team talk to inspire Sheffield to victory?" Away you go, Steve. Oh, <laughs> Let me take a slug or something. Okay. Smith made that one back, by the way. So, Scheffler minus 10 through 10. McElroy minus 6 through 14 with a difficult birdie putt to come. Smith is 6 minus 10. I suppose I get dead heat rules on the on the de on the the dual forecast, don't I? Right, then yeah, come do, on. Yeah, yeah. If there, there's Scheffler trundling towards the 11th tee. If you could get hold of him now in Graham Taylor's voice, what would you say? I'd say in life, there's so many opportunities and they're all around us. And there's certain people in life that never see them. Then there are those people who see the opportunities, but they don't want to grasp them. Then there are those people who see the opportunities. They go looking for them. And when they see them, they grasp them. And that's what we're facing now on the football field, isn't it? Or on the golfing field. Go fucking take the opportunity. It's there for you. And bring every little bit out of it. Okay. Brilliant. Well done, mate. Superb. Absolutely Sorry superb. Swearing. Sorry for swearing. No, what, are fine, rules, what are the rules on that? Rule adults, yeah, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff on YouTube these days. I think you... You saying the F word there? At I didn't. Yeah, we are. We are sponsored now. No, I, mean, I don't want to upset the. Sponsor. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we're sponsored. Yeah, 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 we've got. Yeah, yeah we've got sponsors. <laughs> Hopefully, they're okay about it. Uh, let's have a look. Any t Joe Champion? Oh, Joe Champion. Joe Champion says, "Any tips for Harbour Town? I've got to do the sweet spot on Tuesday in Steve's absence. Great oh, show. Right, let's right, cheers, right, champ. Right, right, right. Champ, we got Will ask us for tips, mate. Wilco's. Um, You're the man. So Will what, uh, Wilco, oh, Wilco, and Joe Wilco, Wilco, Wilco will be doing the racing post. And Champ will be Champ's doing the racing and football spot. outlook and the sweet spot. And you're you're doing sweet spot, are you? Mm. I think I am. Although yeah, I've, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've got a bit of a diary clash there, but yeah, yeah I probably yeah, am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm off. I'm off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't looked at Harbour Town. Yeah, Matt Fitzpatrick loves Harbour Town, but um, 
Has Rory sent that wide? Oh, it's a oh. decent play. It came back at the end, didn't it? Rodney's um, chuntering in the background there. I mean, yeah, he, he, he is. He is. What have you backed him at? What price? You backed him at the outset, didn't you? 25 to 1, yeah. Right. T shots on 11. Settler, Sheffler's settler, third. settler. That's a lovely settler. Well done, is Scotty. It? Yeah, that's lovely. Do you, do you, oh, we've already had this debate about the 11th. So I don't care about it. They've moved it a bit, haven't they? Well, what we don't like is the fact it's about a 520 yard par four. That just isn't right, is it? Yeah, we didn't like the fact it was a longer par four than the, the, in the 13th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not happy about that. Um, par five should be longer on the on the yardage than par fours on the scorecard. But I'm surprised the patrons have gone for that, actually. Yeah, the, 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 the big wigs. What big wigs? Well, the Augusta Chiefs. I'm surprised. Yeah, you know, I thought they'd be purists like me. I don't know why they've put a par four with a longer yardage than the par five. Here comes Smith. His drive at eleven. He needs to steady the ship, doesn't he? Because it was a horrible drive at ten. Carded yeah, it into the bushes and paid the price. So let's see what he does here. Did you have a bet on the Grand National, Steve? I had a very, very token because I think it's sort of like the law you've got to have a bet on the Grand National. It is. You've got very... to watch the FA Cup final. You've got to have a bet on the Grand National. I had a very small bet on Snow Leopard S and I have no idea what happened to it because I didn't actually she get to watch up. it. I was in a... Oh, really? Yeah, I was in a public house, so I didn't get to uh, watch that. Oh, look, new special guest, Parky, Tom Park, the editor of the Racing and Football Outlook and the Weekend, and a superb golfer. The best handicap golfer on the Racing Post joins us. Parky, how are you, old Ben? Hello, gents. I don't, I'm Hi. not quite sure about the best uh, handicap golfer. It wasn't quite Definitely the case are. last week. I'm not saying you're handicapped and you're the best golfer who's got a handicap, but you, your golf handicap is completely out of sync with your ability. And you're yeah. also a big Mackham, as we can tell from the accent. It, I, I did overs in the Oxford Sunderland game yesterday, and I know there was a late goal, but I can't remember who for. Was it for you? Yeah, or it was for us. It? Two in a row. Yeah. 90, we were 90 plus five, I think, against Gillingham. And then, yeah, I think a few minutes to go yesterday. So hanging on in there, as they say. And how's the Masters week for you so far? Who's your pre-tournament tip? Oh, I've followed Steven, so I'm on the chef. Um, right, so, so happy days. Yeah, I'm not sure how DJ's doing as well. I've just been picking the wife up. So he was kind of getting himself back into contention for the 11 places. But um, yeah, I'm not sure how it's going. What are you doing? Is your house getting been, 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 been picking, picking the show. wife up, Mark? You're picking the wife up? Is that no, Sunday night? She's been working. She's been working. Oh, she's been working. I thought you meant to picking her up, throwing her <laughs> in the bedroom. <laughs> have, you got your te- have you got your telly behind your behind your right shoulder? Yeah. Oh, I see. All right, fair enough. I'll tell you what, Parker's teeth are up there with Diane's, aren't they, Bruce? We, we, my teeth envy's coming are. again. How, yeah. how do you keep them? How do you keep I think them that's shiny? right there, Steve. <laughs> yeah, he has got decent railings, hasn't he? Yeah, we had Diane, Diane Knox Ballas was on earlier, and um, not only a fantastic judge who tipped Scheffler and Smith at the start, but we were very envious of her teeth, and and now here come you looking all dense. Yeah, and I've, I've, as well. I've I've been watching, so I've given them a good brush just before I came yeah. on, just uh, <laughs> just to please you, gents. Thank God for Wilco coming on. We didn't have any envy with him. Now then, <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? Here? Are, are you impressed with Sheffler? He looks like he's in complete control here, doesn't he? Yeah, it's hard not to be impressed. I don't think. Like, Every time he's kind You're of not got to watch the telly, you've got to look at us. I know, I know, I know. Every time he's audio, got himself into trouble. Um, yeah, he's got a cool head on him, hasn't he? I was a little bit nervous when he stood up to the first tee. That was the first time where we, I thought, oh, I don't like this here. Like, he, he just didn't, but that chipping obviously sorted him right out. Steve, your reaction was brilliant. Wait until you watch that back. It was absolutely outstanding. <laughs> well, I just um, felt the tension rising and that just released everything. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a great feeling because, yeah, there, there's, a, there's a lot on the line here. Absolutely. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, one of the reasons we Parky, one of the reasons we get special guests on is not just to get all their input and their golf wisdom. It's so Steve can go to the loo. Steve, do you want to Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I will go and you refresh don't have myself. To. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I will go and refresh myself. Yeah, yeah. I'll see you in a minute, Parky. Yeah, catch you soon, mate. There we I've go. I've joined in just in time for Amen Corner. I've been um it's it's kind of worked out well, really. This is where all the action happens. Parker, you're banned from looking at the screen, okay? Yeah, all right, all right. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move it like that. So yeah, that's, do I... that, do that, mate. But it, I mean, it, it, 
Scheffler's what is four clear. Here's his second into 11, which is obviously a difficult shot, but they all seem to be getting it right because there's a pond to the left and it just like they've all shown it so much respect. They're all bailing out to the right. He's actually, he's gone a bit far to the yeah, right there, hasn't he? That's right not going to be there, easy, is it? The yeah. only thing I'm concerned about, okay, Parkey, is that not just in this tournament, but all this incredible six month, six week run, rather. He's just been absolutely on his game. He's been, and, and it can't continue, not even tight. Well, maybe Tiger, but no one else who hits that hot streak keeps it going forever. And this is such a hard back nine. You know, I know the par fives are not overly long and, and therefore fairly birdieable, but it's real mental challenge, isn't it? He's, played, he's playing this course like he's played it a hundred times, isn't he? It's been really impressive the way his course management, he's not really been in this situation many times before. Certainly not Augusta. And yeah, I've been dead impressed with the way he's kind of like held it all together, really, because this course, I mean, it takes some knowing, doesn't it? I mean, Tiger's probably still learning shots mm. around these greens. It's um, it's incredible, really. But um, he's holding it together. At the moment. My biggest worry is, is his footwork. It has me, it gives me the jitters, right? Because... Um, there's a lot going on, isn't there? Yeah, there is, and if it does get out of sync, it. But I don't know. He seems to be right on it. Um, I don't have any worries at the moment. I'm looking it's forward to Steve singing his. Um, this will not be beaten. I don't know when that's going to happen, but um, yeah. It's too early. It's too early. It's too early. The yeah, outright, listen, it's, hang on a second. Look, this is this is arrowing in from Cam Smith. This looks oh, a it. beauty. Yes, it oh. is. He's left himself ten foot. It's one to six. Scheffler six Smith. And 14 McElroy. Would you be tempted to have a little saver, Parky, on either Smith or McElroy? No, I, I promised um I promised Raminta that I would get her a, um, a new frock if uh oh, really? Scheffler won the golf, yeah, for our honeymoon. Oh. We'll go on a honeymoon next month. So I, I promised her a new frock. So oh, I've just wow. cashed out the cost of the frock on uh on better. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> You've yeah, guaranteed yourself a frock, have you? Yeah, I thought uh, it's not worth the hassle <laughs> if um, if he ends up in the trees and can't get out of them. So, um, yeah. What's the budget for Raminta's frock? I don't know. It, it, it's from a store called Reese. Have you heard of that? It's meant to be quite posh. So, really? I don't know. It's maybe it's a one or something like that. But, um, yeah, expensive for a dress. I mean, I don't have anything, any clothing items that cost that much. But uh... Yes, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. When we went to Valdelobo last week, Parky, the idiot, got ridiculously drunk on the first night, turned up the second day at Val Valdelobo in his shorts and just his polo <laughs> shirt, his golf top, was absolutely freezing. Oh, Scheffler's left that short. He's left one of those. He's left a six-foot downhill. Steve's not liking that. And you had to go into the Valdeloba Club shop, which is it costs two euros to wipe your feet in there. It's so expensive. <laughs> How much did you spend on that resplendent red Valdelobo? Yeah, it was about, it? 100, about 120 quid, I think. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. It was it was a nice top though. Um, and it, it kept me warm. But yeah, I mean it, I probably wouldn't have bought bought it had it not been had I been in bed before four AM. I think probably would have helped on that um that front. And the McElroy hasn't back. got an easy birdie part here, lads, has he? I mean, it's it's a bit of a snake, isn't it? He's, he's wrapped it, too, it as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah blimey. Mm. Yeah, he's just too aggressive there, isn't he? Are you, can, are you getting concerned, Steve? You just seem to be um, squirming a little. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I am a little bit disappointed. Yeah, yeah. I'm disappointed with that chip, and I'm disappointed with yeah, the, the wasteful bogey on 10 there. It, 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 it's just some, some unnecessary frittering going on. But if he holds the part, all is forgiven and all is well. So, um Let's, let's 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 panic when he misses that putt. <laughs> Smith is going to have to go for things here as well, isn't he? I mean, like, and that can that can count that can be played both ways. I mean, he he's just as likely to drop shots, I think, over the next few holes as he is make shots. So, well, if he makes this and it's on its way, he's only three back, and he does make it. He does make it. So the tournament comes back to life. This is not over, folks. Stick with what us on Sweet Spot here. Live. This is because Scheffler is now Scheffler's three clear and he's still got a horrible part. He might only be two in front in a minute. Goodness mm -hmm. me. This he's so good at them, isn't he? Oh, he oh, is. Smith. He's a mustard putter. Right then, Boyle Sports. Now one to five Scheffler, seven to two Smith, 33 McElroy. Yeah, 33. 
sorry, I'm from the old school. I had the sporting life. Everyone used to just refer to odds as if they're an on-course bookmaker. It's very, very strange. I've never shed the habit. Sorry for that little bit of weirdness. Right, key moment coming up, Steve. Yeah, this is massive. How fast this is, is massive. this? This is oh, six foot, isn't it? Yeah, five, six foot, and it's difficult. You know, there's a lot of I've swing on it. Longer. I've got it longer. Do you think it's right to left? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a fair bit of swing on it. It's just a really, yeah, oh, this is it. What this price do you to make this, Parky? I think he's, I need to have another look at it. I've been avoiding looking at the TV, Bruce. Um, I know you have. Uh, right, I right, make right. him four or five to make it. Really? I think it's, I think yeah. it's even teacher two, isn't it? It's down here. You can't go too hard at it. It's on its way and it's in. There Steve gives it a little boy. fist pump. No, so, uh, little, Parker, you, you're now fine to look boy. because the, the TV's at about 45 degrees. Yeah, I've Before, switched around you, now. You're going like that and we couldn't hear you. It was like you're <laughs> it was like an owl or something rotating your, your, your head through 180 degrees. That was a that was a couple of you know really, really solid putts by those two, wasn't it? Well, the yeah, crowd has really invested in it. Look at the crowd, look at the patrons, they're loving it. No, they're, I mean, the, like, crowd. they're the crowd. <laughs> I mean, they're both so someone in the chat them. talking about that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, the the people don't they. like the patrons. Patrons. Yeah, rubbish. they don't like it. They just don't like it. Kevin McConaughey says, what's the most painful loss you've ever had? Do you mean betting or just in life? I mean, I remember my dog dying. I was absolutely bereft. But I suppose on golf, I suppose it probably was that Siwoo Kim one, wasn't it? Uh, for me, for me, it's uh, Tiger Woods 2018 Open. Yeah. That was, course, I was, yeah. I, yeah I, don't, I know we're not supposed to talk about figures, but... Um, yeah, that was the you had a house. A house. I had a, yeah, I was going to win a house, and a then house. Um, yeah, I was going to win a yeah, I was going to win a house, and um, that, yeah, that was, was one of your best columns ever. That Steve, the, yeah. the, the I mean, it was I I that was your misery. Like <laughs> but, yeah, but what it was a what a brilliant column. I show some of our some of our mates every time they're like chatting about golf or they're talking about you and your tips and stuff. I'm like, oh, you have a read of this. I've got was that the one where was that the one where he has the argument with the bloke about the sandwich? Yeah, the, <laughs> the, Scottish, the Scottish drunkard who was talking about the contents of his sandwich and it just unsettled Tiger and he made a double bogey on that hole. Yeah, yeah, everything changed on that double bogey. Um, well, karate chops him if I remember rightly. Yeah. Sorry, say it again. You karate chopped him if I remember rightly. Yeah, I, I did, I did, I did, but I had the blessing of the uh, the patrons. <laughs> <laughs> I had the, everyone wanted somebody wanted to karate chop and i was the only one that had enough adrenaline because of my bedding situation to to do that uh he just oh, he hates it, it. Left. Hates it. he's Where's dropped he his he club he's yanked long it's in the the... it oh he's in the water oh, oh no oh, cam no. smith oh. Oh, no, I pretend I'm... Oh, oh the dual <laughs> forecast <laughs> dream is yeah, over. Oh. You two are so this. callous. We oh. talked about this hole, didn't we? This is the this is the hole. But, yeah, what's Scotty going to do? Come on. Focus. Take your time. Oh. Take your time. Let the ripples. Don't get put off by the ripples. Well, he's not going to get put off by the ripples. <laughs> <is he? laughs> no, no, that was just... A, that was just... He's <laughs> <laughs> yet to make par here. Birdie, birdie, bogey so far this week. I'd take a bunker. Get in the bunker. Would you? It or, looks like he's pulled that. He's just just get it fat, safe. That's Where's safe. that? That'll do, that'll do, that'll no, do. he's pulled that, that hopeless. That's a hideous yeah, that's shot. A, that's just a safe shot. That's, that's a, a hideous shot. shot. Oh, come on. Come that's on. ridiculous. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. yards wide. That that's was fine. rubbish. That's that wasn't even a bailout. Fine. Anything but water and bush, that's fine. Charles oh, Schwartz had the right idea yesterday. He just whacked it into the bushes behind and let it roll back down on the edge of the green. <laughs> Did he, he was very lucky. He was very lucky it squirted it out. Oh, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, that's a great, great golf shot from Scotty Scheffler. Good course management. Let's and, get the um, latest betting from Boyle Sports on the Masters. They go one to ten, Scheffler, nine, Cam Smith, and twenty, Rory McIlroy. And we're looking at a slow mo. By the way, lads, did you ever watch Blackadder? Yes, bit, when I was a bit too child. old. Yeah, bit yeah. Too old Rod Studd reckons that Cameron Smith looks like what's he called? Lord what? Lord Flashheart. Lord Flashheart. Do you remember yeah. played by Rick Mayle, the sort of testosterone charged kind of superhero? <laughs> yeah. comes. He yeah, does, yeah, he yeah, does yeah. look like him. I must admit, if you could dig that one out, Lord Lord um, Flashheart looks just like Cam Smith. Great character. Oh my yeah. goodness me! So what's David Lipsky? Hold? I'll go on. We talk about David Lipsky. We call him Lord Lipsky. I mean, is that that's a black, yeah. black a reference in the ear? Lord Lipsky. Go on. Sorry. No, 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 no. That's Lord Melchit. Oh, Lord, Lord Melchit. Lipsky is the bloke who used to sort of 
Um, he used to represent Greyhound Racing in politics. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Lord Jim Cremen yes. always used to do interviews with Lord Lipsy. Yeah. It was a massive price that Lord Lipsy would get a mention on this. Uh, <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> now, Parky, it's press day for the Racing and Football Outlook tomorrow, and it's press day for the weekend on, on Tuesday, both fantastic papers that you edit. So are you going to stay up late tonight and have a couple of tinctures, or are you going to get your head down, do you think? No, I'll, be, I'll, I'll stay up. A couple of cups of tea. I'll, I'll lay off the... Um, lay off the beers tonight which i'll normally do on masters sunday but Very um professional yeah no nah, well um it won't be too we've got we've got a sick dog in the house he's not oh, very no. well so your dog's um, called Kate corto isn't it is he kato or corto we call him kato yeah um yeah. that's how i always pronounced kato corto star we were sick but, last um, week in portugal well when we were in portugal we didn't come with yeah us. like he, yeah he's been sick the last few nights so um oh no we were, it's like having a child. We've been having to get up at like one, three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, drag him into the bathroom so he's not sick over the carpet. But um, where's he yeah. sick? Pardon? Where's he sick? He's learnt now to just go into the into the bathroom and just do it on the floor on the on the hard floor. Oh, so you've he's got not hard bathroom in the I was carpet. Say, yeah. been, I thought you'd, you'd had him puking up in the toilet or something. That would be <laughs> really good training, wouldn't it? Yeah, I bet, I bet you didn't think this conversation was going to go. Didn't, um, but that, you, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> do you? you never know what's going to. Here's Is he going to be all right? Did it, what, how did that happen? Did he eat a bit of chocolate or something? We, have no, we have no idea. Like he's, we had him at the vets on Friday. He's going back on. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to give him a ring again tomorrow. Thankfully, our next door neighbour's a vet nurse, so we've had her around oh, to check oh, him. Oh, and is she yeah. concerned, or she says so it's one of those things? She says she thinks it's just a tummy bug. So fingers crossed, he'll be all right. He fingers crossed for Cam Smith here as well. Certainly, fingers crossed for Cato. Yeah, he's a lovely dog, old Cato. Right here we go. Cam Smith chucks it up at this six. Uh, oh, he's got, oh, what's he done? No. Oh no, man! That was an amazing noise you conjured there, Bruce. I <laughs> oh, it's the noise! It's the noise of 170 to one dual forecast going up in smoke. Okay. Oh, where's Rory on 17? Is he? Oh, I don't know, mate. I don't. It, it all go, it always goes wrong. It just always goes wrong. Just that's the way it happens in my betting life. It always goes wrong. And I couldn't even lay this one off because I don't bet on the dual forecast line. Mm -hmm. He dropped a long way back there, didn't he, Smith? I, I mean, he, I obviously, he, he thought he got a yard as he liked, but didn't like it enough. Right then, uh, Parky, before we let you go, what's what's the final? Who's going to win and by how far and from whom? Uh, I think Scotty Sheffer will win, and I think he'll win by five. Five. And Who from? I think you'll hold on to your bet. He's going to come resurgent. He's going to come back backfiring after this haul, I think. Hang on a second. Before we let go, out. let's watch Scheffler's chip at 12. It's a long one. It's No, he's not, has he played that all right? He's, he's going to bogey it. That's fine. That's fine oh, in certain parts. Eight fine. foot, that. Eight foot. He's playing defence. He's trying to play defensively. Here's McElroy at 17, and he's... He smashed it over to the left, so he's got to go over the trees or round them or something or other. Mm. Oh, he loves it. He loves it. He's got it through there. The seventeenth, by the way. Where's it gone? Where's the ball? It's short, and it's short. It's in the bunker, I think. Did you see Tiger at seventeen? Was it seventeen or fourteen early? Where he's hit a putt as softly as he can, and he's put it twenty yards, twenty feet past. It was unbelievable, honestly. There's one particular green on this back nine. If you go the wrong side, I think it must have been fourteen. You're in all sorts of trouble. Rory McIlroy backers must be so frustrated with him. Um, he's like a, he's like he should have Jamie Spencer on his back, shouldn't he? Like just always doing too oh. much too late. That was cool. yeah. You're right. No, you are right. Smith's got about six foot for <sighs> oh. double bogey. This is disastrous. That's, this is the golf tournament right here, isn't it? It's the golf oh, tournament right really, here. It yeah, really is. Your, your wife's going to get a good frock, I think, Parky. There's a good frock coming her way. You're going to go <laughs> frocking tomorrow. It's quite controversial. You're fracking. Everyone's going to go about fracking. We need more fracking. We need more frocking. You're going to do some frocking tomorrow, and you have you have my blessing. Uh, <laughs> Parky, I'm thank on. you so much for joining us on the Sweet Spot, mate. Great Two gents. fantastic papers that you edit. Keep up the great work, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on Sweet Spot Live in future. Cheers, bud. Yeah, best of luck, gents. Catch you Thanks soon. Parky. Parky. Yeah, Parky. Oh, you got to love Parky. Parky was brilliant fun in, in Portugal last week. I bet it was. Sounds like he had one too many night. tinctures, was it? Did he out drink Paul Keeley? Did he? That's, that's always a test. He did. I've tried yeah, that a few times. It all ended in tears. Um, 
Yeah, right. frock's a great word. All credit for him to bring in the word frock into play. I like that word. word. Yeah, I'm going to buy my wife a new frock tomorrow as well. I've right, well, I've lost track of what's happening. So, no, I haven't. It's on the screen. Scheffler minus 10, Smith minus 7, but he's going to be at least minus 5. McElroy minus 6. Morikara and Zalatoris have emerged on the leaderboard on minus 3. And here is Scheffler looking to defend his position as the leader on minus 10. He's got difficult power part. And he's dribbled it to yeah, that's that's beautiful, isn't it? I mean, that that's was just good. That beautiful. one, yeah. well, it's just, it's just just beautiful. So he leads by four now from McElroy and by at least five from Smith. But they've got through the hard stuff. Well, I say they got through the hard stuff, it's all tough now, yeah. isn't it? 13's a par five, 14's a really difficult par four, 15's uh, a par five, then you've got the 16th, which is a birdie chance. 17 and 18 are tough. Who knows what's going to happen? It's not over, is it, Steve? Yeah, or you're saying it is over. It, yeah, it is over. Yeah, it's a doddle. It's a doddle from there. It's a doddle. People aren't going to watch though if you say. It's oh, oh, sorry. I've, 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 oh, yeah, we're going to do the Sky Sports thing, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anything could happen, and probably will. Absolutely. Um, well, dual, yeah, the dual forecast is the most interesting thing. Stay on to see who, who wins that. I suppose it is. Matt Smith says, "What is your view of Matt Fitzpatrick? Talent, great caddy, and always thereabouts without threatening." Well, you've pretty much summed it up yourself, there, Matt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You win tournaments. Key this moment. has got to drop. This has got to drop for the dual forecast. No! Oh, my word. He's dropped three shots at the... Uh, and that, that that's my fault for saying, is the 12th really that difficult? Bloody wow, hell. Wow, wow, well, yeah. Can yeah. Seamus Power make the next Ryder Cup team, Steve? Feasible, feasible, feasible. But, um, yeah, I don't think he's world-class. I'd like to have 12 world-class players on there. I don't, yeah, I don't want to upset anyone, but um, yeah, I think he's peaked, actually. I don't think he's got much further he can go. I don't think he can get any higher in the world rankings than he is now, really. Sorry, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm... No, 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 no. You, you said it with flatline. Yeah, you're, I'm you're throwing Rod Studd on. Rod, can you come on? Come on, mate. Come and take the floor. Rod's going to join you, all right? Yep. Why are you on it? Because people want you on it. <sighs> right. Let me move this table. Scotty Scheffler on the 13th. Nothing silly now, Scotty. Nothing yeah. silly yet. Played it safe. Played it safe. Completely understandable. Completely understandable. And when Rory Bogey's 17, you right. won't feel so bad about that. Is it gonna... Hiya. Hiya, Ronald. Hello, Steve. How are you? <laughs> good to see you. That's good, good to see you. I love my broadcasting career, filling in while Bruce Mennington goes to the toilet. <laughs> I hope you don't get, get any bigger than that, sports, does it? <laughs> are you uh, going to talk darts? Should we talk darts or should we talk golf? Stick to darts. Stick to darts. <laughs> Hashtag stick to darts. No, I, my knowledge of golf is very limited. I just read what you write and bet accordingly, Steve. That's about <laughs> the limit of my knowledge. So oh, you should it's, be not, a it's not too bad, is it? But I just had a fancy that McElroy might play well when everyone had written him off. So I stuck him in my staking plan. Yeah, and yeah, it, it'll yeah. Sneak, well... He'll get a place now, won't he? Unless he does something really silly on the last hole. So No, no. Not place much. assured. Place assured. Place assured. Yeah. Is there Premier League darts this uh, Thursday? I've, yeah, I've, Manchester, I've, Manchester, Steve. Yeah, Manchester. All oh, right, because I've, I've sort of tuned out of that a little bit now. Because I had a I had a bet on Michael Van Gogh the other day. I texted you about it, didn't I? Do you remember? There were I was convinced. Uh, do you remember? Yeah, yeah. And Peter Wright was carrying an injury. Gerwin Price was carrying an injury. Yeah, yeah. Um, bad hand. Yeah, fractured hand. He's got Price. Fractured, yeah, fractured, fractured hand. And then Wright had some sort of issue. It looked a guilt edged MVG opportunity, didn't it? And then he, uh, and he promptly lost his first game to the aforementioned Gerwin Price. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I thought, right, sod Premier League darts for a, a it's, impo it's impossible. I mean, it's a, like a mini tournament every week now with eight players. And I mean, some weeks I feel you could pick seven of them and still be wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's it. You know, yeah, it's, it's short I, mean, I know golf, you've got 156 usually to pick from, haven't you? And it's, it's almost impossible to back winners, though you make it look easy. Uh, yeah, it but in, in that eight man field in the darts, you can fire in five, six, seven choices most weeks and still be wrong. Although yeah. I think the old man Van Gerwen is, is generally the man to be. He won last week in Leeds. Oh, like Did he? Yeah, he's, gone. He's, yeah, he's back to something close to his best. Would you say that? Yeah, I, I think he's a man to, to follow now as we go into a further big tournament. I mean, the big one in Blackpool is one of your favourites, isn't it? The match play. I've yeah, seen you there. But yeah. I've seen you at the Winter Gardens in Blackpool on occasion before, and in yeah. and, and in surrounding hostelries as well. I may add. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You talked me out of uh, doing some karaoke once. I yeah, remember. I remember it in the was... in the famous or infamous, if you prefer, Duke of York. <laughs> where where Keith Deller, the former world champion, has been known to do a bit of karaoke, and I thought you might want to join in, but I'm not sure you were quite up to it that night. Your tonsils might not have handled it. 
<laughs> yeah, I was utterly convinced I could do a good rendition of Live Forever. I was about to march up there and do it, and you had some wise words there. Perhaps wasn't yeah. a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, maybe. I, I thank you now for, for, uh, for that. No, no problem, yeah, Steve. Yeah, it's my yeah, pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, we're going to pile into MVG for the for the match play, are we? Uh, yeah, I, th I think I think uh, Mardell has a fancy for Damon Hetter in that event, and some of the judges. So he might be one to look at at a big he? price. Does he really? The heat, yeah. Damon the Heat Hetter. Damon the Heat Hetter. Yeah. yeah. A, a few people have sort of said he could be the next cab off the rank, and I think he might be available at something like forties or fifties at the moment. So might be worth a little <laughs> look. That's bold, isn't it? I know Damon the Heat Hetter did beat Michael Van Gogh the other day, didn't he? In, in, in was that UK UK Open? He, he, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. He's been he's been playing well on a lot of these sort of weekend tournaments they have dotted around the north, like Barnsley and Wigan, which yeah. are tough tournaments to win. I mean, they're nowhere near the same as trying to play on a big stage in front of the lights, but they are tough to win with 120 pros in, and and Hetter has been going well in those. So, a, oh. and a lot of the good good judges who watch a lot, a lot of those darts tell me that. He's going to be the next guy to win a big one, so yeah, it's probably it's probably worth keeping an eye on Hetter at big prices. All right, no, no, no. If if, if Mardell says that he's got half a chance, yeah, so who, who are we to argue with Wayne Mardell? Who are we to argue? Five time losing semi finalist, I believe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah, three yeah, times bottom of the Premier League as well. That's another record <laughs> he holds. Yes, yes, yes. I remember Which back. I like to remind Taylor. him of every Thursday night. Lost 9-0 to Phil Taylor in Bournemouth once when I was there. Come yeah, on, I, Steve. I, I, let's be fair, it was only 8-0. I'm, <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm, sure, I'm sure it would have been 9-0 had they been playing to 9. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, think, I, think you were on the, I think you were on the whitewash that night, weren't you? I was. That was a great, great night. one yeah. or something silly, wasn't it? Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hurling abuse at, at Mardell just to make sure of the whitewash. Yeah, yeah. Glorious times for everybody apart from Mardell. <laughs> Oh, did Macaroon Bruce is that lurking you over your shoulder now. He's a lot longer than anticipated there. I think he might have a... He's come back in now, Bruce. I think Macaroon is part of the 17th. It? So I think thereby guaranteeing that he will be in the first three here. Barring the most absurd outcome on the 18th hole. As Lord <laughs> Flashheart looks to unleash one here on the on the 13th. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dustin Johnson is still in the oh, place. Where haven't I been? <laughs> As Rick Mayle once offered. <laughs> Can Rick Johnson Mayer, get a top ten finish? Well, he's in eleventh place as things stand. Right, uh, this could be a good. This could be a good week for you, then, Steve, couldn't it? If it, it, if, it's if, very if the double S hangs on, it's looking very promising, Rod. He won't lose for here, will he, Steve? Surely you must be getting those tonsils ready for this. Will not be beaten, won't you? I do feel I'm close to singing that. This is a key oh, moment. Oh, marvelous! Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. <Well, laughs> really. That was almost like a Freddie Couples for older viewers, that one. <laughs> yeah, I think Bruce has imploded. I don't think he's coming back. I don't think that he can get well, over the I heard a sound that sounded like a man banging his head against a brick wall about 30 seconds ago, and I fear it oh, may really? well have been Bruce Millington. Well, make sure there's no damage. That's right. your property. He's, he's right, that uh, sort of second-rate interlude is now is now over, and, the, and the, someone who knows what they're talking about is returning to the, the fray, Steve. So... Okay, why not? Well, look out for Damon Heater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to yeah. see you, Rod. Yeah, I'll I wish you the very best for the rest of the tournament. And uh, and as uh, and as uh, John Clee said to Connie Booth in Forty Towers, enjoy your winnings, Polly. <laughs> Mama glasses. There you go. Right. Okay. Yeah. Good man. There we go. I'm back. I've got, I'm over it now. I'm over the dual forecast. Did it's you done. take a moment? Did you? Did you? Did we, were you there just doing toilet business, or did you just? Did you take a moment to yourself? <laughs> I, had a, I had a quick break. I must admit, but um, <laughs> it's Rory no, at eight. He's leaked that down the right, left, doesn't he? He might go in Sheffield's bush. Oh no, he won't. Oh, he he's a oh. he's, look at that. Oh He's plugged word. on the side of the bunker. Ah, That'll be interesting. Too many of them. You don't see many plugged lines at Augusta because the sand no, is of such good quality. But your man yeah. Smith looks like he's a bit demoralised there, doesn't he? He's yeah, got. An, he's getting in the old fun. crucifix position there. Yeah. Let's get back to your questions, not questions, comments. Thank you very much, folks. Oliver Broughton says, "Great show as always, Bruce and Steve. Thank you, mate." Oh, hang on, I've lost it. Where is it? Where did that oh, go? Oh, technical issues. Technical issues. No, Dustin it, Johnson it jumped down for the most recent one. Oh, if got... Dustin Johnson finishes 11th, that would be hilarious. If he finishes alone in 11th place, yeah, the, 
you know, the enhanced each way terms, you know, ball sports, our sponsors there will be having kittens about that. Yeah, absolutely. They will. Uh, oh yeah. Great show as always, Bruce and Steve. Do you play DraftKings on a regular basis with the selections and any money to, I don't actually, I've never played fantasy, um, fantasy golf, but I'm, I do hear it's pretty good. I don't know if you've played it, Steve. I have a few people encouraging me to, to play it, but I, I, I don't want it to blur my brain. You know, I want to be focused on my job which is yeah, finding conven true. conventional betting winners. You know, it's just a, you know, if, if I start worrying about DraftKings, it might mess up what we've already got. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Ed, lots of nice comments from people saying how nice it is to see uh, Rod. Yeah, absolutely. Rod's doing really, really well, as, as everyone knows. He had a stroke a couple of years ago, but he's fighting back and it's great to see him in, in good form again. And he's back commentating on the darts. So all is well in the world again. That's great. Right then, Douglas Monroe says, super job so far, Steve. Thank you so much for the last six weeks or so. My pleasure, my pleasure. No, we've had a fantastic year and, um, you know, the, the, the Players' Championship winner and Masters winner. We can't ask for more than that. We mustn't get ahead of ourselves, but it's looking very good. Um, yeah, there's a lot of talk earlier on about Cameron Smith becoming the first player, the only player since Tiger Woods to win Players' Championship and Masters. It looks like Cameron Smith can afford just short, but we've done it. Well, no, no, it's too late. Isn't it too late to say that? It's too early to say that. You can't count your chickens in this game. No, Keith no, Hall no. Says, Boom, wife gone to bed. Golf now on and the sweet spot or renamed the sweet chef. Absolutely right there. Yeah, the you chef like is it, just... <clears throat> it, it, if he wins this, it'll be four wins in about seven weeks. And we tipped him on all four, haven't we? Four in six. Yeah, four in six. I mean, when he did his pre-tournament pre media conference, the fellow was sort of... Slightly annoying Scotty, I think, and slightly annoying me by saying he'd won three out of his last six tournaments, which is true. But he'd also won three out of his last five tournaments, which is a much more impressive stat. Um, so, yeah, we, let's give him the plaudits he deserves. This will be four from six. Well, he's still got a, he's got a chunk it over the uh, over that chasm with the little stream in it, hasn't he? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. He, he'll, he'll play it nice so play. good. If, if I had this shot now, I'd be like, oh, my God, I'm just all I can see is that stream. I'm going to duff it into there. But they don't even see it, do they? All they see is the pin. No. That's right. How far do you reckon this will end up from the cup? 10 feet. Oh, he's got some lovely spin there, hasn't he? I think you're right. Is that 10 or 7? Oh, that's creeping inside. I was too negative. That's bloody wonderful. It's a lovely shot, that, isn't it? What shot a seven. man. What a man. Oh, 25 yeah. years of age. What were you doing at 25 years of age? I bet you were... Well, I I I all sorts of things. I bet you were. I bet you were. No, but you weren't what do you mean? Yeah, you were, I was working at this. I was a Greyhound reporter for the Sporting Life at 25. Happy days. Were you? Were you? Mm. Oh, I, I love that job. I bet you weren't as calm as this fella. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I've, yeah. I've, I've never been as calm as him. He's, yeah, he's, he's got a great temper. And when he won when he won the other day, his dad came up to him and said, I don't really care about your golf game, but you're a fine man. You know, he's, he's, his dad was embracing him and explaining that his pride comes from the man he is rather than the, the, the golf ability he has. And I can see where he's coming from. Absolutely right. We're going to watch McElroy at 18. His ball actually rolled. Oh, his ball seems to have rolled out of there, unless this is his third shot. I don't yeah, see how he's Oh, he's sworn. He's sworn. Oh, he's no, gone bunker he's... to bunker. What did he say? What did he say? Uh, I'm not saying. It's a naughty word. And while I get over the obscenity that he uttered, we're going to take a very quick break for 30 seconds. Boyle Sports had the best golf place terms on Odds Checker in 2021. Time to switch? Boyle Sports, this is betting. Welcome back to the Sweet Spot Live. It's Bruce Millington and Steve Palmer from the Racing Post. We're at the fag end or the buckle end, I suppose you could call it. Or the business end, even. Any other ends we could be at? Of the 2022 <laughs> Masters. The end zone. Bitter end. Yeah, it's bitter as well if, you, if you've had the dual forecast of Smith and Scheffler. But if you've backed Scheffler, like I know a lot of people have with your comments, do keep them coming. Then this is beginning to look like a victory procession. The big beefcake is holding it together beautifully. The big Texan. And uh, he's... Oh, it is, isn't he? That's is that right? just a great word. It's a great word. Well, beefcake. beefcake. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we've always... we described as a beefcake on the sweet spot. I always used to... Eric Van Royen. Eric Van Royen, Eric Van Royen, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 Angel Cabrera, already, already mentioned Angel Cabrera. We can't really talk about Angel Cabrera anymore, but I always used to refer to him as the Argentinian beefcake. Um, <laughs> it's just a, such a good word, isn't it? I don't think I don't think Cabrera was a beefcake. I think beefcakes are more kind of hench than than Cabrera. Are you, 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 yeah, cuddly. yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. But uh, he's having a few problems at the moment, isn't he? But mm. got to control that temper. Which player has Steve has Steve had the most wins with? Says Talk Norwich City. We know that is the chef. Surely edging closer now. It's a really good question. Um, not one of the I suppose Tiger, it's got to be, isn't it? It's been so many great yeah, Tiger moments. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Rory from the bung. Cool. That looks a nice shot, doesn't it? An annoyingly nice shot. He's only he's only gone and he's only gone and hold it. He's only gone and hold it. Rory's Over gone and... nuts. Rory's gone nuts. He's hold an incredible bunker shot on eighteen. It's an overreaction. It's a minus though, seven, and it's a fantastic round of sixty-four. He's asked, he's asked some questions there, but I, I still think that's... Will he win the Open, Rod Studd wants to know? Yes, I think he will, Rod, yeah. yeah you've always said that, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I have. I think he's going to lay the ghost to rest of... Um, Are you currently trying to back him for the Open? I fancy him or Woods. All oh, right, you fancy him or Woods? Interesting. Oh, we'll Here's be back Smith for Woods. Birdie. This is all going wrong, isn't it? It's all, it's all over. Rory, I mean, you have to take your hat off to Rory McIlroy, don't you? Well, he obviously Brilliant. thinks that's got a chance. I mean, he, he's it's no. a bit disrespect. That that was an overreaction, I feel, to to the to the whole bunker there. I mean, it's obviously a lovely shot. It's just a thrill of golf, I suppose. I don't want to be too harsh on him, but yeah, if if he thinks that, yeah, it's a bit disrespectful to Scotty Scheffler to think that that's going to be enough to to get in a playoff. But I'm being too harsh. I'm being too harsh. Yeah, yeah. Rory's just having a bit of fun there. Oh, he loved that. I think yeah, it was a his, brilliant his, shot, wasn't it? His best ever Masters finish, you know. So, um, you know, he's getting closer. He's getting closer to uh, to that coveted green jacket, which will, you know, transform his career. Hopefully, some people had the Scheffler McElroy dual forecast. Yeah, yeah, That'd yeah. Be, Why not? Good, Why not? Some people would have done. Scheffler minus yeah. 10, McElroy minus 7, Smith minus 4, Morikawa and Lowry minus 3. Let's take you down a few more because I know that with Boyle Sports. Offering 11 places, there's a lot of people who've got some uh, fairly tasty place positions. Well, there's, there's no <laughs> Muppets on that, that, that leaderboard, is there? There's no Muppets in that top five. I mean, you, during the sweet spot, you were trying to sort of encourage me to have more long shots. And I was explaining how long shots never get anywhere near in this now. It's like, yeah, the last 12 winners have been in the top 30 of the world rankings. And there you've got some great players in the top five. I think the bookies are going to take a paste in here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the chef's got an army of followers now. So it's minus 10, the chef, minus seven, Rory, minus four, Morikawa now, minus four, Smith, minus three, Zalatoris, Im and Lowry, minus one, Connors, Evans, Eve, level par champ and Thomas, plus one, Johnson, he's finished. So that's no good to you, is it? Willits that's plus one, so Schwarzel. Actually, no, hang on, what's Schwarzel now? Schwarzel just moved. Could have done with that. I could have done with that. Going... The edge a little bit. Oh, did he miss that? So he's going to. Mm. They're both going to par the tw uh, the thirteenth, aren't they? Yeah, but yeah, I mean, you're Mac right. Mac you know, Mac sort of set a mark that can get get your attention a little bit. You know, that that's why Rory's so excited. He thinks that Sheffler could still buckle, and we we have seen players. Steve, you know, you're Greg. Steve, there's Greg five Norman's. hard. There's five hard holes to be played. You can drop three shots in, no problem, can't you? It's feasible, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's it's, it's feasible. I mean, he's going to lay up at fifteen, but then the, yeah, the, the pitch at fifteen is no no picnic, is it? Um, right, he's still right. got to get over that that fifteenth water hazard, um, and then sixteen again. Yeah, no picnic. Uh, I don't know why I'm why I'm, I'm suddenly bringing picnics into play here. <laughs> quite fancy a picnic, actually. I'm getting quite hungry. You know, there's chocolate bars. Yeah, I mean, as opposed to a picnic with like jam sandwiches and. Lemonade. It's, it's just never, as you said, it's never easy. There's no such thing as a free lunch, is there? I mean, I was just starting to settle down and relax. Oh, oh what? Look, what like, oh, he oh, he did his both. Yeah. Both in, ah, it's a beautiful Birdie, moment. It's out the bunker moment. at 18, Morikawa and McElroy. Do you think they'll have a beautiful yeah. moment together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah look, at look at that. <laughs> did you see the end of the Man City Liverpool game where Guardiola really slapped his way into the handshake with, um, with Klopp? Oh. And it's rather like that with McElroy. It's a real big sort of laddish. Was it? Clasp. Yeah. A big clock clap. Big clock clap. Was it? 
Um, let's have a look. Charlie Sharp says, I've had the Sheffield and Noble Yates double, and it looks like it's going to land. God, get you, Bloody Charlie Sharp. Nora. That's Charlie impressive, Sharp. isn't it? Sharp by name, sharp by nature. How much is that going to pay, for goodness sake? Anthony Wheelahan says, your profile photos need to be updated. No, they don't, Anthony, because I am a horrible, shriveled up mid-50s bloke now. And my profile pic makes me look a little bit younger, so I'm keeping that. Thank you very much. You, you could do the new pick, couldn't you, Steve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a few shrivels here and there, but um, we won't talk about that. I mean, Rory's damaged the bunker there, hasn't he? Yeah, look, look at those. So are you, you happy with your profile pick? How old were you when that was taken? Look at that launch in the club there. Um, oh yeah, yeah. That, that yeah, yeah. I've gone with the the hair down sort of touch. Yeah, that's probably sort of ten years ago, maybe. Yeah, mine's a good yeah. ten years old. I, you you yeah. can get away with it in this game. I, I reckon. I reckon that will last, well, it'll last me for the rest of my career, which probably won't be much longer the way I'm going. <coughs> Nick Palfrey, I mean, Charlie Sharp had the tale of joy with the Masters national double. Nick Palfrey's had the agony of the Scheffler any second now double, any second now finish second, Steve. Oh, it was a good horse race. I saw the the, the highlights. It was a really good mm. horse race. You see that fella jumping up and down who, um, on the sidelines who was attached to the winner. I don't know what is. Yeah, he was the winning really groom. It wouldn't groom, was he? Yeah, yeah. That was a beautiful moment, wasn't it? Um, mm. I'd probably be doing a bit of that now if I wasn't on a live watch along. I'd be doing some moves like that. But um, are you feeling cock a hoop uh, at the moment? Yeah, we should tap into your emotions. Are you absolutely delighted. <sighs> no, no, I've just slipped back into that um you know worrisome mode again now, just because um yeah, there, there is a there is a clubhouse mark now that was got Scotty's attention a little bit there. I still I don't agree with you that they're hard holes, but it, 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 in in normal circumstances. It'd be, it'd be easy, but it's just the situation now, isn't it? Is it, is, is, is it suddenly going to hit Scotty Sheffler that he's about to win a green jacket and become a major winner? Uh, he, he's been doing a great job of staying in the moment all week. Is this the time when he's going to start looking ahead? Um, well, he's got a great question. He's got it's a, a pain fantastic in the neck, attitude. isn't it? That shot by McElroy. It's a, really, it's a we pain could in the done neck. Without it, couldn't it? Yeah, we could have done with that because it's late now, isn't it? It's late. It's tiring business, these, 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 these stateside majors. Um, mm. And uh, yeah, just yeah, I, I don't feel in celebratory mood at the moment. You know, okay. if you'd offered me this position at the start of the week, it would have bitten your hand off, literally bitten you? your hand off. It yeah. off. Yeah, and you would have gone to the authorities and had, a, had to explain what had happened. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, now I, I am a little bit, yeah, I just feel a little bit edgy all of a sudden. Mm. Uh, this is a, this is a key shot. Let's get. A, let's so get this a is Sheffler on fourteen. He bogeyed it yesterday. It's a very narrow tee shot. He's, I think he's stuffed that straight down the middle. I like the look of his face there. He's in the zone. He's in the zone. Yeah, there he, wasn't panic on that face. There was just no. adrenaline, adrenaline that's and gorgeous confidence. That's that, Steve, isn't it? You can tell a lot about a man by his face. Uh, that was adrenaline, confidence, belief, zone. I would suggest he's in the zone. Uh, yeah. I would suggest he's not that 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 flustered by the McElroy Clubhouse, Mark. So, yeah, I think I'm more flustered than Scheffler, as was the case last night at 18. I'm more flustered than Scheffler. Smith's flustered, that's for sure. He's had an absolutely horrible start to his back nine. He really has. He and he's absolutely oh, turned that over as well. That's just woeful. He's completely gone. He's gone at the game. He's gone in the head. I'll tell you it's what, if you're back to me, Schwainer, you're going to start worrying about your places. It's the first time I've seen him fully react to pressure. He's been really good under pressure his whole career, and he's never really looked bothered Would by anything. Would you send a but... replay of that? Of that McElroy bunker shot, at eight. One of a goal he's shot. Actually, one of he's actually standing at nine. He's pretty much standing with his back to the pin. Outrageous. Yeah, and he's chucked his wledge. He's chucked his sandwich yeah. into the bunker. Give me my yeah, wedge. Right. Yeah, a I mean, breaking um, there for the um for the cat. I was a bit, I was a bit harsh on him there. He, he's just got caught up in the moment. He's yeah, it's a true. Wow. They love little that, didn't they? What do you mean, wow? I know why you said wow. Well, the little sort of strange little helicopter. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't looking at the lady in the back. Yeah, I know why you thought I was. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was, um, yeah, just a strange reaction, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, there's Cameron Champ. See, yeah, yeah, I, I've quite enjoyed seeing Cameron Champ and Minwoo Lee, two of my favourites, perform well today. Cameron Champ's going to get a place for his backers. Uh, if you have a look at our player guide, I don't want to blow trumpets. We sort of hinted that Cameron Champ might be worth a little tickle at massive prices mm. in the in the player guide. Um, so I'm hopefully some people got on Cameron Champ at big prices. And Minwoo Lee, I mean, he, he'll take a lot from this. Yeah, the master's debut, doing what he did on the front nine earlier. Um, maybe Minwoo will get a green jacket one day. Um, we shall see. <laughs> <laughs> God, how long have we been on there? Two. 
two hours true. 55 it's a marathon isn't it that door's right. slightly ajar you've got like it's, it's a real it's a really crazy oh, it? door it, like it sounds like someone out of scooby-doo or something you, it's really it? have you got any wd-40 in the house rod it looks so dark behind it, though. It's quite scary, man. I know, I know I'm on edge of the room, but I just can just imagine a figure appearing yeah. uh, through that door and yeah. murdering you both. What have we got from Andy Turner? Andy always leaves nice comments under the sweet spot, um, the regular ones. He says, Brent, that's it. Thank you so much, Steve. Cashed out for 90% of my decent winnings, just in case. Good for you, Andy. That's the game. Superb week again. Thank you, guys. Well done, Andy. Thank you for all your support throughout the year. As one of the sweet spot family, we always leave lovely comments and they're very much appreciated. So glad you had a decent win there, Andy. That's good. Must be plenty of people, Steve, now back to Sheffler and are looking to cash out and some are staying in. And you know, you're yeah. you're you're to the you're to the death, Andy Sinton, aren't you? I'll go to the death, but yeah, I mean we must we must note the hour. I mean, it's almost eleven PM and you know, a lot of people got a job of work to do tomorrow morning and the you know cashing out just to get a bit of extra sleep might be worth it. But normally I wouldn't advise touching the cash out button. Okay. Uh, very rarely get good value. Right, let's get the latest betting. Let's see what's going on on the outright. It could be quite interesting. Chef from though, position A. The, she the chef's in the mayor's office here. It's 1 to 20, the chef. 10, McElroy. And third favourite is Cam Smith at 250 to 1. Who would have thought it'd be 250 to 1 48 minutes ago or something? This is glorious. This is glorious. This is glorious. This is, is glorious. That's Scotty Chef, the your master's champion. Oh. I've called it. I've called it now. You're calling it. Tell the engraver. Start, start the car. What was it Bumble used to say? Bumble know. Lloyd. Yeah, start the car. Michael o O'Donovan agrees with you. He says, the chef is home and hose. Congrats, Steve. I... Guys, yeah. guys, guys, guys. Yeah. yeah. It's Birdie only... at 14. Birdie at 14. Lay up at 15. Mm. Uh, play, to the, play to the safety on 16. 17 to nothing hole. 18, yeah, 18, he can just take an iron off the tee <laughs> with a five-shot lead. <laughs> would you, uh, would you do that? Would you just trundle it up? Three sandwiches, three pitching wedges? I think I would. I mean, yeah, yeah, Cameron Smith, yeah, yeah Cameron Smith at Sawgrass put the willies up us with that ridiculous driver off the off the uh, the 18th. Do you remember? There was yeah, no I need do. to take drive. You know, he let the big dog eat. I yeah, mean, exactly. chef, was, chef was too sensible for that. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I'm just relaxing a little bit now. I, I, yeah, I, I just had that moment where I was sweating a bit. This, this blazer I've got on is quite. Um, it's got an inner. It's got a lining that's. Uh, I do feel quite hot. Do you? Well, do you want to take your jacket off? Well, no, because it's my my lucky master's jacket. It's been on all week. <laughs> okay. I don't want to um, tempt fate. Were you wearing your jacket when your children made you bleed this afternoon? Yeah. Well, yeah, you've yeah, kept yeah, it on all day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I had that on. Did I have That's that right. on for the lightsaber? No, I might, it might have restricted movement. I can't remember. I'm, um, I'm getting ahead of myself, Steve, which we shouldn't do. But I'm looking at Boyle Sports show for the Open, which takes place yeah, in let's, Andrews. Let's, 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 let's get ahead of ourselves now. Okay. Let's put this It starts put this on the 14th of July, in case you're interested. And Big Johnny Rahm is 9-1. to one. Now then, why is he always favourite still? This, is, this, is not, this mm. isn't right, is it? Well, the, 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 the glorious each way terms you're getting on majors these days. Every major, the each way terms are amazing. And John Rahm usually features on the leaderboard, a very, very consistent player. Uh, but he's having short game issues at the moment. And um, yeah, he, he can't seem to find those weeks where he's putting exceptionally. Um, he's, he's become one of those players that's just sort of consistent without having those exceptional putting weeks that you need to to win. So, uh, I, 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 yeah, I think he'll obviously be drifting. I, I don't think there'll be keeping an eye on those, those those prices until tomorrow. And then uh, I think he'll be drifting. And, and yeah, McRoy becoming very popular. I mean, your man's stud there. He is he is very sharp on the anti-post markets. I, I just can't, I can't be bothered. I try and live for the moment and and, and, and win immediately. But um, yeah, if you if you spend a lot of time with those anti-post markets, you, you can spend more time than the bookmakers do and you can get a little edge there and uh, build lovely positions Um going into the major so yeah i, I think mcelroy will take some, some some good heart from what's happened today um well i'm and, going to spin uh, through these my open prices you've got john rahm at nine mcelroy 12 spieth 12 that's a ridiculously short price morikawa 12 scheffler 14 johnson 14 cooker 14 now why mr ball sports trader is scheffler the same price as cooker who is absolutely smashing to smithereens every week 
Why is he two points bigger than Spieth? I mean, I can't see a reason why Scheffler shouldn't go to St Andrews and be every bit as effective. Can you, Steve? Uh, no, no, no. I would suggest that those prices will be updated and Scheffler will be given the respect he deserves. I mean, he's going to become a major champion tonight and that changes things. Uh, he mm -hmm. wasn't given enough respect this week and um, because he wasn't a major champion and he was um, <clears throat> yeah, phenomenally deep in the bet and considering the form. So, um, yeah, th th those markets will change rapidly. So, yeah, get, get on Scheffler, get on, get on McRoy now if you're prepared to tie up your funds for that long. You know, um, if you're like me and you want to live for the day, um, get yourself ready for the heritage next week. All right, then, mate. What's the name of the woman who's doing the BBC interviews this year? The player interview, she's quite good, isn't she? Car Carmen or something. Was it Carmen? Carmen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carmen. Is it Carmen. Cara? It can't be Cara. Cara, Cara, Cara. 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 Yeah, she's yeah, good. Yeah. She is good. She, she does is good. that she thing, doesn't she, where she makes sure all her questions start with the word how so that you actually get a, a proper answer out of them rather than like, you know, did you feel you played well? And then they just go yes or no. She always says, like, how much did you feel the conditions suited your game today? So just, oh, does she? Yeah. I thought you meant like a red Indian. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a strange how way to... Um, course, play difficult. Today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> get their attention. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she, she tried to get Scheffler in, involved in a sort of romantic chat about the green jacket last night. I don't know if you stayed up for that, but Scheffler no. just come off and she, she, she was trying to get him to talk about the green jacket, how much it would mean to you. And like, he was so clever again, like this 25 year old with a, with a, you know, it's a 55 year old temperament. He was saying, I'm just trying to execute golf shots and just move, you know, moved on to the next question. He wasn't, you don't want to get wrapped up in what it's going to mean to you do with 18 holes to play with a three shot lead. So Scheffler is a master at uh, interviews. He's a master at everything. Is he? Yeah, I've never seen him interview. He looks a very nice chap, but I, I still can't get that he's twenty five. Just he just says the right things. He says, says the right things. He's got a great, he's got a great head on him, and he's um yeah. Today he was just talking about as long as I'm a good husband, I don't really care about anything else. Yeah, he's just he just he, he's got a great he's faith. Say that with twenty mil in the bank, isn't it? Yeah, I mean he, he just he just wants to be a good man and a good husband. Any any sort of golf trophies that come along are a bonus. You know, he's he's, he's yeah, he's got a good head on him, and he's he's, he's, he's deeply yeah, he's a religious man. You know, he, yeah. is he? They all yeah, seem to be done. What percent of professional golfers do you think are religious? It seems pretty uh, rife. The Amer yeah, certainly the American ones. Yeah, the American ones tend to be very religious. Who's and, the uh, most yeah, religious yeah. golfer? Who who springs to mind? I mean, Bernhard is massively religious, isn't he? I think Webb Simpson is uh, is is extremely religious. Yeah, I think Webb Simpson would uh, spend most time at Bible class, but. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Scotty is just is just level headed. Good. We're we're seeing the uh, Rory McIlroy bunker shot on eighteen for the sixty eighth time. I think it is now. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Sort of, it looks like he's going to propel the wedge right across into the crowd on the other side. There, but he just sort of <laughs> chucks it a couple of yards into the into the sand. Paul That's Scott it. says, "Love the show, boys. Every Tuesday, it's my Tuesday gym session. Listen." For my Thursday bets. I didn't read that over. It's my Tuesday gym session. Listen for my Thursday bets. Thank you very much, Paul. Glad you enjoy the show. We will be back with another sweet spot this Tuesday and indeed every Tuesday. Stephen Russell. Cheers, Steve. More great tipping. Chris Thank Carl you. says, Steve, is Johnny Rahm untouchable this year now? I presume what he means by that is untouchable as in would you touch him from a tipping perspective rather than untouchable uh, and in terms of his players getting anywhere near him? He's, he's, he's definitely got to be considered for, for all golf tournaments. His ball striking this year has been fantastic. It's, it's, just, it's just just closer to the hole. He's been poor. And as we've discussed earlier, he just seems to need, he needs to seem to relax a little bit more. He seems too tetchy and too worked up by things. And I think he was really quite bothered by losing that world number one ranking. You know, he, there's, there's two things with Ram. He's pretending he's not bothered about the losing the world number one ranking. He was asked about it. You could see in his face, he's crestfallen about not being world number one anymore. Let's just see Scheffler, the world number one, get this birdie. He does. Oh, it's lovely pace. Lovely pace. Back of the hole. Um, so I think Ram is gutted about losing the world number one. I think he's surprised he's lost it so quickly. Someone asked him in the media conference the other day, and he sort of really, you know, he, he rears up at, at reporters now. Uh, and okay. the other one is the putting. If you ask him about his putting, he'll rear up at you. And he, he'll say, look, I hit so many greens, it's not possible to have good putting stats. Um, I'm amazed so yeah, he's still fight. I wouldn't back him at 9-1 to for the Open with money I found on the street, I don't think. No, 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 no. You I'm all deflated, Steve. I'm I'll all deflated. It. Can you give me a Philip, please? 
Um, you let me find a Philip for you. Um, you might back the winner of the Heritage next week. Um, well, talking of which, Josh Dealey says, can we have an insight into next week's selections? Well, you won't get any from Steve, mate, because he's off. So, And when no, you're off, no, you don't no. even look, do you? No, no, I need a week off. I need a week off. Yeah, I, I, went, I went fully invested in this. And, uh, yeah, I need to play some golf. I haven't played golf this year. So, yeah, I won't oh, get any golf. golf. Yeah, okay. I, I don't know whether Fitzpatrick's in the field, but Matt Fitzpatrick's favourite golf course in the world is is, is next week's venue. So, um, yeah, you'd have to yeah, – yeah, Fitzpatrick should have enough in the tank to – to contend in that. <laughs> Where are you playing, Steve? <laughs> so I was just looking at Rod in the squeaky door there. Yeah, um, can you hear it? It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um Where are you gonna play it? Came down. Uh I think uh, I, I'm hoping to get more than one round in next week. I'm gonna play with my dad on, on Tuesday and then see if I can get another one in uh on the Wednesday. Yeah, Wolf, Wolf, Wolfdale, Wolfdale Golf and Country Club. Um, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Sean uh, Gurney says, I'm going to give you loads of Phillips now. You the man, Palmer. Great tipping, buddy. Oh, um, thank you, mate. Thanks, actually, mate. I'm only going to give you one because Keith Lawton says, how tall is Cara Banks? Cara Banks must be the woman we were talking about. Does the interview. Ah, yeah, she is tall, isn't she? She's very tall. She is tall. She is tall. But she was interviewing Macro there. Probably made her look even taller. But, yeah, she is tall. Larry for birdie. Another player in front of Cam Smith now. Jesus, that's unbelievable. What, what a collapse by Cam Smith. Can't Very surprising. It. Yeah, honestly, it's the, the first time you've seen pressure really get to me. Such a cool dude. Maybe it's time to get the mullet off. You know, this is the first time the mullet has let him down. Mullet off cocktail. Yeah. What's this? Who's? Oh, it's Sheffield. It's a Scottish Sheffield. Parky talked yeah. about the footwork, didn't he? Yeah, he's got a very funky footwork. I mean, he's absolutely buttoned that. He's all, oh, no, it's good. It's all right. It's gone left. I don't want him I to like that complete. phrase, don't you? Don't get button that. Button that. Is that the screws? Yeah, um, he's buttoned that. But that's yeah. too far left. So it's, it's 100% layup, um, which is fine by me because you, know, you didn't want him to get carried away and say, oh, I want to win this in a blaze of glory. I, yeah, I think he's too cool and calm for that. So I don't think it would have happened. But um... right, Sorry, mate. I'm just looking through. Mark I mean, Wallace is each way place doubles on Smith, Zalatoris. And McElroy with Delta work and Santini from the National. Well done. That's a very popular bet now, Steve, by the way. Um, the yeah. National um, Masters double when it's the same week. It's, it's, you can see why, yeah. can't you? Because if you nail them both, like Charlie Sharp did, you get fantastic return. I even know some people who do um, who throw in the World Snooker Championship as well. You like your snooker, don't you? Who have you got your eye on for, for the Crucible this year? Yeah, when are, we, when are we starting at the Crucible? We're starting there next Saturday, I believe. We're starting there next Saturday. Oh, blimey, I'll have to get my thinking cap on. I mean, yeah, this is the thing. I mean, I've been a very disciplined punter this year. I was too, speaking to Rodney uh, in your little break there and talked about how I, I dabbled on Michael Van Gerwen the other day for a Premier League darts contest. Um, but that was very, very rare. It's almost 100% golf betting for me at the moment. Not I'm betting pleased to hear else. it. Um, what you and, could yeah. And it's been really successful. But the trouble is, you know, when you do, when you start winning, 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 um, you do get tempted to dabble in other things just for the fun of it. So I can see the timing of the World Snooker Championship might lure me back in. I mean, Rod, Rod's very good on that. Just ask Rod who he's back in now, if he's prepared. I know he's back like, and I've already asked him, Robertson. Oh, you, oh Robertson, Robertson, Robertson. You said Robertson, 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 didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, Robertson, Robertson apparently. Okay, well, um, yeah, I, I may well have a little look at that then. Okay. Um yeah, I, I, I don't know. Who I'll be yeah, I'll back Robertson as well then. Righto. Uh, is James Watana playing, Rod? James Watana is he playing? He retired years ago. <laughs> Stud said with a look of utter disdain on his face. <laughs> no, I like, I like. George Gibbs. Oh, is he still no, playing? No. Okay. George Gibbs said, "Evening, guys. Just dropping in. Champ placing one hundred and fifty to one has given me a nice return. Hope you both yeah. well. Well done, George. That's a lovely. Well done. well done. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well done. I should Alex, have been, uh, Alex Golden says, Steve, what are your thoughts on Wolf? Uh, presumably the golfer rather than the gladiator. He just seems <laughs> to have capitulated over the last few months. He's not just been poor. He's been absolutely shocking. When he, I mean, he's had mental health issues, hasn't he, Wolfie?" Yeah, he did. He didn't enjoy COVID and, um, you know, he didn't enjoy the, the lockdown element. But, that, yeah, that's long gone now. Yeah, the, these are technical problems. I mean, his swing is poor, isn't it? Technically very poor. And, um, yeah, it's all about timing. And uh, at the moment, he's, he's, his confidence is low. There was a little spell where it looked like he was coming back not that long ago. And now he's completely gone again. Yeah, he's, he's, he's an attacking player who relies a lot on timing. And when he's off, he's really off. You know, a lot of rounds in the 80s. Um, Michael Crowley. 
Oh, sorry, go on. Have you, you, no, no, no. I, I, I think he's, he's certainly off the radar. You know, okay. he, I, you know, Martin Wolfie Adams is more on the radar at the moment than than uh, Matt Wolf. Yeah, no, I can get that. Michael Crowley's come out with a brilliant potential headline. He says, "Evening, gents. I'm enjoying watching the Master Chef." That's a good line, isn't it? <laughs> ah, it's brilliant, we'll have to yeah. Use that, won't we? MasterChef. We, 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 it, we'll it's very it. apt as well because MasterChef is on at the moment. Is it? Do you like MasterChef, Steve? Do you watch that ever? I don't. I don't. I don't. Did, did Lloyd Grossman used to present it? Lloyd Grossman? Did he do MasterChef? No, he did Through the Keyhole. Yeah, I think he did a. He might have done MasterChef as well. Yeah, yeah. I think when he when it first came on, he was the one. So I remember he, we've deliberated, cogitated, and died. Oh, that's right. Yes, they yeah, did yeah. do that. Well, it's now yeah. that um, that Australian chap and that really annoying guy called Greg Wallace. Who your your semolina was lovely. I loved the way you used almonds. It was all lovely. <laughs> I can't have it. Yeah, at all. yeah, that's, that's, that's right. aggravated my sore throat. That doing my that's Greg right, Wallace impression. My researcher, oh, uh, Scotty, just gone through 15. No, I just, um, I said my it researcher, Rod Studd, says that Lloyd Grossman yes. was, was MasterChef uh, presenter from 1990 to 2000. So, yeah. Was he? Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, that was the that was the time I used to enjoy it. But I, I, yeah, I've got better things to do now, I must say. Oh, um, get you, have you? Inmates with... Duncan Anything. from Blue, or I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe Scotty went for that. But then, as I say, it's not an easy pitch, is it? So maybe he just thought, I'm going to get over while I can. But yeah, there's, an element, there's an element of risk to that. Oh, you're like, still worried, are you? Aye, aye. No, 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 I just thought, I just didn't expect him to go for that in a month of Sundays. But, God, there's a bit of sweat there, a bit of sweat. Thomas Jones. You can see why he calls himself Thomas, can't you? Most people call Thomas, go with Tom, but he can't really call himself Tom Jones, can he? So he goes, Tom Johnson, he says, great show, lads, cheering on Scheffler for an early birthday present. Thanks for the tip, Steve. Well done, Thomas. Happy birthday. Cheers, Thomas. Yeah, happy birthday, mate. When is it? Send us another message just telling us exactly when it is. Why? What what would you do with that information? Just uh, write him a letter on his birthday or something. (laughs) No, you wouldn't. Uh, Congratulations, Steve. Hang on. This is from Paul. Just Paul. I wasn't on Sheffler this week as the price had gone, but his first part of my major retire my major's retirement Yankee at 33 to 1, along with Hovland, Fitzpatrick, and Lar- Larry Ann Leishman. Well, that's nice, isn't it, Steve? If you do that life-changing majors Yankee and you get the first leg up at 33. Wow, yeah, that's yeah, exciting, yeah. isn't it? And you like Hovland for the PGA, don't you? I do. I think he's gonna go two legs deep on the on the slam bid there. Where is the PGA? It's next month, isn't it? I know when it is, but I don't know where. It's in it's in Hovland's home adopted home state of Oklahoma. Um, so um, he's very You've comfortable there. Specific. He, uh, Oakland Hills. All oh, right, okay. Uh, yeah, and he, he's he's done um, or Southern Hills, Southern Hills. Sorry, I'm, I'm sweating up here. Um, okay. But a lot of people think that r- ruled um, ruled Hovland out for this on the basis of his of his poor chipping ability. But he's, he's given a decent account of himself here, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Did he win his two, Did he win his two ball today? I haven't done any any it. multi. I haven't done any multitasking, but I tipped a three ball treble earlier on. I, Ram beat Woods. I know that much. Okay, who do you um, want? I want Hovland to beat Matsuyama, and I want Zalatoris. Zalatoris must have won his one. Who against um, Webb Simpson? Oh yeah, Zalatoris smashed Webb Simpson, and the other one was what Matsuyama versus Hovland. Hovland. Bad news. Really, Matsuyama won by one. Goodness gracious. Well, I mean, Corey Connors has birdied the last two, Steve, to get to minus four. Now, how about this, right? CJ Clay. I don't know what I've done to upset CJ Clay, but he says, Steve, come up for a game at Formby Golf Club. It's in great condition. Bring a pal. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take Rod Stud then. <laughs> Anyone else, maybe? Someone from work? God. Oh, you enjoy yourself up at Formby with Chris, won't you? You've had enough golf, haven't you? You've had enough golf in your Val de Lobo. I suppose so. What do you think of Tom Barris says? Oh, hang on a sec. No, Travis Howell says Robertson won't win the Worlds. This is snooker. Amazing oh. record in shorter formats, but will throw in a bad session and get beat. Fair enough. Well, I mean, I like backing Judd Trump. I mean, I used to back Ronnie O'Sullivan. I used to have a, you know, I used to find it irresistible to back Ronnie O'Sullivan, but so then I it's moved like on. charismatic, isn't he? 
Well, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. It's just you know, the most gifted, naturally gifted, isn't he? But I, I always get sucked in by them. But then Judd Trump came along, and I thought, oh, <clears throat> maybe he's the new Ronnie O'Sullivan. Um, let's so let's focus on what's happening here, shall we? At fifteen, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Scheffler's got to get. He's got to chip on over the over a little hump, and then well, what it's we all don't downhill, want. isn't it? Eh? Yeah, you just just don't 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 duff it into the water, though. You know. No, that you, that wouldn't be duffing it, would it? That would be hitting it too. Hard. Clobber it into the water. Yeah, that, that's very good, isn't it? That'll do. It's impossible to do any better than that. And yet it's still rolled a good six foot bar. I mean, I hate now and the rest is still going. It's 12 foot bar. That's extraordinary, isn't it? So I doubt he's going to birdie it, but he's still going to have that's a four shot cushion with three yeah. holes to play. So uh, he should be all right. That's Tom fine. Barris that's fine. says, what do you think of Larry berating his caddy? Yesterday? I didn't like it personally. Well, I mean, <laughs> no. I mean, before you answer, I don't think there's ever a... The only time... A player was able should have berated his caddy. Was it was it Gary Evans who had too many clubs in his bag at the open and got disqualified? Was it him? Ian Woosnam, wasn't it? Ian oh, Woosnam. Ian Woosnam. Yeah. Now, Woosnam was entitled to berate his caddy there because I mean that's just a basic error. But the golfer hits the shots until they change the rules and the and the caddy stands behind and sort of holds the club behind him and does that. It's the golfer that hits the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I found it quite um, disturbing viewing actually, just because. They seem to get on so well, those two. You know, like you know, best mates, not just caddy caddy player relationship. They seem like best mates. And like when he won the Open, they're sort of dancing in the Irish nightclubs and big cuddles. And it's just hard to see two great mates like that, isn't it? So, but yeah, I think Larry probably would have apologised by now and just. What was it explained. like? I didn't see it. Did he sort of? Was it really vicious? Was it that like nose to nose? No, he just sort of, he just wouldn't let it lie. He just, yeah, the, the caddy sort of marched on and then Larry's going, well done, well done. You know, well done. As if, you know, as if he'd messed up the yardage for the layup. Um, yeah, it was quite unsavory. But I think Larry just wanted it so much. He would love to add a green jacket to his claret jug and, you know, he just sort of, you know, he's a combustible character. I suppose and in I, the heat I, of the moment, these <coughs> things happen, don't they? I would imagine over a cool Guinness last night, uh, they would have... Um, Buried the hatchet there. Yeah, Larry just seems like a nice chap, and we'll we'll lose our heads every so often, don't we? So I'm sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, made up yeah. right. Here's Cam Smith trying to cozy it up to the hole. It's actually quite a good effort. This it's actually come up short. Anyway, that's all done now. I can forget my 170 to one dual forecast. What else have we got here? We got Sean Gurney saying Neil Robertson will win the snooker this year. So opinion is split. Oh, right. Darren Walker says with his record worms, and Andrews. Yeah. First and lost playoff. Oosthuizen, good chance at the Open. Why did Oosthuizen pull out this week, Steve? Uh, I'm not sure. He's, he's brittle, isn't he? He's just Is been... He? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always got some sort of injury niggle. Um, I don't know. I think Oosthuizen had his little spell, didn't he? When he was he was threatening major victories left, right and centre, wasn't he? Um, not that long ago. But um, I don't know. I, 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 I don't rush to back Oosthuizen because he, he never... Feels like the most motivated player for me. Yeah, you know, I like back well, he's got a relaxed with... demeanor, hasn't he? Very relaxed approach to to being a professional golfer. He likes hanging out on the farm and playing with his tractors rather than practicing his golf game. I, yeah, I just I just don't think Ustazen's that motivated, really. So um, yeah, he, he, he wouldn't be for me. Righty three six seven asks a question I was asking earlier. Why is John Rahm still fab for all the remaining majors? The answer is quite simple. The bookies have just been very slow to upgrade their prices but i suppose there must be an element of some people just keeping the faith and believing he, he's too good not to recover which you know may well be right here's scheffler he's nailed it he's nailed <laughs> it he's birdied 14 totally. 15 even so i think the center fat lady the and the engraver can get busy can't they not with center each other. of the cup well they can get busy with each other if they want to uh, <laughs> i think there'll be a lot of scheffler backers getting busy tonight oh steve that's very lewd <laughs> Sorry, I keep forgetting yourself. we got keep forgetting we got a sponsor. We got to play by the rules a little bit more. No, I, think, I think they're pretty. I think they're pretty. Oh, they, relaxed. Yeah, they're, they're, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, no, no one's none from the they're, they're Irish bookmaker, Irish bookmaker, aren't they? Yeah, they, they were like a good crack. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking of Ireland, Paul O'Malley says, "Absolutely love the show. Big gang of us in work. Listen every week. Thank you, Paul. I'm back accordingly. If you're ever in Ireland, we owe you a pint. There you go, Steve. When are you next going to go over to the Emerald Isle to have a pint with Paul?" I love the Emerald Isle. I love the Emerald Isle because I love Guinness. I love Guinness. And, uh, yeah, the, it's an old cliche that, the, you know, the Guinness tastes different over there. But it, it just does. 
just does. I don't know whether it's like a placebo effect and you, you just think this is going to taste different and then you sort of convince yourself it does. But yeah, I think Guinness well, does the lads. The lads in Portugal well. were moaning like mad about the Guinness over there. Oh, were they? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't imagine that the you know, the, Port the, the Portugal Guinness is up to much. Well, you'd do well to find one, wouldn't you? No, you um, wouldn't. There's Irish bars all over the place in Villa. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Every yeah, bar's yeah, yeah. an Irish bar. Um, but um, yeah, I, I'm gagging to go over to the Emerald Isle. I'm gagging to do lots of things. But yeah, you know me. I got my, my weekly schedule is so condensed and tight. Yeah, it's, it's just work or look after a child. I don't get. But at some point in life. I'll crack it and win enough money to spend my whole week on the Emerald Isle just playing That'd be good, wouldn't it? golf at the K Club and stuff. Have you played the K Club? Yeah, I've played the K Club, actually. I've yeah. played the K Club. It's hard, yeah, yeah, it? yeah, 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 yeah. The best course I played in Ireland was um, Druid's Glen. Lovely course, that. But I was so hungover. Oh, my God, it was awful. It was the night that Ireland hosted the Eurovision Song Contest. And there was also a Nassim Hamid fight. And I was in a bar in Dublin. And this is when Chris Evans was at the height of his popularity. And he walked in with his entourage into this bar, I remember. And everyone was, like, very excited about that. And then we went back to our hotel. And the Austrian Eurovision Song Contest team were in there in the bar. And me yeah. and my mates and the Austrian Eurovision team were singing Do a Deer, a Female Deer at about two in the morning. Blimey. How about that? Well, that's, that's anyway. Some... So it's other grandchildren, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, granddad's off again. One of his ludicrous stories about the past. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, the next day we played Druids Glen, and it, and I I've, I've actually felt guilty at being so drunk playing such a lovely course. Oh really? Cameron Ashworth says, "Great entertainment tonight, chaps." Back Cam Smith, my namesake, but it wasn't to be. Do we think the chef is going to dominate going forward? Well, he's dominated going back. How long? I mean, it's a good question. That how long can this purple patch of his last, Steve? Well, the, the, this is it. This is it. It's starting to bother me, and it might be bothering Scotty Sheffer a little bit. That it's being talked about as a purple patch, a definite purple patch. Nobody seems to be saying, "Is this the new fella that's taken over as, as an established world number one?" Well, as long as it's, as long as it lasts another three holes, that's all we care about in the first <laughs> instance, isn't it? But yeah, I, I think yeah, I think it's a little bit disrespectful to suggest this is just an informed player having a purple patch. You know, he's been consistently good for a long time. Now he's putting trophies on the mantelpiece. Yeah, there is a fair chance that Scheffler is you know, the, the man, the man who will stay as world number for, for quite a long time because he's got no statistical weakness now. His temperament is absolutely different class. And now he's become a major champion, uh, dare I say it, and you know, the, the, the temperament would be even you know, be more bulletproof. So, um, he yeah, found yeah, dry think... land at 16, so that's one big hurdle out the way, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And if you look at his recent record in majors, you know, he, he, I think he'll play well in certainly in the stateside majors. I think St. Andrews will be a bit more challenging for him. He, you know, he hasn't got that much experience of, of that type of course. But I think in the two stateside majors, then Scheffler has got to be quite high on your shortlist. Mm. You said that Scheffler is demand and Ender Halpin says you demand, Steve, some tipping. Thanks, mate. No, I appreciate that. No, no, I, I really appreciate it. We're, 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 we're blessed. We're blessed. This is a, a good start. It must be a lovely the, feeling, yeah. that, Steve, but because in, in the pre-digital age when we didn't do all these shows, you, you, you never really got that feedback. You'd get the odd letter, wouldn't you? But, um, yeah, but, yeah. You know, now, <coughs> you're getting all this love. See, it's nice, isn't it? No, no, it's, it's great. Yeah, no, no, I really appreciate it. No, we, 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 we've had a good um, – we've had a good temperament this year. Yeah, they, you know what I'm like. like yeah, sometimes – Sometimes my, my my head can go, and I think last year, in, in, at certain times, it, it went, and then at the end of last year, it came back spectacularly. Uh, Tristan the Piston Lawrence got us back on track. We must thank mm -hmm. him. Uh, and then, um, yeah, we had a yeah, Tristan the Piston strong finish to the year, and then yeah, this year's going really well. And um, yeah, I'm going to zone out completely next week, and then come back strong the following week. Will you book a holiday to a Sunshine Isle? Do you think? Well, they've already booked one to Portugal. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not. I'm not going to Valo de Lobo, but um, Albufeira. Yeah, yeah. But oh, you going to Albufeira? Lovely. Off to Albufeira in, in August. So, um, yeah, yeah. That's already banked. And oh, now, nice. um, and now, 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 I'm looking to uh, make my daughter's dreams come true. Now, 18. Schwartz has a birdie part, and he's drained it, and that puts him at even par. That might, have, yeah, that puts him into the oh. top ten and throws Johnson out. And he's birdied oh. the last two, would you believe? Oh, I mean, that was a bit the bookies cheap, will yeah. love that. Foil yeah, Sports, with their with their 11 places, did not want DJ in the frame, did they? 
No, no, no. That's oh, taking that's a little a bit, of, bit of the gloss off there. Would it, was he tied with loads of players there? They're only showing two uh, on few, the leaderboard. Yeah, a few. Was he? Yeah. Oh, well, I can live with that. I can live Peter with that. Bell thanks you for the Scotty tip, and he's got one in return. Screaming colours at 20 to 1 in the Irish National. There you go. You're going to be tempted to have you put on screaming colours. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Why the hell not? Yeah. Yeah. Zvonimir Boban's back. I've always wanted to be a fly on the wall for a Steve Palmer golf win, and YouTube made it happen. Huge congratulations. <laughs> you deserve it. That's very nice, mate. Yeah, so actually, this is a far more level-headed win for you, isn't it, than some of the ones in the past. I mean, I've been privy to kind of text conversations with you, and you've been very all over the place, but you're, you're sensible. There's a serenity about you. Well, it is because I am on the screen. I mean, I, 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 I would normally throw myself into these a little bit more with, um, you know, tinctures, and um you know and, and, and dances and whatnot but yeah I, I realized i was going to need to be more measured tonight and uh, i think i've pulled it off i mean um yeah but for one i haven't had a move you know if i started dancing all around the room well, and, i think uh, you should do it um... i think you should start cavorting <laughs> and drinking <laughs> drinking's fine now it's drinking's really, fine there yeah, yeah yeah we haven't got like offcom yeah. on our cases you can do what you like well, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm certainly going to have a few celebratory tinctures and uh yeah i'm glad one of my boban has enjoyed that but um yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is one to enjoy. The Masters is such a good bet in heat, you know. But basically, the, those early weeks of the uh, of the season are trying to build a pot for the Masters. I mean, yeah, the, 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 with those each way terms, you know, eleven places. I know Johnson just mm. slipped out there, but it's such a great opportunity with this small field um, and hardly any possible winners. Um, yeah, if, yeah. That if basically, yeah. If, if going forward, someone asked about what being a golf punter is all about. Use those first few months of the season to build your pot. And then okay. attack the masters. Attack the masters. Yeah. Rod's oh, off Rod's, to bed. Oh, Rod's off to bed. Yeah. Good night, mate. Sleep well. Scheffler's going to tidy up for a, yeah. a par here at eighteen. So that's uh, sixteen, even. That's good. So he's just two holes away. Steve's got five shot cushion. How about that? Isn't that marvellous? Shall I say good night to Rod as well? Yeah, you say good night to Rod. Give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. What do you mean? Give, give him, him a kiss. kiss. Give him a kiss. Good night. Giving him a kiss. No. Why not? Why not? What? No, I'm in the middle of a broadcast. We're, we're all modern. We're all modern men these you days. You and Murray would give um, Richard Boxall a kiss now if Richard Boxall was leaving the commentary box. <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll see Jay Clay. Go on then, Bruce. You can come to form me to oh, and carry Steve's bag. <laughs> Does he know how far Bruce away I am from Formby? It take me about. 10 hours to get there. It's going to be nice. Uh, actually, it's Formby, one of, my best, one of my best friends is from Formby. Really? I've but been to Formby. Formby. Oh, yeah. Joff. The yeah. aforementioned. Joff. Yeah, yeah. Joff. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Joff, Joff, Formby. Yeah, Joff, yeah. Joff had a few problems Formby's getting on. Lovely. Joff, Formby's lovely. I hope lovely. Joff's back this chef. I hope Joff's back this hello, chef. Hello, hello. Cameron Smith with a birdie at 15. Uh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> no, that's going to be a case of TL, TL. He's tormenting yeah, me I mean, now, isn't he? He's tormenting me. If Rory hadn't put that in the bunk... Hold that bunker shot, which was about a million to one. To, oh, there's no point. If some bats doesn't matter. he could birdie the final two holes and uh, get you get you a dead hit winner, he can, which would be good. There's an 85 to one payout there. Hovland yeah, double bogeyed the last to sink the treble by one. Oh, he That's a blow, isn't it? The last, yeah. yeah. Well, you can't have it all, I suppose. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for anyone who got involved in that treble. Um, yeah, I just Jack want to say, Andrews. can oh, I just can say, I just... Joff, I just, I just want Joff to know that I hope you've backed Scotty Sheffield. He was having a few problems getting on and stuff. Um, okay. yeah, it's not, it's not, yeah, no, I just really hope Joff's back, Chef. Let me know. Let me know. Send me an electronic me mail. Right then. Jack Andrews says, great tipping, Steve. Curious to know who would win a round out of golf, of golf between Steve, Paul Keeley and Mark Langdon. Well, the first thing to say there is that Mark Langdon doesn't play golf. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't be a factor there. But Steve versus Paul Keeley is very interesting. What are your views there, Steve? Do you want, to, do you want some trash talk here? Do you want to serve it up to Kills and goad him? Or? Yeah, well, in the olden days, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd find the question offensive in the olden days. You know, it's just, it just obviously would win easy. But it's just Keeley, Keeley somehow has worked at work wonders with his, his work schedule and, and does hardly any work now and spends all his time on the golf course, doesn't he? So, his 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 practice is made perfect, and he, he he probably is more consistent golfer than me now. So I think it'd be close, but um, yeah, I think the last time I played Paul Keeley, I defeated him. 
Oh, Smith's, Smith's wayward again. He's not, not going to get that. the last two. He's not going to get the third, is he? Oh, he's, he's, he's got a right old hook on him, this back nine, hasn't he, Smith? Yes, he has, he has, he has, he has. That's it. Let's close with a few horsey noises. I don't know why you're back, Chef. I, I feel happy with that. Get a Am sugar I? lump. Hey, Ang Ang Angus Shaw has just said bad back. I presume he means Oosthuizen. Oh, hello. Philip yes, Duffy. bad back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always got a bad something, isn't he? Philip Duffy says it's... That's really my lip, actually. I can't if do Steve... that. Oh, yeah, don't do that. If Steve ever comes to Huddersfield, get him to the Magic Rock. He won't have to buy a beer. You're also invited, Bruce. Thank you, Philip. Two bits on that. One, I've been to the Magic Rock. It's a lovely brewery that's also got a little independent book. It's also got um a bar next to it. Are they looking for Scheffler's ball over there? I, I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Um, and also, I'm very near to Huddersfield. I was in Huddersfield this morning, of all places. You get about, don't you? Mm, I do. I've been to. I, I was in Huddersfield this morning and Wakefield this afternoon. You're going to look like a field. I am. Right then, uh, Jamie H on the snooker. I will be backing Mark Selby for glory as he's a staying oh. chaser over that distance and having a good snooze when he plays. Yeah, the old jester. That's a funny nickname, that, isn't it? Because... It doesn't seem that funny, does he? They call him the Jester no. from Leicester, but I'm not sure. Like Jolly like Jim Furyk, isn't it? Jolly Jim Furyk's uh, not that jolly. No, he's not, is he? Well, he's we're getting not. lots of snooker advice. I mean, I can't back Marcel. Mark Selby's ruined lots of world championships for me by grinding Ronnie O'Sullivan into the into the ground. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for the advice. With three and a half hours in, mate. I've been, I've, I've just, just and we've got the bloody winner. We should, we should be. I know dancing. exactly. I know. Can't you <laughs> dance around the? Oh, seriously, uh, tell us how cock a hoop are you? Could you I'm be really cock a hooper? At, at this stage, it's more relief. It's more relief. You know, it, it, the, the, the early stages, it was all getting a bit dodgy. I thought it'd be much closer than this, and I was, I was so worried about coming on. You know, Chef has been leading all the way. And then, you know, I come on and he loses his lead. And it looked very yeah. much like he was going to lose his lead. And then I've got to sit here and be all chirpy for, for four hours while Scheffler's capitulating. Yeah, that, 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 that would have been tough. That would have been tough. Um, as mm. my friend said, a bit, be a, my friend texted me earlier and you know, we, we were discussing that possibility. And uh, he said, it'd be, yeah, be a bit like being waterboarded and um, to be you know, exposed while that's happening. So I'm, I'm glad that I'm hasn't sure happened. About that. I'm sure <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Waterboard, I'd much rather back a golfer who loses a, a 54 hole lead. Angus Shaw says, last week, guys, you were wondering why Patty Tavignakit cat. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's Patty Tavignakit. Yeah. yeah. Meow. Do you think it has anything to do with the last three letters of her surname as in kit? I suppose it could, couldn't it? It could, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought he was going to come up with the answer there. I was all excited when I saw this. I thought he had the definitive well, answer. I, I, well, yeah, I think be. he might be saying, look, you morons, isn't it obvious? But I don't Yeah, know, he might not, be saying that. I don't know that many nicknames <laughs> that are based on the last three letters of someone's no surname. I don't know. No, 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 no. Right, Nick, we, we've got loads of snooker thoughts. Nick Lawton says, Robbo's folks were over the other week from Oz. And he's very much a family man. If they're staying for the world, so I'll defo be backing him. His long potting is outstanding. He's a ton machine. Wow. We've really opened a can of worms, haven't we? This has turned mm. into a snooker broadcast. We could do a yeah. snooker watch along. Do you fancy that? We could get Ado Humphreys on, couldn't we? Yeah, we could. We could. I'm I don't fancy that. No, I don't, I don't fancy that at all. I'm miles behind here. Oh, yeah. what, uh, what, what are you on, talking on about? On the comments, I'm, 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 oh. I'm still processing the... Oh, you're comment, are you comment? <coughs> How are you? Oh, James What's Tilstone that? says, Silvermere membership paid for another year, thanks to Big Stevie P. Hopefully oh, I'll see Bruce me. watching over my birdie on 17 again. Oh, you, oh, yeah, James, I remember that. I played goal, I played Silvermere last year, and um, and the 17th at Silvermere is an incredible hole. It's like it's like the uh, 17th at Sawgrass. It's a it's an island... No, which one, which is the one at Sawgrass which, that's that's an island? Yep, seventeenth. Seventeenth, yeah. And so I played it, and then there's a group behind who, who I'd been sort of noticing were decent golfers. So I wanted to see how it was done. I was hopeless. I had to drop from. Uh, I smashed it into the water. And this fella James, he, he he hit it within about five feet. It was excellent. A really nice shot. So and then we had a little bit of banter afterwards. So thank you for getting in touch, James. Glad that Silvermere memberships paid for. 
Sylvemere's a beautiful course, and the azaleas, no, they're not azaleas, they're rhododendron. They'll be out very soon, so that's a gorgeous place to play golf. Uh, um, chef Steve. is fine here, by the way. No worries for the chef here. He's got a clear swing. That's all that matters. Oh, is it? Okay, mate. Fair enough. Uh, uh, handset, bear in mind. Someone's can just I go fill my mug up? Yeah, so of course. Yeah, yeah, go on then. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, have you got questions? I don't want to. I don't want you asking me questions. Well, when I'm, I'm going to ask. I'm going to have to ask myself the questions. Oh yeah. Now, go on quickly. All right. I don't know. I can trust you. With that. I don't know. I can trust you. With well, yeah. <laughs> I've done a bad job so far. I'm going to start uh, the celebrations. This right, is over. Go. Isn't it? Go. Right. Darren Walker says very happy. <clears throat> a six to one winner in the tennis tonight. <clears throat> Riley Apelka. Oh, no, Steve's gone. I've got a frog in my throat. It's a disaster. Wait there. Let's go for a quick commercial break. Boyle Sports had the best golf place terms on Odds Checker in 2021. Time to switch? Boyle Sports, this is betting. Thank you very much to lovely Will and Kieran, our producers, who got me out of a spot of glottal bother there by playing the ball sports ad so I could have a good old cough and spare you the sound of that. Right then, as I was saying, Darren Walker says, very happy. A six to one winner in the tennis, Riley Opelka in the Houston Open, and 25 to one Scheffler wins the golf. Well done, Steve. Lovely stuff. I can't read out the next one. Um, what are your thoughts, says Sam? Do you think that Rory will actually win the Masters, or do you think he'll retire without winning it in his entire career? Steve, will Rory win the Masters before his career ends? He's going to level him out a little bit life begins at 40 masters wins begin at 40 um yeah yeah i think yeah it was it was predicted in born to punt available from all good amazons for uh 5p uh it was predicted in there that he'd win loads of other majors and then he would win that elusive masters in his in his 40s rory McIlroy actually read that book and i discussed that prediction with him uh, um and um he's now sort of bringing it true excellent this is what I like about our, our audience, Steve. I mean, um, everyone's so nice. I mean, I've had loads of comments. Thank you very much indeed. It would have been a long old slog without them. It's been a real pleasure to work through them and to have a bit of interaction with you guys. Who's that hitting a bra? Scotty Scottish there? chef. Oh, my Scottish goodness. Chef, is that, is that live action? To, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. to minus 13. Minus 13. Minus so, 13. We, we predicted that. We predicted that. We're predicting well. We're predicting well tonight. But Dugu says, have a, I had a nice win on Sheffler, but honestly, I'm just happy for Steve. Well done, Steve, from the Zoo Grow family. Isn't that nice? Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much, the Zoo Grows. Yeah, that's, that's lovely, name. isn't great it? Great name, isn't it? Great Thomas name. Jones says his birthday's on Wednesday. Hoping to, ah. take my, hoping to take my Sheffler winnings to Cheltenham for the two-day meeting. That'll be nice, Thomas. Well, happy birthday, my friend. Well done for your win. Don't fritter it all away on the horses, though, will you? Whatever you do. But hopefully you'll get a couple of They're wins. They're back at Shelton already, are they? Yeah, they are. It's a really nice meeting, that, because it's quite quiet. I think one of them might even be an evening meeting. I might have that wrong. That might be later in the day. But anyway, they have a very nice, calm two-day meeting. And, um, you know, yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, have yeah. All, the, all the huge crowds. Still so got the good. same fences that they had at the other one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Absolutely. Rich Taylor, four bets on the chef this year, four wins. Great tipping, RP. It has been absolutely awesome. I mean, I don't think we get planning permission to put a, a, a statue outside the office, but if we did, it'd have to be of Scotty Scheffler, wouldn't it? It would, it would. I mean, it'd be a great-looking statue as well. I mean, what a fine figure of a man. You know, as, you, you, that, as you say, that jawline is um, mm. so intimidating, isn't it? It's so, so. It is. He reminds me a bit of Rock Hudson. Does he? I've no idea who that is, but he's rock solid, isn't he? He's a he rock a solid performer with a rock star, heartthrob. Larry it? across the green at 18 for birdies and drained it. Oh, well, that's drained nice, it. So it? Larry goes to minus five and joins Smith there. He'll probably overtake Smith because Smith's making a right old pig's ear of 17. That's it. Do you know what? If you take out that triple bogey that Shane had at the fourth, he's on minus mm. eight. Yep, so yep, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, that's it. interesting for top Irishman bets, isn't it? They bet on everything these days, don't they? You name it. If any 
part of the world has got more than one player in it. They're betting on it. It's true. Uh, oh, do you remember the nursery rhymes? You used to do nursery rhymes during lockdown, didn't you? Someone's asked you to do a nursery rhyme, but I must admit, I used to find those a bit sinister. <laughs> <laughs> but they so were, they were deliberately um, yeah they were deliberately weird yeah, yeah I just they were yeah. weird but I, not in a sort of endearing way I must admit I I, th I thought they were slightly kind of scary and unnerving okay. no no fair enough no we won't go there no, I won't go back on Twitter I just that was during lockdown when I just sort of went a bit crazy oh, no, I'm, I I I wouldn't rule out going back on Twitter I think you, I think you're great there but um if I, I do it won't it won't be the nursery rhyme so much it'll be reading books i've often thought that I, there's a an, an alternative career you know this career is going quite well at the moment but if, if it all goes wrong at some point i'm going to start a career reading books oh yeah yeah what do you mean yeah How yeah because they're paid for reading books well i i, I, I mean, yeah well i don't know they could have, could have my own channel like they're reading like children's books like when i read a book to my kids like getting the voices, you know, doing the different voices. Oh, really, you, do, you really put your I'm heart right. and soul into yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I, without being cocky, I, 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 I kind of think I'm the best in the world at that. Brilliant. Um, yeah, you, yeah. So are that, you too old for a program called Jack and Nori? No, no, I watched program, a bit of that as a and, child. And they get celebrities like, um, say, the woman Neris Hughes or someone would would write a, would read a book during the course of a week and they'd do all the yeah. voices and get right. Do they? Well, I, there you go then. There, there, there is a career to be made from it. So I'm going to yeah. have a spin through the scoreboard so that people can see where they are with their um with their bets with all the extra places. Good idea. Scheffler minus 12, but I think that's about to be minus 13. He's got two to play. McElroy minus seven. Larry and Smith minus five. Uh, Smith's got a difficult, well, not a difficult putt, but a, 50, uh, he's about threes on to nail that, and that would keep him at minus five. Morikawa minus four. Zalatoris <laughs> minus three, along with Connors. Thomas and Im are minus one. Champ and Schwartzel um, e a level par. That's the top 11, so they fill the places. Johnson, heartbreaking, he's one shot out of it, along with Willett. Good week for Danny Willett. They'll be pleased with that. And then Kevin Na and Fitzpatrick and Minwoo Lee and Harry Higgs and Westwood and Gooch and Maxi Armour and Fleetwood and Coke Rack all tied for 14th. I don't think we need to go any further, do we, Steve? I don't think we do. Okay. Who's top debutant? Who would have won that? Well, Minwoo Lee was threatening to come charging through to win that, wasn't he? But, um, yeah, sorry, I haven't looked earlier. Let's have a look. I can tell you who's top debutant. Connors? No, no, no. He's, he's played there before. I'll tell you what, has he? Yeah. Do you know what I've just realised I've done? I've backed Smith for top rest of world. Oh, you haven't, have you? I have. No, that's good. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sorry. That's I wasn't good. The only, the only way he can wasn't even lose is... Yeah, yeah. Minwoo Lee's, Min Lee's you, man. Minwoo Lee's top debutant, is he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So Smith um, is, Smith's too clear of Connors. Connors is qualifies for the rest of the world, doesn't he? Because he's Canadian. Harry, Harry Higgs, Harry Higgs, Taylor Gooch. That could be a big log jam here. I'm on the official Augusta leaderboard, which oh, is you're talking about You're talking about um, debutant, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's a log jam. Do you, uh, think, do you think you'd like to go for a beer with Harry Higgs, or do you think he's a bit of a tip? No, no, I don't think I would, actually. Yeah, I've got him down as a bit of a tip. But um, as I you pointed out, I, I don't I really like... it could be quite funny. funny. Yeah, maybe he is. Maybe he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard to tell, isn't it? Hard to tell. Mm. I'll tell you how you will be able to tell. There's a Netflix documentary coming out, isn't there? Um, oh, you know, you know. Have you watched the Formula One one? Um, no, try, I, don't try like to Formula, I don't like watching Formula One races. So watching a documentary about it, I, I know everyone yeah. says it's really good, but no, not for me. But well, they're doing, a, they're doing a golf. They're doing a golf one. They're, they're currently recording the likes of Harry Higgs. Yeah, there was a few players that agreed to it and a few players that said, I don't want anything to do with it. Did Max Homer uh, say he'd do it? I'd imagine he was on the list. That seems of, right up his street, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, you, you, you John Rahms and your Rory McIlroy said no, I think. But, um, yeah, Harry Higgs, you, you'll know a lot about Harry Higgs when you watch that documentary. Okay. I, I think I might like it. I think I might come out of it liking him. But we'll well I, hope, I, hope, I hope that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> what would you... What would you rather? I come out of that documentary liking Harry Higgs or Scotty Scheffler hangs on and wins the, wins the <laughs> Masters. We're so extremely queer is going to have to happen for him not to win the Masters. Here it? he is at 18. Here come on, is. Scotty. Bring it home. He's got the he big must have dog missed out. That tiddler. He missed that tiddler. He, he's got the big dog out. No, I think it was for pa. He's got oh, the big okay. dog out. He's got the big dog out. Let the big dog eat. Oh, we haven't got a shot tracer on it. 
I just think this is cavalier, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah. He's in the... Oh, he's got lucky. That's fine, that's fine. He's got lucky. I would have taken a 7-9. I would have taken a 7-9, but yeah, then... Yeah, 7 nine, definitely. A trundle. Why... I've got a mate who used to call it trundling. It, 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 the most he'd ever hit was a 7-9, and he was absolutely unbeatable, mate. He was brilliant. <laughs> Off his handicap. He never did anything wrong, so I call it trundling. Trundling, yeah, that works. Uh, yeah, right then. So Steve you, so you to... need Smith to hold his second shot. So you want him in the cut and prepare, then hold his second shot. No, no, I just want him to hold on there for my top rest of the world bet. I'll just take whatever I can now. I've totally given up. That's To be honest, the good thing about me is that I'm naturally pessimistic. So I, I, I never really gave myself a chance with that um, dual forecast. He's in the no, pine no, straw. He's in the pine straw. That's Daniel right. Anthony says, cheers for the recent run of tips, Steve. Pay for my Portugal trip and spending money. I owe you a beer. You do, Ant Daniel Anthony, and we're going to hold you to that, okay? Well, I might yeah, see him in bit. Portugal. That's where I, if I'm he's right. going in August, yeah, yeah, I might. I'll look out for a Daniel Anthony. Yeah, absolutely. Someone says Paul Keeley would win the table tennis. Apparently, yeah, that is right. Paul Keeley's unbeatable on table tennis. Phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Where else oh, are we oh, saying oh, here? Oh yeah, three hours forty-six minutes. We were going three hours forty-six minutes. <clears throat> we said four hours, didn't we? We did. Well, we want to right. see him slip the green jacket on, don't we? Oh, that might, that we might well, talking of which, someone said, can, St can Steve get the wife down when Chef wins and can she put the green jacket on Steve? I don't think she'd be into that, would she? She'd be fast asleep. <laughs> I don't know what's going on up there. Um, <laughs> can you hear I, 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 I did get a text to say that uh, Grace saying, why is daddy shouting? So I think yeah, the, the, the chef, the chipping, oh. did cause a bit of drama, and um, she's 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 questioning why I was shouting. I mean, I, I don't think I was shouting; I was just broadcasting, wasn't I? But it's her, 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 her bedroom is just above the Grace's bedroom. Oh, just above. Um, no, the, the the wife would be crestfallen if I asked her to come down. Oh my word! Look at that. Step. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, you are shouting there. Um, is yeah. there no way you could do this in the shed? Um, no, 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 no. Because I've got I've got the the TV in the shed. Um, oh, okay, so, fair yeah, 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 yeah. I can no, no, I better not. No, she, she'd be, she'd be heartbroken to come no, down. No, you can't do that, can you? No, you no, 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 definitely. No. Dave Clark, our old mucker Dave Clark says one of the Chinese players will win the snooker world champs, Zhao, Zhao Jing Tong. Oh, fair enough. Blimey. By the way, someone else has put in it's all, it's all further up the thread now, but guess what price McElroy was without Scheffler before play started. Blimey, yeah, I bet he was bigger than uh, your bigger than your socks. Bigger than my socks. Yeah, Johnny Long socks. Um, I don't know. 80s? 45. I've ruined 45. it by going too big there. <laughs> That's like that thing. You yeah. know when people do you remember when you know when people come up and tell you that they're going on a golf society day and they tell you all about it, which course it is, and how you get bacon rolls and then 18 holes in the morning and then lunch and then Texas scrambling enough. And they go, and at the end of it, they go, how much, how much do you think in a really sort of aggressive way? And you feel obliged to sort of guess really high, don't you? So they can like stun you with how little it was. So yeah, yeah, have to yeah. Go, oh, blimey, you have to go 78 quid. And they go, no, 27 quid. And you're like, oh, that's unbelievable value. But there are times where you do just want to go nine quid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah sorry. I was gonna... <laughs> <laughs> That's in it. Matt, yeah, Dave, been... Matt Dave's going to bring our mood up. He says, I'm about to land the biggest bet of my career on the chef. Well my done, mate. Fault, Steve Palmer, majors inspired Acre is still alive. Scheffler, Hovland, Cantelier, and who's saying they will pay for a house? <laughs> Blimey, Matt, wouldn't that be brilliant? Keep us posted, Matt, because as we said earlier, we are doing live watch alongs for all the majors as well as the Irish Open and the British Masters. So it's going to be an exciting time in the coming months. And hopefully, Matt, we'll be able to follow your progress as you win a house. Wouldn't that be brilliant? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope lots of people got heavily involved in the Masters because this, this Masters is a great betting tournament. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it absolutely yeah, we, we, is. We, yeah, we, we'll have, yeah, we'll tread a bit more carefully in the other majors. I mean, yeah, mistake I often make is get overexcited about the Open Championship. That's a really tough, a tough one. Yeah, so reliant on tea times, you know, weather. This one, much more, uh, much easier to get your head around. Smith's found the uh, the dance floor quite safely there on eighteen. Um, so the if he holds that, he's going to troll me by being one shot away from the dual forecast. Looks quite sad, doesn't he, Cameron? He, he does. He looks, he looks like a sad little mouse. 
Yeah. Yeah, quite a tall mouse, but yeah, I, I see where well, you're coming not. from. Oh, hang on a sec. This is disaster. It says your box disaster? is about to go into standby mode to save oh, energy. No. To stop this, up. press any button. And oh, stuff's gone to bed. Oh, no. What am I going to do? Um, I've pressed the volume button. Would he oh, be able no. to hear you? Can he hear oh, you? Oh, no. What about if I press text the... him, text him, text him. Oh, no, text it's all right. I've pressed the home button. You know when you go to someone else's house and you're unfamiliar with their uh, remote control? Yes. Yeah, I bet you have. Oh, there she is. Who? Mrs. Scheffler. Oh, she's crying. What's she called? Oh, Meredith. Meredith Scudder. Meredith Scudder. She's kept her name. She's got some bling there, hasn't she? Oh, she's she's got to spend plenty of money on bling for Meredith. Oh, she's gone. Oh, Meredith Scudder. Oh, isn't that lovely? Oh, I'm going. Are you going? You welling up here, Steve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to go. The Scudder missile. I've been hit by a Scudder missile there, and <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm going to go. I'm really I sorry it. if I haven't got through all your questions. By the way, guys, there are so many of them, and it is really nice of you. Thank you so much. I've, we've done our best to get through as many as we could, but unfortunately, not quite managed it. Gooch and Win Woo have tied for top Davidson. Thank you very much, Brutal. That is good. Uh, bu- bu- Higgs and Gucci apparently on that show. Oh, I don't know if I've got that right. That yeah, there's three three there. top Davidsons tied, I think. Yeah, Gooch, Higgs and Minwoo. Yeah. Look at Scotty. What a man. I know. Isn't he brilliant? Hey, eh? John Armand says, since his last major win, Rory is 35 over in round one, but 60 under in rounds two to four, thus proving John's earlier point that he gets uh, off terrible starts. That's amazing. Yeah. That's an incredible stat. Yeah, that's very interesting. You got anything else to say about that? <laughs> <laughs> I just, sorry, I've just forgotten. I'm on telly now. I'm, I'm just enjoying Meredith Scudder and uh, and Scotty Scheffler. Yeah. What are your thoughts, Paul Killick asks, on Will Zalatoris? I mean, again, tee to green, absolutely fantastic. But that old flat stick, he still can't find yeah. a way to putt. Well, I mean, Tory Pines broke our hearts in two, didn't you? We had to be very patient for that first winner this year, and then we got on a little roll. But do you remember Will Zalatoris lost a, uh, a playoff to Luke List at Tory Pines? You must remember that. Um, yeah. yeah, I had a putt to win on the, on the 72nd hole. And, uh, uh, yeah, I, I just – I'm struggling to trust Will Zalatoris with the putter now. So, um, yeah, I thought Tory Pines was a fantastic Was that the one where he had that I, identical putt in the playoff as he did on 18 and did yeah. exactly the self-same thing? He pushed it to the left, didn't he? Yeah, every, everyone knew the putt was um, yeah, much straighter than he yeah, He started it left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit wary about Zalatoris at the moment, but obviously he's a fantastic ball striker. And, yeah, he's, he's made two, two excellent efforts at, uh, at Augusta. Yeah, potential Masters champion if he can get the, the putting stroke sorted out. Mm, absolutely. Matt Dave says she's a lovely lady. I met her at the Scottish Open. Who? Who's oh, a lovely lady? Meredith, Meredith Scudder. Scudder. Would he Scottish, Scottish play at the Scottish, Scottish, Scottish Open? Yeah, 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 yeah. He met her at the <clears throat> Scottish Open. Wow. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Imagine being at the yeah. Scottish Open and meeting Meredith Scudder. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. Yeah. For um, Birdian, first major win. Oh, how about that? Wouldn't it be nice if he wrapped it up in style? Yeah. Look at Ted Scott. He's, he's won three three successful Masters for Ted Scott. Two with Bubba. He's on his way. I bet he has more fun with Scott than he with Bubba. Slow down, bar. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you just, you just don't want to end up with a three-putt, do you? you want to go doesn't a little matter, bit, mate. Little bit of stuff. Steve, well done, my friend. Absolutely fantastic tipping. I'm so pleased for you, seriously. I know how hard you take, how seriously you take this, how much work goes into it. <clears throat> all those player profiles that you do, you give up your weekend before you work tirelessly. You really it's, put the effort in. And it's yeah. great that you nailed this one, Steve. I'm very, very proud of you and very pleased for you, mate. You're a fantastic bloke. You deserve all the pleasure and the joy that this win brings you, my friend. Well done. Thank you, Bruce. That's very kind of you to say, yeah, yeah, this is going to be a great year. This is our year. Well, it's certainly been our spring, hasn't it? It's certainly been our spring. And yeah, yeah, we can use spring as a springboard to, to bigger and better things. Yeah, we'll be, I'll be right, back. Come on, start attention. singing. Come on, start singing while he stands. This up. will not be Britain. This will not be 
Listen. Let's let this go yet. Should we put this report? This will not be beaten. 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 This did you get a bang? <laughs> was there a bang right. on the ceiling floor? It's half term next week, isn't it? So it's oh, not sorry. Sure. I mean, yeah, they're off school. So I'm like, let's let's wake it. Let's get oh, everyone up and let's start talking about what toys we're going to buy. <laughs> <laughs> the wife hates when I do that. What do you want to buy? What should I buy? Everything. Let's exactly. spoil you. Let's spoil exactly. you. And bring exactly. you up ter different. Terrible characters. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> no, school no, no, holidays, no. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, school holidays, school holidays, school holidays. Oh, no, no, sorry. No, 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 that's okay. Oh, it's Meredith. Meredith's got it. She, they, smile. They should go and make a baby now. These two shouldn't they? They need to have a baby well, now. Hang on, let's keep it. Let's keep it sensible. <laughs> <laughs> right here it is. He's got a four for four footer for the win. <laughs> oh, I don't know about it. Have another one. Miss another couple. Just probably something on winning score minus twelve. Ah, you know, yeah. oh, it's all right. Naughty it. boy. We're almost That's in, it. guys. Uh, in, again, man. massive thanks to Kieran and to Will and to all the marketing guys. Great job. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks to our guests, Diane Knox Ballas and to Wilco Super Sub and to Parky as well. Great to have you on the show. Great to have Will uh, Rod Stud with a little cameo. But most of all, great to have Steve Palmer and to witness him enjoying a 16 to 1 Masters win with Scotty Scheffler, who are now stands over a two footer to get the job done. I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a murder. It's a, he's just having a laugh. He's having a laugh. He's having a it's, laugh. He's now, it's, it's now getting easy. silly. It's getting a standing ovation now. Man. It's three. It's literally three putts <laughs> from from a foot. <laughs> it's <just brilliant>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Just take two strong. more from here. Just take two more. Just. It this is a bit, bit farcical, isn't it? This could this could scar him, Steve. <laughs> no, it's all right. It's it? all right. It's all right. Do you think Rory's so, someone's going? No, don't leave the car park. No, get back, get back. <laughs> right, this should be it. Thank God we didn't carry on singing. This will not be beaten. Finally <laughs> gets it done. That was hilarious. He four putted the last, but he doesn't care. And why should he? <laughs> well done, Scotty. Beautiful stuff. Scotty Scheffler is your 2022 Masters champion. A rather bizarre finish, but he got it done. Well done, Steve, my friend. Fantastic job. Thank you very much indeed for watching Sweet Spot Live. Hope you can join us for our next show, which I'm not quite... I think it's the British Masters, actually. But if not, um, we've got all the majors. We've got the Irish Open as well. And obviously, we've got Sweet Spot every Tuesday right throughout the year well done my friend steve great job thanks very much to the production guys we'll see you next time on the sweet spot live